Martial World. Author, Cocooned Cow. Translator, Hyolinmaru. In the Divine Realm, countless legends fought over a mysterious cube. After the battle it disappeared into the void. A young man stumbles upon this mystery object, opening a whole new world to him. His name is Lin Ming, and this is his road of martial arts. Arc 02. Rising Star of the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Chapter 106. Rise to Fame. Crown Prince, Your Highness. Mr. Muyi. Lin Ming greeted with a smile. Ha ha, little brother Lin. Your growth is more and more astonishing. Muyi's heart filled with many emotions. He had thought that he already overestimated Lin Ming. But now he discovered that Lin Ming kept exceeding his expectations time and time again to create miracles. Mr. Lin Ming, if you do not mind, how about coming to my palace? I will host a banquet for you as a welcoming reception. Yang Lin said with warm enthusiasm. Lin Ming let loose a light breath and said, I'm sorry your highness, but in the fight just now I exhausted myself too much and must take some time to restore myself. I also attained some faint insights in this battle and would like to go back to digest them. I must decline the crown prince's kindness with thanks. In a few days, I will certainly pay a personal visit. Him, that is also good. When Mr. Lin Ming decides to pay a visit, send a sound transmitting talisman to inform me and I shall wait patiently for you. Tenth Prince Yang Zhen watched the crown prince and Lin Ming speaking to each other from a distance, and his face began to darken. At this point, Yang Zhen received a message via True Essence. Your Highness, Lin Ming has accepted the Crown Prince's invitation. Him, Your Highness, Zhu Yan's wounds are too severe. We must take out the Millennium Stone Milk otherwise Zhu Yan's internal injuries will leave behind scars that will affect his future cultivation. Said one of the medical personnel that had treated Zhu Yan. His last move had overdrawn his True Essence created damages within his body and destroyed parts of the meridians that hadn't developed yet. In addition, he was struck by Lin Ming and sent flying. The degree to which he was injured could be imagined. The medical personnel of the Seven Profound Martial House naturally used high-quality medicines, but these medicines could not actually be regarded as the best. The Tenth Prince shook his head and said, Don't use it. Early on, he had expected that this fight would be exceptionally intense. This was because Zhu Yan and Lin Ming had a grudge between them, and this fight would have no pulled punches, it would be normal for one of them to have severe injuries. Therefore he brought a special type of wondrous and precious medicine that could cure wounds, called the Millennium Stone Milk. This was found in the Millennium Limestone Cave, and flowed from a stone stalactite that contained the aura and spirit of the world. It took over a dozen years to gather a small vial of this liquid. Each drop was worth nearly 10,000 gold tails. This stone milk could not only bring back those near death, but it also had advantages for the cultivation of martial artists. The Tenth Prince had originally planned to give this to Lin Ming if he had been injured seriously enough to affect his cultivation. If he used this millennium stone milk to win over Lin Ming, he believed that Lin Ming would not refuse. After all, the one who had a grudge with Lin Ming was Zhu Yan. The Tenth Prince had neither bitter hatred nor enmity towards him. The Tenth Prince thoroughly believed that the strongest bonds between humans were not things like friendship, affection or love, but solely personal benefit. But now, the one who had been severely wounded was Zhu Yan. Not only that, but Lin Ming had displayed an unprecedented and monstrous perception. This made the Tenth Prince feel a very heavy headache. He simply didn't know how to deal with Lin Ming. To assassinate him, he dared not and could not and winning over, he could not win him over. If he showed goodwill, they would not appreciate his kindness. Moreover, his situation with Zhu Yan was tricky. If he continued to support Zhu Yan, then without a doubt, he would be standing opposite to Lin Ming. This was something that the Tenth Prince absolutely did not want to see. Sky Fortune Kingdom was a country that advocated the use of force. Lin Ming represented not only his own strength, but the glory and prestige of all martial artists. He was a genius of a century within the Seven Profound Martial House. This title was too amazing for a martial artist. If the Sky Fortune Kingdom's martial artist saw that this person had pledged his loyalty to the Crown Prince, then where would they look? What would they think? If he could discard Zhu Yan and trade him for Lin Ming, the Tenth Prince would absolutely 100% do this. The key, however, was that even if he discarded Zhu Yan, Lin Ming may not help him. This gave the Tenth Prince a headache. This Zhu Yan, he gave him a lot of trouble. Bidding the crown prince farewell, 
Lin Ming immediately went to pay a visit to Hong Shi. Hong Zai's guidance was very important in defeating Zhu Yan this time. If he did not have Hong Shi teaching him the training method of piercing leaves, then his attack speed would have been a lot slower. He also would not have known how to save his momentum during a fight. At Zhu Yan's final strike, he might not necessarily have been able to hold it down. This fight played out so beautifully. Hong Shi did not begrudge his appreciation of the fight. Thanks to instructor's teachings. Ha ha, this is not because of my teachings. If you had a different instructor, you could also have one. I heard that you have some new comprehensions. Him, about the heart of martial arts. Good, your results today are essential to your heart of martial arts. Hurry up and go back to ponder them. Don't uselessly talk about it to me here. Okay then instructor, I will go first. After Lin Ming left, the people gathered at the martial stage began to disperse. Some martial artists had been discussing the fight with excitement. That single spear touch on the stone column had caused the 20 feet high stone column to turn into rumble from top to bottom. And the foundation spear technique had managed to defeat the red lotus purgatory. These scenes were enough to make those martial artists exhilarated and excited. His large success of the third stage had the strength of someone at the bone forging stage. If Lin Ming reached the bone forging boundary, how would it be then? And most importantly, he was only 15 years old. He had been at the Seven Profound Martial House for only a mere two months. Before then, Lin Ming had come from a humble birth and did not have many resources he possibly could have used. If he had the key cultivation methods and resources of the Seven Profound Martial House, then his achievements would have been unimaginable. If he could keep this rate of grown, then that really would go against heaven's will. Before, there were people that had paid attention to Lin Ming. After all, he was the first place new disciple. But at that time, most of them had thought that this was only because Lin Ming's luck was good, and he had managed to eat some valuable material. But now, they knew that Lin Ming had the unprecedented perception of a monster. He had depended on his cultivation at the third stage of body transformation to cultivate an earth stepper cultivation method, and moreover, that cultivation method was incomplete. With such a genius born, along with the sixth grade talent Qin Xingxuan, this generation might be the most amazing one in all of Sky Fortune Kingdom's martial history. The martial artists were excited, but those noblemen and dignitaries were more concerned with what Lin Ming politically represented. Without a doubt, Lin Ming would rise. Becoming a supermaster was only a question of time, and a supermaster had immense weight and influence within the Sky Fortune Kingdom. For instance, Mu Yi was a visiting official of the Marshal's quarters and at the same time he was the teacher of the Crown Prince. He had a high and lofty status within Sky Fortune City. Even if the Emperor saw Mu Yi, he would have to treat him with a certain amount of respect. Not only did Mu Yi not need to bow, but he also didn't need to be asked to sit. Although a Hushan master did not have the strength or power to kill an army of 100,000, they were able to go in and out of fortified places without any resistance at all. It was not an exaggeration to say that if there was not a Hushan master at the royal palace, then the emperor might not be far from death. Because of the frequent wars between nations, it was possible that the emperor would be assassinated by the enemy masters. Lin Ming was very likely to become such an amazing character like this in the future. This was someone that all of those dignitaries present had to woo and curry favor with. In fact, many of them were already calculating how to show goodwill to Lin Ming. As everyone departed the martial stage, the news of the fight began to rapidly spread. Not only did Lin Ming become Sky Fortune City's most dazzling and splendid star, but this news had already spread over the nation, such as, a genius only seen once a century at the Seven Profound Martial House, the future Sky Fortune Kingdom's number one master, and other such titles. The overwhelming blessings and aura of fame were all focused on Lin Ming. Fifteen years old, entered into the top thirty rankings of the seven profound martial houses heavenly abode. Cultivation at the third stage of body transformation, with strength comparable to a martial artist at the bone forging stage, had perceived an incomplete earth step martial skill by himself, and had integrated into his own spear skills. It was even reported that Lin Ming had comprehended the extremely rare martial intent. Each of these achievements could be considered legends by themselves, but Lin Ming had actually gathered all of these legends unto himself. He was at the height of power among the Sky Fortune Kingdom's martial arts world. The local storytellers would write Lin Ming's famous history into their stories. In these stories, 
the storytellers would improvise and give exaggerated accounts to increase the hype. They even said that when Lin Ming was born, a brilliant sunset glow covered the sky. He had climbed a mountain when he was seven to capture a tiger. When he was nine, he went swimming in the sea to seize sharks. Although these stories were all blown ridiculously out of proportion, the audience listened with gusto. After all, things like storytelling were naturally more exaggerated, and gave people a fresh feeling. Suddenly, Lin Ming had become the idol among countless young martial artists, especially those who had come from a humble birth like he had. Who said you could not cultivate if you didn't have money? Lin Ming was their example, Lin Ming was the goal. And in Green Mulberry City, as news arrived to the Lin family by a sound-transmitting talisman, all of the Lin family seethed with excitement. In Sky Fortune Kingdom, there was great importance attached to family honor. A family of heroes and masters, even if declining, was respected by the world. For instance, Marshal Chin Seo's family. Even several hundred years later, if the Chin family was on the decline, they would still be a family that had produced an ancient hero, and in the family's blood would flow a hero's blood. The Lin family was also like this. There was not a single family that didn't wish that their family would have such a day where their family would flourish by their own hands. Before, Lin Ming had obtained the title of first place among the new disciples in the Seven Profound Martial House, and this was already the great honor. It was like those scholars that went and became officials, bringing honor to their ancestors. However, compared to the miracle that Lin Ming had created, this reputation of Seven Profound Martial House's number one disciple was nothing at all. To be the peerless talent that hadn't been seen in the several hundred years of history at the Seven Profound Martial House along with other glorious titles, was enough to have the Lin family be recorded in the annals of Sky Fortune Kingdom's history. If Lin Ming became a legend in the future, then the Lin family would also become the family of a hero, and would be admired by the world. And the one Lin Ming had defeated was the Zhu family's number one talent, Zhu Yan. This caused the Lin family who had been constantly suppressed by the Zhu family, to feel proud and elated. On the same day, everywhere at the Lin family was decorated with lanterns and rainbow streamers. They held a large banquet inviting all guests to attend and celebrate. This was the most important day in the entirety of the Lin family's history. The head of the Lin family burnt incense and prayed to the ancestors. All these celebrations and ceremonies were more grand and wonderful than the New Year's celebration. The Lin family servants all obtained a heavy red package filled with money. The rice farmers who leased land from the Lin family were all exempted from rent for three years. These people naturally knew why they obtained such luxurious gifts from the Lin family. Lin Ming's name had already spread throughout the entirety of Green Mulberry City. At this time, Lin Ming was meditating on a sea jade platform at the seven profound martial houses. He was unaware of everything happened outside, as he was immersed in comprehending the faint feeling he had in his heart of martial arts. When he had fought with Zhu Yan, Lin Ming's heart of martial arts had improved a bit. Chapter 107, The Pass of Desire. With Lin Ming's current fame in Sky Fortune City, there were many major powers that wanted to show their goodwill to Lin Ming. However, because of the regulations and customs of the Seven Profound Martial House, they could not disturb Lin Ming's cultivation unless he left the Martial House or contacted them on his own initiative. Under the Jade Stage, the lake was tranquil and shimmering deep green, as if it were a huge liquid emerald. As it was late in autumn, the rows of weeping willows surrounding the lake were already a dry, golden yellow. As the gentle autumn wind blew across the lake's surface, the leaves swirled into the air like a golden moth before fluttering gently downwards. What was surprising though was that there was not a single leaf that fell into the lake. Lin Ming sat cross-legged on the sea jade platform. This platform was the illusory magic array that was used in the entrance examination's dream trial. It was only open during the beginning of spring and fall when the two exams were conducted. However, it was not the start of fall anymore, so it was closed to the martial house disciples. However, Lin Ming's status was special now, so he was specially permitted to train and feel his heart of martial arts. During the entrance examination of the Seven Profound Martial House, when Lin Ming was in the Sea Jade Platform's dreamland, he found that there was a flaw in his heart from the Pass of Desire. In the Pass of Desire, Lin Ming had seen a Lan Yunyu, ten years older. 
She had been exquisitely elegant, and humming a nursery song. She had been coaxing their child to sleep. When Lin Ming had seen this scene, he had nearly lost himself in the illusion. Lin Ming knew that he no longer had any connection to Lan Yunyu. Even when he would pursue the pinnacle of martial arts in the future, his path would no longer cross with Lan Yunyu's. But Lan Yunyu's betrayal was still a knot in his heart. This so-called knot was a place in the heart that the mind could not reason with. In a martial artist's journey, they not only cultivated their bodies, but they also cultivated their hearts and minds. They had to be true to themselves, and follow their desires, whether it was love or hate. Otherwise, what was the point? If they tortured themselves to cultivate, and practiced martial arts day and night, and felt the desolation and loneliness at the same time, and yet had to bear everything in life, patiently even as they suffered countless humiliations, then what exactly was the point of practicing martial arts? Why not just be a normal, common person? A martial artist had a proud heart. They would not keep things in their heart such as losing an important contest or fight. Things like that could not frustrate their proud hearts. However, there were some things that would, such as when Lan Yunyu had betrayed Lin Ming and followed Zhu Yan. Such a malicious act had severely impacted Lin Ming's pure heart, and no matter how strong and clear his heart of martial arts was, it would inevitably leave behind a knot in the heart. This was what the common folk spoke of when they mentioned spirit. As long as the spirit was smooth, then they would have clear thoughts and ease of mind. Their true essence circulation would not be impeded and their meridians would be able to link together easier. On the other hand, if the spirit was bad, then their mind would be blocked, and they would be depressed. Not only would the true essence not move, but it would be trapped in their body and become an anger that would psychologically attack them. Not only would they not be able to cultivate, but they would also damage their own health. If their arrogant heart was too strong, then they might even go mad. If their thoughts were clouded and their hearts uncomfortable, the cultivation of a martial artist would easily be restrained. During the essential period of breaking through a bottleneck, the knot would change into a demon that haunted their hearts. This would cause the martial artist to fail, and become forever immersed with their obsession before finally turning into an idiot. There was only one solution to clear this, not, and that was to rely on their own strength to destroy the knot and cut off the evil spirits in the heart. Their minds would be clear, their breath smooth, and true essence would easily flow. For instance, like in the competition, Zhu Yan had been defeated by Lin Ming. He had lost his dignity and also sustained a serious injury. His meridians had been damaged and it would affect his future efforts to break into the pulse condensation period. That event would cause Zhu Yan's proud and arrogant heart of martial arts to be severely frustrated. Even if he wanted to stand up and recover his pride, hiring an assassin to kill Lin Ming was useless. He had to one day rely on his own strength to defeat Lin Ming, and overcome these demons in his heart. However, this was already impossible for Zhu Yan. Not only did he experience a severe wound that would seriously influence his future cultivation, but even if he were completely cured, later on the disparity between him and Lin Ming would only increase. In contrast, Lin Ming had defeated Zhu Yan at his strongest state and cut off this, not, in his heart. His heart of martial arts would only improve yet again, and although he could not achieve a perfect level, the time it took to pass the dream trial was reduced again. This time, it only took half an incense stick of time. This time, he only needed half the time of Ling Senator. As he awoke from the martial arts dream world, he closed his eyes and recalled what he had experienced in the Pass of Desire. Lin Ming's cheeks were an odd color. He no longer dreamed of Lan Yunyu again, but had instead dreamed of Qin Xingxuan. Not only that, but he had also dreamed of several girls that he didn't have too many impressions of. For instance, the talented, young inscription girl, Wang Yuhan, who he had met at the Inscription Association. There was also the cunning, rude, and totally unreasonable elder senior sister, who he had met at the Zither department when he was looking up materials. However, as soon as these two girls had appeared in Lin Ming's dreamland, they had instantly disappeared.
Lin Ming now knew that the pass of desire didn't necessarily show women that he liked in his heart, but also those that were capable of arousing the latent desire in his heart. Desire didn't include only love, but also lust. A human's nature was that of an animal. An animal only existed for two goals. One was to survive, the other was to procreate. To survive, eat, and reproduce. That was lust. Therefore the ancient scripts had recorded that the nature of man was food and sex. This instinct was imprinted in the very bones of every living human. Therefore the heart had evolved a wide range of potential desires. Some desires were suppressed by one's own truth of morality. The pass of desire was able to find these infinite lusts of the heart and magnify them, and finally cause someone to be lost inside of them. As they say, there was no man in the vastness of heaven and earth who had no wants or desires. Many martial artists practiced martial arts to satisfy their desire. Because they strove towards this goal, their martial arts cultivation would leap 10,000 miles every day. However, after they had fulfilled their desires, their strength of cultivating martial arts would plummet. This was always a contradictory process. There were martial arts sages, who in order to overcome the pass of passion, had even castrated themselves. There were certain marvelous and ancient skill manuals that had written in their introduction, in order to cultivate this art, one must first castrate themselves, and so on. This was because in order to reach the large success stage of these cultivation methods, they had to overcome the pass of passion. But if their heart held any lust, then their demons would overcome them and they would perish in the beautiful dreamland, becoming a useless idiot. Because of these reasons, some of the eunuchs of the palace had rapid advancement when they cultivated martial arts. This was because they no longer had that lustful desire, and their energy would be locked into their body and converted into strength and true essence. Lin Ming was aware of these reasons, and did not persist in the pass of desire. After all, from ancient times until now, there was never a martial artist who did not have even a tiny flaw in their heart of martial arts. As he peacefully meditated on the sea jade platform, Lin Ming revolved the true primal chaos formula, and quickly entered into the ethereal martial intent state. His bond passed into a state of unconsciousness, and the true essence in Lin Ming's body began to circulate on its own instinct. Its speed began to run faster and faster, moving in lines that were more and more perfect. Lin Ming was observing from an outsider's perspective. He felt that as the true essence flowed in his body, it was also much quicker than before. Lin Ming was indescribably happy. Because of the improvement in his heart of martial arts, his ethereal martial intent had also stepped up a level, and the cultivation speed was enhanced even more. Like this, he would not too far away from reaching small success of the true primal chaos formula's second level. With one breath, Lin Ming let his true essence revolve by itself for three hours. Finally, Lin Ming opened his eyes. The day was getting late. He suddenly remembered the crown prince's invitation, so he lit a sound-transmitting talisman and sent it to Muyi. Sky Fortune City, the crown prince's palace. At this time, the sun had just set, and the crown prince's palace front door was happily covered with decorations. A stream of luxurious horse-drawn carriages had formed a long line. All the celebrities and important figures of Sky Fortune City had gathered in their splendid attire at the Crown Prince's Palace. The floor was covered with hundreds of meters of red carpet, and there were also hundreds of beautiful maidservants that carried around fine food, refreshments, and fruits that they shuttled between the numerous visitors. Exquisite and playful music flowed through every corner of every hall. Today, the Crown Prince Yang Lin had hosted a grand banquet at his palace. Although the Crown Prince had said this part was only a simple congregation, all those with a discerning eye knew that this banquet had great political significance. This was because this banquet's main guest was the rising star Lin Ming, who was in the limelight of all of Sky Fortune City. For this banquet, the Crown Prince's palace had done careful preparations and cleaning. The garden was refurbished and the blue stone tile floor was spotless as if it were just cleaned. It was bright and appealing. The palace had also filled the fountain springs with clear water. The blue water sparkled under the moonlight as it shot up. It was truly beautiful. 
the southern marshal marquis has arrived as soon as the herald announced this a fat middle-aged man wearing a brocade gown walked into the main hall of the crown prince's palace with his entourage although this man appeared bloated and fat his steps were steady and his breath was even his lazy gaze occasionally gave off a feeling that made the hearts of those watching him palpitate this middle-aged man was one of the ten great generals of sky fortune kingdom the southern military marquis the sky fortune kingdom had several dozen generals in total however those that had genuine power and authority within the palm of their hands and also had enormous prestige and fame within the army were only ten people these ten people were given noble titles the southern marshal marquis was the youngest of these ten this year he was 69 years old southern marshal marquis he also came yang lin heard this announcement and felt a great happiness surge in his heart although he had delivered an invitation to the southern marshal marquis it was actually only a show of good etiquette he did not actually believe that the southern marshal marquis would show up Although Yang Lin was crown prince in name, but as an official, his power and influence were far inferior to the tenth prince Yang Zhen. When the elderly emperor died and the throne would change, it was unknown as to whose hands the throne would fall into. This was the critical period of time when people would choose who to support. If they chose the right person, their life would be filled with a lifetime of wealth and success. But with the wrong person, they would crash into the abyss and be beyond redemption. However, the true attitudes of those people were elusive. The two princes mostly had their own trusted subordinates, or were like Zhu Yan and had been inextricably tied to 10th prince by their family. Most of the others already had enough status to avoid this conflict and adopt a moderate approach. They had already rapidly advanced their careers and simply did not need to partake in the game of throne changes to increase their fortunes. To adopt a moderate stance and not favor any party was the most sensible option. No matter who came out on top, their status would not be affected. The military was especially so. Since ancient times, if the military intervened in the battle for the throne, then it would become an extremely sensitive matter. Therefore the ten great generals normally did not attend the banquets held by the princes. This was because there would be spies in the banquets who would be reporting on them. Although the tenth prince did not assume that all those that attended the banquet were partial to the crown prince, he would remember these people. In the future, if he won the struggle and seized the throne, even if these people did not intervene, he would not trust them after he mounted the throne. There were a limited number of positions to be a royal courtier of the emperor. The number of talents and geniuses would be unlimited. Who would not entrust these heavy responsibilities to their own trusted subordinates? Therefore, that the southern marshal marquis had come today, was really a happy surprise for Yang Lin. However, the crown prince knew that the reason the southern marshal marquis had come today was mostly because of Lin Ming. He wanted to meet Lin Ming and get to know him. The southern marshal marquis was also once a disciple of the seven profound marshal house. When he was young, he was also known as a marshal nut. He certainly would want to know someone like Lin Ming. This Lin Ming, he has not grown up and yet already has such rallying appeal. If he is willing to help me, my succession to the throne will be much smoother. Chapter 108, Grand Banquet. This Lin Ming, he has not grown up and yet already has such rallying appeal. If he is willing to help me, my succession to the throne will be much smoother. Thinking of this, Yang Lin began to worry somewhat over the outcome. Before, Lin Ming and Zhu Yan had hostilities against each other and fearing that Lin Ming would be framed and assassinated, thought that perhaps he might serve as his backer. But after not seeing him for a month, Lin Ming's strength had grown too quickly. With his growing influence, he now had the support of the seven profound martial house. There was no one would dare to easily move against him. He would certainly become a grand character in the future that wielded great power. With such capital in his hands, he didn't need to attach himself to anyone. Ha ha, it's been a while since I've seen your highness the crown prince. As soon as the southern marshal marquis saw Yang Lin, he gave a hearty laugh and a ceremonial bow. Although he did not need to accept the crown prince's invitation, if he saw the crown prince, 
he still had to give proper greeting due to customs. After all, the southern marshal Marquis was still only a Marquis. Above that was a duke, and above the duke was a prince. But the crown prince's status was also above a prince. Even though there were so many different levels of nobility, a title was just a title. It had no real power and was only nominal. The influence of a person in the Sky Fortune Kingdom had little to do with their title, but was affected by their position, strength, and military authority. The Southern Marshal Marquis held enormous influence among the army. Even Yang Lin had to greet him politely. Yang Lin rushed up to the Southern Marshal Marquis and hurriedly said, Southern Marshal Marquis, don't be a stranger. Feel free to enjoy this grand banquet that I've set up. There is no need to be overly courteous. The Southern Marshal Marquis is one of the ten great generals of my Sky Fortune Kingdom and whose cultivation is at the pulse condensation period. This prince has always wanted to be good friends with the Honorable Southern Marshal Marquis. For the Southern Marshal Marquis to come here, so unexpectedly, this prince is very surprised. Ha ha, I have been busy with military affairs these past few days, but I could not shirk your highness invitation. The Southern Marshal Marquis casually explained. Yang Lin would of course not pursue the matter, and welcome the Southern Marshal Marquis with a seat of honor. Army Major of Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard Forces, Lord Wang, has arrived. The Herald announced another arrival. As soon as he heard this, Yang Lin's eyebrows rose. The leader of Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard Forces, Wang Gan. That sly old fox, he also came. Yang Lin was startled. Wang Gan's arrival had even surprised him more than the Southern Marshal Marquis. Before this he hadn't even delivered a written invitation to Wang Gan. He came uninvited, and also at such a sensitive time. There were so many spies staring at him, and this Wang Gan dared to come to the banquet. Was he not afraid that Yang Zhen would know this? The truth was that out of today's guests, Wang Gan's status wasn't anything too high-ranking. The position of army major was underneath that of a general. The Sky Fortune Kingdom had several dozen generals, and almost 200 mages. Moreover, Wang Gan didn't even have a title and he was not an aristocrat. Although Wang Gan's status sounded insignificant, Wang Gan's military status was in the top few. He was even more important than some of the top generals. This was mainly because his position was too important. Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard Forces Army Major. Since ancient times, the military has always been very sensitive to the struggle for the throne and the Royal Guard forces were a step from the sensitive of the sensitive. Almost all of the palace coups were through the Royal Guard forces and the Imperial Palace Guards. Because of this, Sky Fortune Kingdom's Royal Guard forces did not have a commanding general. Instead, they had four different mages, each in charge of the four directions of East, West, South, and North. With the authority of Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard forces so decentralized, the four army mages were able to restrict each other. Wang Gan was the army major of the Eastern Royal Guard forces. He certainly knew how sensitive his status was, therefore he had always been cautious and had always maintained a balanced distance between the princes. Anyone who could be stand in this position were themselves a sly old fox. Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard forces army major was not the same as the Southern Marshal Marquis. Even if the crown prince failed to succeed the throne, the southern marshal Marquis was still a general as before. With his prestige and fame as one of the ten great generals of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, not even the tenth prince would dare to move him. But Wang Gan was different. He was only a small-time army major, and he commanded the royal guard forces. If he did not do well, then the tenth prince would remove him, and even press charges of homicide against him to get rid of him. Wang Gan actually came. Even if he wants to meet Lin Ming it shouldn't. I think. Yang Lin suddenly remembered. Two months ago, on the date of the seven profound martial houses entrance examination, he had conveniently sent a sound transmitting talisman to help Lin Ming. The one who had framed Lin Ming, he was certain it had been a son of Wang Gan. Initially Lin Ming had been an unimportant person, so this matter was only in passing to Yang Lin. He not simply not placed this in his heart, and thus forgotten about it. So that's it. 
Wang Gan had probably been feeling very upset these days. Thinking of this, Yang Lin silently laughed in his heart. Wang Gan had indeed been truly full of suffering these days. He's just had too much bad luck. Even lying down he would be hit. When he had discovered that the boy who had come into conflict with his son was the current number one rising star of the entire Sky Fortune Kingdom, Wang Gan wanted to cry, but had no tears. Just who did he piss off to have this happen to him? Two months ago at the Seven Profound Martial House entrance examination, his son had framed Lin Ming, and caused the Crown Prince to send a sound transmitting talisman to the Public Security Department. This made Wang Gan feel a bit frustrated. After all, this was something that his good-for-nothing son had done, and the Crown Prince should not go so far as to implicate him. But he absolutely would never have thought that the problem could come from Lin Ming. This fellow had changed, and had become a rare talent that was only seen every hundred years at the Seven Profound Martial House. He would surely be a great character in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, who could control wind and lightning at his command. This kind of character, as long as he wanted, could absolutely promote someone to the nobility or even a general. Once Lin Ming grew up, if he wanted to get rid of anyone, it was would be as simple as turning over his hand. Wang Gan knew that his son's conflict with Lin Ming was not so simple as fighting, but that Wang Yigao had gone to the degree of wanting to kill him. Wang Gan had asked himself, what would he do if he had experienced this? He would never let go. So how could he not be afraid? He couldn't even sleep in peace these past days. But Lin Ming lived at the Seven Profound Martial House, and because of the regulations of the Seven Profound Martial House, he did not have any chance at all to contact Lin Ming. Not to mention him, but not even those high nobles could see him. Therefore the only chance he had to see Lin Ming was to come to the Crown Prince's grand banquet. He really wanted to choke his son to death himself. The day that he had heard the news, he had dragged out Wang Yigao and overwhelmingly beat him before locking him in confinement for six months. Mentioning Wang Yigao, Wang Yigao had almost had a nervous breakdown. The first time that he had been defeated by Lin Ming was when Lin Ming had hit his servant. At that time Wang Yigao had regarded Lin Ming as ant. Being bitten by an ant, he would just crush him underneath his foot and kill him. Therefore he had brought a bunch of ruffians to finish off Lin Ming, but the result was that he had his name written in reverse. When Wang Yigao had returned, he had been punished for a two-month confinement. He could not drink or eat meat, and could not go to the brothel. It had simply ruined Wang Yigao's life. He came out of confinement wanting to get revenge, so he had pestered him at the Seven Profound Martial House's entrance exam. At that time, Lin Ming was nothing but a cockroach to Wang Yigao, just a bit more formidable than an ant. But he could still crush him underneath his boot. However, that time Wang Yigao had been beaten even worse. Not only had his body been pummeled, but his face had been hit. And the most miserable part was that he had even punished even more by Wang Gan, and had been sent to half a year of confinement. Slowly, over time, Wang Yigao had become used to not having wine and meat, and also not having women. He began to diligently study the martial books daily. However, as he was doing well, Wang Yigao was somehow dragged out again and beaten again for a round. This beating had been truly ruthless. Each strike had caused Wang Yigao to almost faint. Finally, he learned why he had been beaten up. The name of Lin Ming had already become a nightmare to Wang Yigao. Even if he borrowed the courage of 10,000 men, he still would not dare to bother Lin Ming anymore. A family's discipline was always rough. Wang Gan had severely hit Wang Yigao, but the truth was this was to protect Wang Yigao. He wanted to give an explanation to Lin Ming. Since Wang Yigao had wanted to beat Lin Ming to death, before, if he wasn't beaten up horribly himself, then Lin Ming might not be so forgiving of this matter. Greetings to your highness the crown prince. I have come uninvited. I beg your highness for your forgiveness. Wang Gan deeply bowed, with a hint of fear and trepidation. Ha ha, Major Wang is too polite. That Major Wang can come today really causes this prince to feel very happy. Please feel free. Yang Lin did not say that he knew the reason Wang Gan had come today was to see Lin Ming. 
Thank you, your highness. As time passed, noble after noble came to the banquet. The crown prince's grand banquet had presented an unprecedented prosperous atmosphere. All these celebrities and famous figures came from various quarters. They were dressed in magnificent formal clothes and carried elegant wine glasses as they chatted in soft tones. Every action and movement they made showed the etiquette of the aristocrat. These people were all influential figures within Sky Fortune City. Big sister Jingyun, you also came. Mu Rong Zi had spotted Bai Jingyun in the crowd. Originally she was a bit impatient since she had been bothered by some playboy, but her perturbed face suddenly morphed into a joyful smile. She moved her feet and like a small fish she appeared in an instant at Bai Jingyun's side. Even the gorgeous but tedious formal dress she had on did not affect her movement. At such an elegant banquet, her actions were unobtrusive, and made people feel as if it were a kind of passing cloud and flowing water. Little sister Murong, I didn't think that your Murong family would also be here. Murong Zi and Bai Jingyun were the two dazzling girls that had attended Lin Ming's last 10,000 killing array assessment. These two were the proud women of the seven profound martial house. Murong Zi was 17 years old and ranked 28 on the ranking stone. Bai Jingyun was 18 years old and ranked 22 on the ranking stone. They were collectively referred to as the seven profound proud pair. It could be said that a thousand myriad graces were set in their bodies. With these two heavenly ladies gathered in the same place, they attracted the immediate attention of numerous men. These two were much like arrogant peacocks. They were simply cranes among the chickens here. I remember that your Murong family rarely comes to the crown prince's banquets. Bai Jingyun paused slightly, and then laughed as she whispered, Are you here to look for a date? Gosh, big sister Jingyun don't tease me, these playboys are no good. Murong Zi had the qualifications to say this. With her talent and strength, in addition to her flawless looks, in the entirety of the Sky Fortune City, she was only inferior to Qin Zingxuan. There were truly few sons of the aristocratic families that could match up to her. Zhang Guanyu's talent and looks were nice, but he was famous for being a flowery playboy. He also practiced the acacia power. Who knew how many women he had played with at this point? As for the tenth prince and the crown prince, the crown prince already had a wife. With Mu Rong Zi's proud nature, it was impossible for her to settle for being a concubine. That said, the outcome of the battle between the crown prince and the tenth prince was not clear, so the Murong family naturally would not dare to rashly marry off anyone. Ha ha, of course it's not them. The one I'm talking about is. Bai Jingyun spoke to this point, when the voice of the herald suddenly sounded out from behind the door. The seven profound martial houses Lin Ming, Mr. Lin, Chapter 109, the Acacia Faction. Ha ha, of course it's not them. The one I'm talking about is. Bai Jingyun had spoken to this point, when the voice of the herald suddenly sounded out from behind the entrance. The seven profound martial houses Lin Ming, Mr. Lin. Upon hearing this announcement, almost all of the people in the hall looked at the entrance. Many of them had already begun crowding towards the front. Following the lead of two gorgeous maids, Lin Ming slowly walked into the hall. Although he had changed into decent clothes for today's event, it was still a far cry from the high class and magnificent clothing that the nobles and other celebrities had worn. Still, because Lin Ming had been practicing accumulating his momentum these past days, even ordinary clothes on him were especially dazzling in the crowd. Lin Ming thought back to what the herald had just called him and had a queer feeling in his heart. Mr. Lin, he really wasn't used to be calling that. Lin Ming didn't have a position in the government nor did he have a title. He was a common person with a common background. One could say his only status was as a disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House. But the Herald did not dare to address Lin Ming by name, so he had added the title of Mr. That's Lin Ming. He's quite handsome and intelligent. He's only 15 years old. How extraordinary. Lin Ming was undoubtedly the star of the party. He was the rising supernova that everyone came to see. Brother Lin, welcome. Before Lin Ming could give a ceremonial bow, Crown Prince Yang Lin stepped forwards and hugged him. Brother Lin, 
There is no need to be overly courteous. Come, let me introduce you. Yang Lin knew that most of the people who came here wanted to get to know Lin Ming's thoughts, and he would be introduced to them one at a time. But the first one to be introduced was of course the Southern Marshal Marquis. Brother Lin, this is Sky Fortune Kingdom's South Marshal Marquis, General Wu. He's one of the ten great generals of our land, and he guards the southern borders of our Sky Fortune Kingdom. He's a martial artist at the Pulse Condensation period, and he has performed many great services for our country. The southern martial marquis name was Wu Yuanzun. He had repeatedly accomplished many great deeds and honors at the southern border. Thus he was bestowed the title of southern martial marquis. Lin Ming greets General Wu. Lin Ming knew that these sort of senior generals that patrolled the borders were usually aloof and high-standing characters. He maintained the necessary etiquette towards someone like him. Ha ha, little brother Lin, you are too polite. If His Highness the Crown Prince does not accept your bow, then how could I? Little brother Lin and I are fellow apprentices, but I already graduated from the Seven Profound Martial House over forty years ago. Time truly passes too quickly. The Southern Martial Marquis voice was clear-cut and loud like a morning bell. Those present were able to hear every word enunciated clearly. Little brother Lin is a young and promising talent. Your fame has already spread all throughout Sky Fortune Kingdom. I've long wanted to meet you. As soon as I saw you today, I knew you were a dragon in human form. With such a great cultivation at 15 years of age, your future is limitless. General Wu praises me too much. Lin Ming still has a long way to go. Lin Ming was not used to such praise, so he was polite in response. Ha ha, little brother Lin is just too modest. I heard that little brother Lin has already entered the heavenly abode. After entering the heavenly abode, you might receive some missions from the military. If little brother Lin wishes, you may come and stay with my army at the southern border. With little brother Lin's strength, you will inevitably perform countless good deeds. Lin Ming's interest was piqued as he listened to the Southern Martial Marquis. There were some disciples who went on military missions after entering the heavenly abode. At the end of each mission there were also rewards. The rewards didn't come from just the Seven Profound Martial House, but also from the royal government. All disciples who went on missions had the possibility of being able to enjoy promotions, Therefore there were some martial house disciples that were bestowed nobility before they had graduated. Lin Ming was not interested in things like titles or gold. But, the rewards from the seven profound martial house were quite worthwhile. For instance, there were true essence stones, high quality treasures, top quality pills, as well as cultivation time at the seven major killing arrays. True essence stones and time at the seven major killing arrays were necessary for cultivation. As for high-quality treasure, if it was a top-quality treasure spear, then Lin Ming would definitely be enchanted by it. As for top-tier pills, they were also very precious. If Lin Ming wanted to raise his strength quickly, he had to have these top-tier pills. However, these kinds of pills could not be purchased in the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Even though Lin Ming could receive many gifts from influential people, these pills were still impossible to come by so easily. The Southern Martial Marquis wants to win me over so that I will go to the army and undertake missions, but this is also good. Until now I've only fought in matches, but I haven't been in many actual life or death situations. If I enter the army for a while, I will be able to experience these and grow in strength, and there are also rewards to be had, so why not? Thinking of this, Lin Ming said, Lin Ming thanks General Wu for thinking so highly of him. If I have the appropriate mission, then Lin Ming will certainly go to the southern border. Ha ha, that's great. I already feel like old friends after meeting with little brother Lin for the first time. Come, let's have a drink. As Lin Ming and the southern martial marquis conversed, Bai Jingyun and Mu Rongzi were also carrying on their intimate conversation from early. I was thinking that the one you should date is him. Bai Jingyun signaled with her eyes. She had been talking about Lin Ming. Him, big sister Jing Yun, don't go speaking such nonsense. Mu Rong Zi's cheeks turned red as she blushed. He's younger than me. How could it be possible? Mu Rong Zi was 17 years old. 
Lin Ming was actually only 15 years old. Bai Jingyun smiled slyly, listening to little sister's meaning, if he wasn't two years your junior, then you would find him agreeable. Mu Rong Zi's mouth went crooked, I never said that. If big sister makes fun of me again, then I'll be angry. Ha ha, little sister, unless you are like Miss Chin, Chin Zingxuan, and decide to pursue that far off Xianxian realm, or even higher, then in the future you will be married. We martial artists have a long youth, let alone several years younger, even if it was ten years, or even a few dozen years, that wouldn't mean anything. Pursue the Xianxian realm. Mu Rong Zi was slightly stunned. To the mortals of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, the Xianxian realm truly was a far off and distant dream. Although she was a proud and arrogant woman in Sky Fortune City, she was self aware that it was impossible for her to reach such a remote realm, it was only a pipe dream. Much less her having no hope, even several of the core disciples of the Seven Profound Martial House had no chances either. But Qin Xingxuan was different. Her sixth grade martial talent was simply too shocking. That Lin Ming, perhaps he might pursue the Xianxian realm. Mu Rong Zi asked. It's possible. Lin Ming and Qin Xingxuan are two different kinds of talents. Qin Xingxuan's natural talent for cultivation is simply too monstrous. As for Lin Ming, besides his natural talent, he is a monstrous genius in every other category. It's hard to tell who the better genius of the two is. If discussing combat prowess, then Lin Ming would naturally be stronger. But if discussing how far their achievements will be in cultivation, then perhaps Qin Xingxuan has higher hopes of reaching the Xianxian stage. Lin Ming's martial talent is only a third grade talent. The flaw in such a talent simply cannot be made up. I think that Lin Ming is more likely to stay in the Sky Fortune Kingdom and accomplish great deeds. He might even become the next state marshal. The next state marshal, Mu Rong Zi thought absent mindedly. That was a prestige that exceeded even the emperor. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, many of the common people did not even know the emperor's name, but there was no one who did not know the name and legends of state marshal Qin Xiao. Even with Mu Rong Zi's status, she still held a high degree of respect in her heart for a figure such as State Marshal Qin Xiao. As Mu Rong Zi looked out of sorts, Bai Jingyun suddenly smiled and said, Little sister, look at Lin Ming, he's already surrounded by so many girls. If you don't go now, you won't have the opportunity. Mu Rong Zi followed the sounds and turned her head. Indeed, there were many young aristocratic ladies that had already intentionally or unintentionally approached Lin Ming and were talking happily with him. Mr. Lin Ming, I heard that your spear is over 800 jins. Is it really? A young girl vapidly blinked at him with watery eyes, sending somewhat lascivious looks at Lin Ming. The girls that intentionally approached Lin Ming didn't necessarily have any evil thoughts in their hearts. After all, their ages were young at mostly 15 or 16 years old, and they had simple minds and pure thoughts. These ones had come under the suggestions of their parents. But there were also those who approached Lin Ming purely because of the worship in their hearts. The Sky Fortune Kingdom was a country that held martial artists in the highest esteem, and with the extraordinary title of being the hundred-year talent of the Seven Profound Martial House, he was the idol of all people. 820 Jins. Lin Ming replied with a smile. Ha ha, that's amazing. How do you hold it? Can I see your hand? Well, all right, Lin Ming said. He helplessly held out his hand. At this time, another charming young lady had come over. She said, Mr. Lin Ming, your palm reading is very good. Hmm, I'm a fortune teller. The girl winked at him with an attractive eye. Can I take a look at your palm reading? Ah, before Lin Ming could think of a good way to refuse, the girl had already taken his hand in hers and was carefully looking at it. The girl's hand was cool, and had the unique softness of a woman. She's unexpectedly direct, Bai Jingyun said with a faint smile. Humph, what a nympho. Mu Rong Zi curled her lips in disdain. She drank the wine from her crystal glass as if she were a noble peacock. Bai Jingyun sniggered. She knew of Mu Rong Zi's pride. It was impossible for her to do the same acts as these young girls. She simply could not cheapen herself to that level. 
little sister, with this kind of boy, if you don't take the initiative then you won't have an opportunity. Then why don't you go? Mu Rong Zi pouted. Me, hearing Mu Rong Zi's question, Bai Jingyun's face gradually fell. She was silent for a moment, before she sighed and lightly said, My marriage is not up for me to decide. Him, why? Mu Rong Zi didn't understand. Although the children in Sky Fortune Kingdom had to obey their parents in marital matters, but her and Bai Jingyun's statuses were unusual and not like others. With their strength and talent, they had the right to speak and determine their own marriage. Big sister, you are too submissive. If you say you don't want to marry, how will they force you to? Bai Jingyun bitterly smiled. It's not as simple as you think. The one that had been chosen for her was a direct disciple of the Seven Profound Valleys Acacia faction. Let alone her Bai family, even if it was Sky Fortune City's royal family, they did not have the qualifications to refuse. The Seven Profound Valley's seven founders had left behind seven different legacies, these were the seven factions. For instance, there was the Sword Faction, Zither Faction, Array Faction, and so on. The Acacia Faction was also one of the seven legacies. Their faction cultivated the Tao of Yin and Yang. Almost all of their cultivation methods were associated with the intimate relations between men and women. To marry a disciple of the Acacia Faction. It was truly like jumping into a fiery pit. Mu Rong Zi felt that Bai Jingyun didn't want to discuss the matter any further. At this moment, the Herald announced yet another arrival. The Crown Prince's Grand Mentor, Mr. Mu Yi, and the Marshal's Quarters Miss Qin. Mu Yi and Qin Xingxuan. Lin Ming was slightly stunned. He had not seen Qin Xingxuan for a long time. He remembered the strange illusions of Qin Xingxuan that he had seen on the Sea Jade platform and his face took on an odd color. The Sea Jade platform was able to infinitely magnify the hidden desires in one's heart. Lin Ming truly did have a certain attraction towards Qin Xingxuan. Chapter 110. The Seven Profound Decree. Today, Qin Xingxuan was wearing an elegant, pure white evening dress. This dress was much simpler than others. The back was not open, nor was it too low. It only exposed her creamy and fragrant shoulders. Although her innocent and beautiful figure was not full, her curves were still outlined. The dress was very long, and it followed behind her like a deep spring flowing recklessly to the ground. This was Lin Ming's first time seeing Qin Xingxuan in such splendid attire. He was pleasantly surprised. This girl, she just always seemed to come in different flavors. First he had run into her at the lecture hall of the zither department and she had carried a virtuous air about her as she was surrounded by a gang of fellow female students. Now he saw her at this banquet, and she exuded a natural air of elegance and grace. He wondered if he would see her in the military in the future, and how she would look if she was wearing a military uniform. Qin Xingxuan's appearance had immediately attracted the attentions of everyone present. The sensation that she caused was almost as much as Lin Ming had. However, Although the sons of the aristocratic families kept their eyes on Qin Xingxuan at all times, no one overreached their bounds to go over to her. Qin Xingxuan was simply too abstract an existence for them. To take advantage of her, they might as well take advantage of a princess. Teacher, Yang Lin immediately walked up to greet them. Ha ha, I came late. Mu Yi said with a faint smile. His eyes swept the crowd. Ho ho, little brother Lin we meet again. Mr. Mu Yi. Lin Ming felt relieved. He extricated himself from the group and walked over to Mu Yi, and as a result, those aristocratic young ladies dared not follow him. Mu Yi glanced at those young ladies, and meaningfully smiled. I'm not bothering you am I? Lin Ming helplessly said, Mr. Mu Yi, please don't tease me. Ha ha. Although the tradition in Sky Fortune Kingdom is to be married at 18, there are plenty of 16-year-olds who are fathers. Once a few more months have passed and you are 16 years old, you should consider it, really consider it. Um, I don't plan on marrying that early. Since he had bid farewell to Lan Yunyu, Lin Ming had decided to rigidly dedicate himself to pursuing the pinnacle of martial arts. Thus, he had not planned on any early marriage. Surprisingly, Qin Xingxuan spoke up at this moment with a mischievous smile. 
she said. Lin Ming, the words from your mouth don't match the words of your heart. I remember that when you first passed the dream trial, you spent a very long time at the pass of desire. I wonder which lucky girl it was that you dreamed of. Qin Xingxuan unintentionally mentioned this matter. In her opinion, if there was a girl that Lin Ming liked, as long as he proposed, even a princess would joyfully consent. As Qin Xingxuan asked this, Lin Ming felt a rare blush spread up his face. He almost looked like a tomato. Dream of which girl? This was really too hard to say. That's enough, Xingxuan. Don't tease little brother Lin too much. Him, well, after the banquet ends, the crown prince would like to see you. Oh, all right. Lin Ming did not decline. He had already anticipated this matter. Since he came to this banquet, he had already indicated that he had no plans to reject the crown prince's invitation. Lin Ming and the two chatted for a while. Because of Qin Xingxuan's presence, there was not a single girl who came forwards again. Let alone a common aristocratic young girl. Even Mu Rongzi had lost all of her self-confidence in front of the beauty of Qin Xingxuan. At this time, the herald made a sudden announcement, the chief steward of the palace, Elder Wang. Elder Wang, the crown prince was slightly stunned. Why would he come here? Elder Wang rarely left the palace. If he left the palace, it was usually to pass on an imperial decree. Was it that his father, the emperor, wanted to confer a rank and title to Lin Ming? As the crown prince was wondering, Elder Wang had already entered the hall. He wore a decadent and opulent yellow brocaded robe, and carried a fly whisk in his left hand. His right was raised slightly, and he held a shiny, golden token. There were three characters written on it, Seven Profound Decree. Seven Profound Decree. Was this a command from the Seven Profound Valleys? The crown prince was surprised. This was a command even higher than an imperial decree. Although Elder Wang was the head steward of the imperial palace, he was also responsible for some matters of the seven profound martial house. When Elder Wang was six years old, he had entered the palace. Because his martial arts talent was outstanding, he was later sent to the seven profound martial house. He was a eunuch, and thus pure at heart and his martial arts advancement was good. Now, he had already reached the peak pulse condensation period. He was the head eunuch who managed matters at the imperial palace, and at the same time was one of the masters who protected the imperial palace. Usually when the seven profound valleys handed the royal family a decree, it was passed through Elder Wang. Elder Wang looked at Lin Ming and smiled. He said, little brother Lin is lucky. Yesterday, the martial house master requested core disciple status for little brother Lin. The seven profound decree was just sent out this morning, and has the conditions for the test in it. The martial house master is not at the martial house, so I am passing on the decree for him. I just found out that little brother Lin was attending the banquet at the crown prince's palace, so I hurried over here to catch you. I wonder if little brother Lin has any intention of becoming a core disciple of the seven profound martial house. As Elder Wang said this, everyone present was amazed. Core disciple. Although they had expected Lin Ming to become a core disciple sooner or later, they hadn't expected it to be so quick. For someone from the Sky Fortune Kingdom to become a core disciple had great significance. If, in the future, he requested to be sent back as the Martial House Master of the Seven Profound Martial House, or as a Seven Profound Envoy, then it was equivalent to being the Overlord of the Sky Fortune Kingdom. However, the core disciple test was not that easy. In the past, even Ling Sen had failed. And could Lin Ming, whose natural talent was one grade less that Ling Sen succeed. The people present doubted this. Besides natural talent, Lin Ming could be considered a monstrous genius in any other area. However, what the seven profound valleys held in the highest regard was one's natural talent. Lin Ming replied without any hesitation, I want to be a core disciple. If Lin Ming wanted to walk on the path towards the pinnacle of martial arts, he had to enter a sect otherwise he would not obtain the resources he needed. Not to mention things such as the seven major killing arrays, true essence stones, and top-tier quality pills, but to step into the Xianxian stage from the Hushan stage, one had to have the heaven-opening pill, 
in order to rid the contaminated Hushan Ki from one's body. Only the largest sects had a miraculous pill such as this. In the mortal world, its value could not be measured in gold. Very well, Elder Wang smiled. He laughed in his high-pitched and melodious voice, and said, Then I shall announce the contents of the seven profound decree. Lin Ming, listen at command, starting from today, the Martial House Core Disciple Test has officially begun. If Mr. Lin can achieve the peak altering muscle stage by the time he is 16, or if he can achieve the bone forging stage by the time he is 18, then he may become a core disciple. Otherwise, he will fail the test. In addition to these requirements, the martial house master has agreed to provide Mr. Lin with some incentives. Starting from today, if Mr. Lin can enter the top 10 rankings of the 10,000 killing array within three months, there he may obtain the medium-grade human step treasure long spear, the heavy profound soft spear. If he can defeat Zhang Guanyu within four months, then he may obtain one 500-year-old blood lingji. If he can defeat Taku within five months, then he may obtain one blue miracle pill. If he can defeat Ling Sen within six months, then he may obtain one bottle of body spiritual accord. The above rewards can all be obtained together. Lin Ming, do you understand? Elder Wang folded up the seven profound decree and smiled as he asked Lin Ming. The medium-grade human step heavy profound soft spear, a 500-year-old blood lingji, a blue miracle pill, and the body spiritual accord. Even though those present already knew that the seven profound martial house had a deep and extensive history, after hearing these rewards, they were all still left gasping for breath. For instance, the medium-grade human step long spear could not be regarded as the best rewards for the seven profound martial house, but in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, it was actually priceless. An ordinary medium-grade human step treasure like a sword or saber was around 10 or 20,000 gold tails. But this medium-grade human step treasure spear was worth at least several times that, and most importantly of all, even if you had the money for it, one wouldn't be able to find one. Weapons like the spear and the bow needed to be both rigid and elastic. These types of demanding requirements meant that these weapons were the most difficult to create, and even more so to make a treasure weapon. Even most generals would not have a treasure long spear. Instead, they would use a weapon like Lin Ming's that was made from dark purple elastic iron. There were some generals that did have a treasure long spear. However, the spear shafts did not contain any elasticity, and thus their price was much lower. Although most people present hadn't heard the name heavy profound soft spear before, but solely with the word, soft, in its name, that would mean that it was not a rigid spear, but an elastic one. For a human step treasure elastic spear, its worth was unimaginable. Also that 500-year-old blood lingji, the majority of blood lingji were 300 years old. If they were not picked at that time then they would wither and die. A 400-year-old blood lingji was already very rare and precious. 500-year-old lingji simply couldn't be found anywhere in the world of mortals. Only the largest sects would know how to raise them through their own mysterious and mystical cultivation methods. This kind of blood lingji was able to supplement the key in one's body and blood, and would make a martial artist's blood stronger and more vigorous. Even their strength would increase. These were the wondrous medicines that martial artists who pursued strength dreamed about. As for the blue miracle pill and the body spiritual accord, those present weren't very clear on what they were. But if they arranged above the treasure long spear and the blood lingji, then they definitely were also priceless treasures. But, although the rewards were tempting, those present did not actually envy Lin Ming. Because to obtain them was difficult beyond anyone's imagination. Reach the top 10 rankings of the 10,000 killing array within three months. Defeat Zhang Guanyu within four months. Defeat Taku within five months. Defeat Ling Sen within six months. These tasks were as difficult as ascending to heaven. And each was more challenging than the last. The first task was the most straightforward and simple, but it was already a myth in the eyes of many. Lin Ming had only been at the seven profound martial house for two months. Three months added to two months was five months. To reach the top ten of the ranking stone within the first five months. 
If these people had heard someone say this in the past, they definitely would have thought that person was crazy. It had to be known that the higher one's rank was, the more arduous it was to climb, and the fiercer the competition was. The top 10 and the top 30 were two entirely different concepts. Could Lin Ming really do that? If it was to enter the top 10 rankings in the 10,000 killing array within three months, then some people might believe that. There were those who had recognized Lin Ming as a great talent that would have grand achievements in the future, so they had a little hope for that. But, to defeat Zhang Guanyu within four months, defeat Taku within five months, and defeat Ling Sen within six months. This matter, was simply too preposterous. The existences of these three were simply on a completely different playing field from the rest of the disciples of the heavenly abode. Zhang Guanyu and Ta Ku were powerhouses of the bone-forging stage. The fourth-ranking disciple was only at the peak-altering muscle stage. Their strength was simply too different to comprehend. Zhang Guanyu was known as the fastest disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House, and Ta Ku was known as the strongest. But Ling Sen was the most terrifying. He was versatile and excelled in all aspects of combat. To defeat Ling Sen in half a year was simply impossible. Those present were not ordinary people. They already had a great deal of information on Ling Senator. It was not wrong that Lin Ming had a martial intent, but Ling Sen also had a martial intent. Chapter 111. Wang Gan's Calculations. It was not wrong that Lin Ming had a martial intent, but Ling Sen also had a martial intent. While they both had comprehended martial intents, Lin Ming's talent was only a medium third grade, while Ling Sen's was an inferior fourth grade. Ling Sen was older than Lin Ming by five years, and he had trained at the Seven Profound Martial House for five years longer his strength approached that of a pulse condensation period master. In order to overcome this gap, in half a year, Lin Ming had to somehow train his strength to also approach that of a pulse condensation period master. And this was assuming that Ling Sen's strength would not further progress. But Ling Sen was a top-tier genius, how could he possibly not rise even higher in this half year? Some of those present knew the specific details of when Ling Sen had attempted the Seven Profound Valleys core disciple test in the past. The Seven Profound Valleys had required that Ling Sen reach the peak of the fourth stage of body transformation by the time he was 17 years old. But, they had required that Lin Ming reach the peak fourth stage of body transformation when he was 16 years old, or to enter the bone forging stage by the time he was 18 years old. From this alone, one could tell that the difficulty of Lin Ming's test was much higher than Ling Sen's. This was most likely because Lin Ming's talent was lower than Ling Sen's, therefore the Seven Profound Valleys had set a higher threshold for qualification. If others could follow this reasoning, then Lin Ming could too. In this series of tests, only the first one was necessary to becoming a core disciple of the Seven Profound Valleys. To achieve the peak of the fourth stage of body transformation when he was 16, for Lin Ming this wasn't a goal that was too difficult. What was truly difficult were the other four tests. These rewards were provided by the seven profound martial houses martial house master as an incentive. They were only extra rewards. Whether or not he could obtain them depended on his own ability, they did not affect whether he became a core disciple. Of course, if he had these rewards, then Lin Ming would complete the first test earlier. In this series of four rewards, the most difficult one to accomplish was defeating Ling Sen within six months. If he managed to do this, then he probably would have attained the other rewards. To defeat Ling Sen in six months, I bet the seven profound martial houses martial house master isn't expecting me to get very far. Lin Ming knew where he stood on this. He knew that with just his ethereal martial intent, his, flow like silk, and his foundation spear skills, there was no possibility in surpassing Ling Sen in just half a year unless he took top quality pills again. But, he would need to totally consolidate and refine the pill. Otherwise it would cause the true essence in his body to be impure. When a new disciple enters the heavenly abode, they will also hand out pills. But these pills are far inferior compared to the golden snake scarlet pill they probably won't have much of an effect. As Lin Ming thought of this, 
Elder Wang laughed and said, Starting from tomorrow, little brother Lin may use the seven profound martial houses seven major killing arrays for ten full days. You will also be given twenty true essence stones per month. These are personally gifted from the martial house master. It seems he's very optimistic about you. Little brother Lin, if you do not have any questions, then please accept. Ten full days of the seven major killing arrays. Lin Ming was absolutely delighted. This was treatment that only the top three disciples of the seven profound martial house would be favored with. Ten days all day. That meant 120 hours. He could almost practice whenever he liked. Elder Wang, I don't have any questions. Hmm, good. Then I will be leaving first. Everyone, please continue to have an enjoyable evening. Elder Wang flicked his fly whisk and put away the seven profound decree. Without speaking to anyone, he left the hall. Those in the hall began to discuss what had just occurred. The seven profound martial house core disciples really had it rough. Big sister Jing Yun, don't you think that the test is a bit too harsh? To have Lin Ming and Ling Sen actually fight, that is just too difficult. Lin Ming is so young, and Ling Sen, Taku, Zhang Guanyu are all 20 years old. How could he win against them? Mu Rong Zi said this somewhat angrily. Lin Ming's talent was already so heaven-defying. If the seven profound valleys would not take in such a person, then what kind of person would they take in? Bai Jingyun said, who said they were intentionally making it hard for him. The test did not require that Lin Ming defeat Ling Senator as long as his cultivation reaches the peak altering muscle stage while he is 16, then he will become a core disciple. Lin Ming is only 15 years old. He still has more than a year. If his martial intent suffices, then it is definitely possible to increase his cultivation by a stage. Are you worried for him? Mu Rong Zi pursed her lips. What I'm more worried about is, if he becomes a core disciple, then he'll be a pair with Qin Xingxuan. As Mu Rong Zi said this, Bai Jingyun understood. After all, Lin Ming and Qin Xingxuan were both a young boy and a young girl. Their ages were also similarly appropriate. Although Lin Ming's background was ordinary, if he had enough strength, then his background would mean nothing whatsoever. The crown prince laughed with a ha-ha and smiled. I already knew that brother Lin would become a core disciple sooner or later, but I had not thought that the seven profound decree would be sent down so quickly. This prince proposes that we all have a drink and celebrate our good brother Lin creating yet another miracle. The crown prince lifted his wine glass and tossed it down his throat. All of the guests present lifted their glasses and toasted Lin Ming. Because of the arrival of Elder Wang, the banquet atmosphere had reached a new high. Lin Ming's status was becoming increasingly prominent. Even if he could not become a core disciple, Lin Ming would still be bestowed a noble title, and would most likely become the same type of character as Qin Xiao. But if he did become a core disciple, then Lin Ming had the possibility of becoming the next seven profound envoy or the next martial house master of the seven profound martial house. These characters were the same as being the overlord of the land. They could control anything in the Sky Fortune Kingdom and do anything they want. They would be omnipotent. The attitude of those present grew increasingly eager and fervent towards Lin Ming. The nobility were thinking of how to curry favor with Lin Ming, and the aristocratic young ladies were hoping to obtain Mr. Lin Ming's favor. In that regard, Lin Ming was feeling a bit overwhelmed. At this moment, a middle-aged man wearing a long, close-fitting robe and a hat arrived at Lin Ming's side. He respectfully called him, Mr. Lin. Him, you are, Mr. Lin, I am Major Wang Gan of Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard Forces. Wang Gan said and formally bowed. Lin Ming's status was soaring, but he was still only a common person, and he was also his junior. Wang Gan was an army major, and he was also several dozen years old. With his status, he didn't have to bow to Lin Ming, but he did so in order to appear as humble as possible. Major Wang Gan of Sky Fortune City's Royal Guard Forces. Lin Ming was slightly surprised, but then he suddenly remembered Wang Yigao. Lin Ming naturally had not forgotten the repeated disputes he had with the frivolous dandy idiot. Wang Yigao was weak and an absolute mess. 
but he did have the influential background of being from the army major's household, so he had kept trying to suppress Lin Ming at every opportunity. If not for Mu Yi's earlier help, then he might not even have entered the seven profound martial house. He hadn't thought that this person who appeared would suddenly be Wang Yigo's father. Lin Ming didn't even have the tiniest favorable impression towards this Wang Gan. If he was a good father, then he wouldn't have raised such a horrible son. Lin Ming did not believe that Wang Gan didn't know of Wang Yigo's abusive actions. If one was poor, then they would even be killed in jail by Wang Yigao. This Wang Gan probably pretended that he never saw such things. Thinking this, Lin Ming's expression darkened. He said, I know you. In the past I personally experienced how cruel your son's methods are. The reason you came today is about your son's matters. As they say, if a son is not taught well, it is the father's fault. Does Mr. Wang not know how domineering and vicious the actions of his son usually are? Lin Ming's tone was bad. He reprimanded with a clear meaning. Wang Gan can come prepared to offer any sacrifice today, but being rebuked by Lin Ming in such a manner made him want to hang his head in shame. After all, he was an old man, and Lin Ming was still just a child. But he could only nod his head in agreement and said, Mr. Lin is right. I've already punished that evil and vicious child to half a year in confinement. I have also handed down the family discipline upon him, and now that little evil boy is. That's enough. You don't need to go any further. Lin Ming had already correctly guessed what Wang Gan had come here today for. You came today because you want me to forgive this matter. Lin Ming and Wang Gan weren't loud, but there were many masters present, and they were able to clearly hear them speaking. Wang Gan's tone was incomparably depressed. He had completely lost all of his face. Wang Gan lowered his voice and said, Mr. Lin, I have already been made aware of the actions that my evil and useless child had done to hinder Mr. Lin. The incident at the Marshall House entrance examination was wholly a Zhu Yan's instigation. About the sins of that evil boy, I am the clearest. As for the two previous matters, I have already hit that evil boy bad enough that he cannot get out of bed for several months. Mr. Lin is a dragon among humans. My evil child is just pathetic trash. Dragons do not live with snakes and tigers do not fight with dogs. It's not worth Mr. Lin's time to waste any effort over that useless playboy. If Mr. Lin is still unbearably angry, then I shall hand that evil child over to Mr. Lin's judgment. Whether you beat him to death or until he is crippled is all up to Mr. Lin's mood. Also, I have prepared a small gift of 60 true essence stones. I hope that Mr. Lin will accept them. As Wang Gan said this, Lin Ming couldn't help but acknowledge him. This sort of government official was like a slippery snake that had his own effective methods. He held his own, and then made a final concession. And it was a large gift of 60 true essence stones. Lin Ming also believed that if he kept pressing, Wang Gan would absolutely hand over his son to him to let him punish at his own discretion. But for this kind of person, if he was pushed into a corner, it would only serve to create an enemy. There was not the slightest advantage. Also, he never had plans to kill or maim Wang Yigao to begin with. For 60 true essence stones, Lin Ming didn't mind forgetting this matter. Good. I'm not too sentimental about this. I will take the true essence stones and consider this matter written off. Lin Ming was direct, but these words let Wang Gan feel a little surprised. He certainly knew what sort of value 60 true essence stones held towards martial artists. To collect so many true essence stones, he had paid a high price. But normally martial artists, especially talents like Lin Ming, were often haughty and distant in their manner. Even if they wanted the true essence stones, they would insincerely reject it, before finally begrudgingly accepting it. But Lin Ming was actually very direct in his manner. Although this was only a small detail, but it actually made Wang Gan feel much more relieved, as he had a new understanding of Lin Ming. They say that this Lin Ming's heart of martial arts was purer and stronger than others. Today I saw that Lin Ming acted casually and not overbearingly. He was not hypocritical, he did not humiliate. He did not have arrogance or an overly proud heart. 
He is understanding and his conscience is clear. He is very suitable to cultivate martial arts. After Wang Gan expressed his gratitude towards Lin Ming, he looked him deep in the eye, bid his farewells and left. He boarded his carriage and quietly rushed towards the palace of the Cloud Prince. He understood that within a few quarter hours, the name list of everyone who attended the banquet would be at the Cloud Prince's table. Wang Gan was a centrist. Since he attended to banquet today, he had to visit the Cloud Prince and offer a clear explanation for why he did so. Otherwise in the future, he would very possibly be regarded as a dissident. That would be greatly unfavorable towards him. At the same time as he explained, Wang Gan would also have to distance the responsibility from his own son. He would point towards the matter that happened at the beginning of fall and say that it was instigated by Zhu Yan, and say that his good-for-nothing son was only used as a proxy. Chapter 112. Crazy Zhu Yan. In order to avoid the eyes and ears of the crown prince, Wang Gan circled around the cloud prince's palace a few times. He had wrapped himself in a cloak and entered the palace through the back door. Like this, he had come to the cloud prince to especially explain why he had been at the crown prince's banquet, and also to report on the evil doings of Zhu Yan. The tenth prince probably wouldn't like to hear about Zhu Yan, but Wang Gan had his own spin to add to the story. He did not directly explain why he went to the crown prince's palace and attended his banquet. Instead, he began by borrowing the tenth prince's status in the army, and reporting to him about military affairs. He recommended to the tenth prince a brave father and son pair that had performed many meritorious military services. From this, he went back and forth on the greatness of such a father and son pairing, and then woefully sighed to himself about how his own household had suffered such misfortune and raised such a useless child. He then slowly edged in the matter of several months ago, where his good-for-nothing evil child had provoked Lin Ming, and then accidentally dropped Zhu Yan's name. How could the Cloud Prince not know the meaning behind Wang Gan's story? When he heard Wang Gan mention Zhu Yan time and time again, the Tenth Prince's expression fell. He hadn't known that Lin Ming and Wang Gan's son had such a conflict on the day of the entrance examination, and that the instigator of this accident was Zhu Yan. Major Wang, you've worked hard today. Please head back to rest as soon as possible. The Cloud Prince said with a blank expression. Yes, then I will excuse myself. Wang Gan's goal had already been achieved. Although the position he had in Sky Fortune City's government was not too big or too small, it was actually a very sensitive and important middle-level commanding role. Wang Gan had to be constantly cautious in order to preserve his own head, and he had done that very well. Sky Fortune City, Zhu Family Branch. Zhu Yan was wearing white pants. His hair was disheveled as he lay down on the bed. He had a dejected look as he peered outside the window. His eyes passed through the layered windows of the complex as he stared at the brilliantly illuminated palace of the crown prince. He knew that today the crown prince was holding a grand banquet at his palace, and the star of that party was Lin Ming. Thinking of Lin Ming, Zhu Yan clenched the bedsheets. The fine and expensive bedsheets were torn apart in Zhu Yan's grip. In that fight several days ago, he had seriously injured himself. The Red Lotus Purgatory was a martial skill that he hadn't been able to fully utilize yet. In doing so, he had overdrawn the true essence in his body and damaged his meridians. Zhu Yan's cultivation was insufficient, and he had barely used it. In addition to the enormous load on his body, he had been pushed back by Lin Ming's spear. The result was an even more severe injury on Zhu Yan. The wounds of the flesh were easy to cure with good medicines and pills but damage to the meridians was very hard to recover from. This kind of wound would become a major hindrance when he was breaking through to the pulse condensation period. Damn it, Peng! The velvet pillow under Zhu Yan suddenly exploded. The countless snow-white feathers fluttered around the room like snowflakes in winter. Ah! Lan Yunyu jumped in fear as she covered her mouth. Zhu Yan was moody, and this caused her to feel not even the least bit of security. One moment he was quiet, and the next moment he would be filled with anger like a raging beast. Lan Yunyu's scream caused Zhu Yan to suddenly look at Lan Yunyu. As soon as Zhu Yan's eyes fell on her, 
Lan Yunyu's breath caught in her chest. The look Zhu Yan gave her made her feel as if she was being submerged in an icy bath. She thought that Zhu Yan might even kill her now. There was a pause before Zhu Yan suddenly asked, Do you regret? What? What regrets? Lan Yunyu panicked. She took a deep breath, and tried to sound as calm as possible. You know what I'm talking about. Lin Ming's present achievements were already several times more dazzling than Zhu Yan. Without a doubt, his achievements in the future would far outstrip Zhu Yan. Zhu Yan believed that with Lan Yunyu's pragmatic heart, she would inevitably regret to the extreme. The crown prince is hosting the grandest of banquets. He is there. If you regret then you may go there and look for him. That sort of banquet, there are all sorts of celebrities and famous, influential figures. The aristocratic young ladies there wear magnificent and expensive attire, and their manners and poise are elegant. Isn't that what you've always wanted? You may go now. Zhu Yan's calm voice brought an icy chill with it. It caused Lan Yunyu to feel fearful and apprehensive. She knew that today, Zhu Yan was walking on the edge of a cliff. If she really did say she, regretted, she did not know what he would do in his rage. Lan Yunyu was on pins and needles. She clenched her lips and said, I no longer have any qualifications to regret anything anymore. Zhu Yan evilly smiled, and revealed the corners of his teeth. You were very honest. At least you weren't hypocritical and said you didn't regret. Good. You truly do not have the qualifications to regret. Such being the case, take off your clothes. What? Lan Yun Yu subconsciously grabbed her own collar in surprise. Zhu Yan, we are not married. Marriage. Lan Yun Yu, you do not understand your position and identity. Do you think that you are a princess? The reason I have not made an advance on you is because I respected you. But you, you must at least have the qualifications that are worth me respecting. Have you ever had me for even a moment in your heart? Now prove it to me. Take off your clothes. Zhu Yan, you. Lan Yun Yu felt an impending sense of alarm and subconsciously leaned towards the door. Before this, Zhu Yan's disposition had already been dark, with a sense of high-risk danger. But the truth was that Zhu Yan had never made a move on Lan Yunyu. In fact, most of the time he had been the very image of a gentleman's gentleman. But today Lan Yunyu did not doubt that Zhu Yan would rape her. Because of his failures and frustration from his defeat in the match, as well as his future setbacks, he had already become similar to a wild, angry beast. Zhu Yan saw Lan Yunyu's petty actions and his voice lowered in anger. Although I am injured, I am more than enough to deal with you. I advise you not to move towards the entrance. If you take another step towards the door, I don't mind personally moving. Zhu, Zhu Yan, Lan Yunyu bit her lip. Tears had already begun to form at the corners of her eyes. She grabbed the collar of her clothes, and her knuckles and already turned white from the excessive gripping. Her voice trembled as she said, You lost to Lin Ming in the match, and you think that by abusing a woman that Lin Ming had liked, you will be able to retaliate and vent your anger against him. Is this your heart of martial arts? Zhu Yan, why must you use this method to psychologically comfort yourself? Does this make you feel better? What did you say? Zhu Yan's face had completely sunk. Every word Lan Yunyu said had punished his heart and poked his sore spot. The reason he wanted to move on Lan Yunyu today was exactly because of this repression that he could vent or retaliate against. He hated. He hated everything about Lin Ming. He urgently needed to find somewhere, anywhere, where he could be just a tiny bit better than Lin Ming. He would take complete possession of the woman Lin Ming used to like, in order to rid his heart of its demons. But, his thoughts had been bluntly revealed by Lan Yunyu. To look for a sense of superiority in a woman's body, this made Zhu Yan feel extremely pitiful. Therefore, he became angry out of his shame. He revolved his true essence, and was about to pounce on her. But at this moment, a voice sounded behind the door. The old servant's voice resounded from outside, Young master, the tenth prince has come. Hm? Zhu Yan frowned. The true essence that he had begun to circulate gradually calmed down. Lan Yunyu was strained to her limit. Her body was up against the wall, 
and she slowly slid down against the floor. Her back was covered in nervous sweat. In this past month, the name of the tenth prince had been her nightmare. At that time, with just a few words, he had almost caused Zhu Yan to renounce their engagement and divorce her. But now, hearing the tenth prince's arrival, it actually made her feel incomparably relieved. Zhu Yan rose up and began to dress himself silently. To see the tenth prince, he would naturally neatly dress himself and greet him in the hall. Only someone whose wound was too heavy or was terminally ill would meet in their bedroom. However, as Zhu Yan was putting on clothes, there was the sound of disorderly footsteps outside. The door opened, and the tenth prince stood at the entrance. He had a few followers with him, and his face was calm, showing neither joy nor anger. Greetings, your highness. Zhu Yan bowed. Lan Yunyu also stood and bowed, before she moved back to a corner of the room. According to customs, when an official bowed to the prince, the prince would dispense with the ceremony with a show of words. However, the tenth prince had not said anything, and Zhu Yan had bowed. You know Wang Yigao? The tenth prince suddenly asked. This question made Lan Yunyu feel completely senseless. Zhu Yan immediately understood that the tenth prince was referring to the matter that happened at the beginning of fall. Otherwise, it would be impossible for the tenth prince to mention such an unimportant person like Wang Yigao so suddenly. Because Lin Ming had become famous, Wang Yigao had been held accountable and confessed to his father, which was then passed to the ears of the tenth prince. Yes, Zhu Yan admitted. He knew that the reason Lin Ming favored the crown prince might be because of this matter. He had not mentioned it at his own initiative, but now it was known by the tenth prince. Very good. Now I know why it was so easy for my third elder brother to win over Lin Ming. You might not have known, but the one who had rescued Lin Ming from Wang Yigao was my third elder brother. This is simply icing on the cake. How much more timely could that help have been? You have been under my command for two years already, and you still have not even had half a minute of merit, and yet you already have given third elder brother such a great present. You may know that the Seven Profound Valleys has already started Lin Ming on the core disciple test tonight. As long as he passes, then he will be a core disciple. Zhu Yan's heart maliciously twitched. Core disciple. This was unthinkable. In the entire Sky Fortune Kingdom, only Qin Xingxuan was a locally born core disciple. As for the others, they were children of the mystical martial arts families. Zhu Yan, do you know what the value of a martial house core disciple is to me and my third elder brother? The tenth prince expression was a bit grim. A core disciple of the martial house would enter the seven profound valleys in the future. Afterwards, they would either stay at the seven profound valleys, or be sent back. In the second case, they would be appointed as either the Seven Profound Martial House's Martial House Master, or as a Seven Profound Envoy. If Lin Ming stayed at the Seven Profound Valleys, that would be all right. But if he was sent back to become the Martial House Master or a Seven Profound Envoy, then that was extraordinary. The Sky Fortune Kingdom was a vassal state to the Seven Profound Valleys and under their jurisdiction. The Martial House Master and the Seven Profound Envoy had a status that surpassed even the Emperor. If Lin Ming was appointed as the Martial House Master or as a Seven Profound Envoy and publicly supported the Crown Prince, then there was no hope for him to ascend the throne. And if he failed to ascend the throne, then the price would possibly be his life. Zhu Yan clenched his fists so hard that his nails dug into the meat of his palm. Core Disciple how is this even possible? If Lin Ming someday became the martial house master of the Seven Profound Martial House, or a Seven Profound Envoy, then to kill him would be as simple as crushing an ant. Thinking of this, he felt as if he was sinking in a bottomless well of despair. This enmity, could it ever be fixed? Lan Yunyu was slumped up against a wall, and her face had lost all of its color. Core Disciple, Lin Ming, he wanted to become a core disciple. In the future he would be the Seven Profound Martial House's Martial House Master or he might be a Seven Profound Envoy. To her, this kind of existence was nothing but simply fanciful legends. It was simply too remote an idea for her. At this moment, the Tenth Prince also noticed Lan Yunyu. 
He had thought that Lan Yunyu was a maidservant, but after noticing the fine clothes Lan Yunyu was wearing, he realized he had been mistaken. You are Lan Yunyu, Chapter 113, The Tenth Prince's Decision. At this moment, the Tenth Prince noticed Lan Yunyu. He had thought that Lan Yunyu was a maidservant, but after noting the fine clothes Lan Yunyu was wearing, he realized that he had been mistaken. You are Lan Yunyu. Lan Yunyu regained her composure and bowed to the Tenth Prince. Lan Yunyu greets His Highness the Cloud Prince. The Tenth Prince looked up and down at Lan Yunyu. He sneered derisively and said, Good. What a charmingly pitiful and pathetic appearance. No wonder Lin Ming was so utterly crazy for you. It's such a pity. If you were still friends with Lin Ming, then I might have been able to find you some value in you. But now, looking at you only makes me sick to my stomach. The tenth prince spoke mercilessly, disregarding her feelings. Lan Yunyu paled. How could a girl withstand such cruel words being said to her? Leave. The tenth prince dismissed Lan Yunyu with a wave of his hand. Lan Yunyu bit her lip as she fought back the tears that were pooling in her eyes. She bowed, and excused herself. As Lan Yunyu walked out, the tenth prince stepped back. Finally, the only ones left in the room were the tenth prince and Zhu Yan. The tenth prince glared at Zhu Yan, and coldly said, Do you want revenge? Zhu Yan remained silent. However, the blood that dripped to the ground from the nails that dug into his fist, had already answered the tenth prince. Very good. You should know that Lin Ming will soon become a core disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House. You also know what sort of status the Seven Profound Martial House has in Sky Fortune Kingdom. There is only the slimmest chance that you will have an opportunity to revenge yourself. But no matter how uncertain your chances, there will still be opportunities. It's impossible for Lin Ming to stay at the Seven Profound Martial House forever. As long as he comes out from there, then there will be a chance to assassinate him. Your strength is insufficient. You will look for a suitable powerhouse that can handle him. I will secretly provide you with money and treasure. As long as the reward is enough, there will always be some wandering powerhouses who will be tempted. These wandering masters are never in the same location, and it is difficult to find out who they are, even for the seven profound valleys. But, from an outsider's view I will sever all contact with you, and the Zhu family will expel you from the family. Zhu Yan, I hope you can understand my reasoning. The Zhu family has already been bound to me. I must inherit the throne. Otherwise, not only I, but the entire Zhu family will suffer complete and utter annihilation. Zhu Yan's heart pumped fiercely. To distance himself from the tenth prince and even be expelled from the family. He knew why the tenth prince did what he did. Assassinating Lin Ming carried too high a risk. Once it was found out by the seven profound martial house, then the tenth prince and the Zhu family would be finished. Therefore he had cut off all relations. Like this. Even if the assassination of Lin Ming failed and became known to the seven profound martial house, it would have nothing to do with the tenth prince and the Zhu family. What the tenth prince and the Zhu family would do was to show goodwill towards Lin Ming on the surface, while plotting against him. To outsiders, such a ruthless move would simply seem like the tenth prince and the Zhu family were making concessions towards Lin Ming. In order to show goodwill towards Lin Ming, a brave soldier had to take the fall, so that Lin Ming would not take the tenth prince as his enemy. It could even be that the tenth prince would manage to win Lin Ming over from the crown prince's side, or at least make it so that Lin Ming was not so heavily invested in the crown prince. A two-pronged approach. This was the best plan. However, his own political future would be ruined. He would lose his family, lose his power, lose everything he had, and become a wandering avenger with nothing left to lose. Once he failed, the price would be his life but he didn't have the power to make a choice. The family would not hesitate to sacrifice their son in exchange for their own benefit. Zhu Yan, it's already come to this point, there's no turning back. This is the only way. I cannot just give up and admit defeat because of a single Lin Ming. I have to continue fighting, and the Zhu family has to preserve itself. But Lin Ming is just too terrible. If he becomes a seven profound envoy or the martial house master, then I have not even a smidgen of hope.
I must either win Lin Ming over, or remove him from the equation. About your matter, I have already talked to mother and she has agreed. Either tomorrow or tonight, you will go on your journey and arrange an assassination plan. I hope that you do not disappoint me again. If you succeed and don't leave behind any hints that you were involved, then after I mount the throne and the situation has stabilized, then I will give you what you want. Give me what I want. Zhu Yan sneered in his heart. Indeed, at that time you will silence me so that you can rid yourself of a witness to your crimes. Even trusted subordinates would be eliminated once they outlived their usefulness, or be cast aside when they were no longer needed. Much less, the Tenth Prince's natural disposition was to be overly suspicious and believe nobody. How could he tolerate such a danger by his side? Would he ever have peace eating or sleeping? Assassinate a core disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House. This accusation alone was enough to have the Seven Profound Valleys sentence the Tenth Prince to death. If I fail, I will die. If I succeed, I will die. You deprive me of my wealth, destroy my future, and also want to take my life. Yang Zhen, you are too ruthless. And my dear, sweet aunt, you also participated in this idea. To help your son struggle for the throne, you have used such a cruel method on your nephew. Good, very good. My Zhu Yan's fate, I will take in my own hands. Zhu Yan's eyes flashed with a cold brightness. At this moment he vowed, that all those people who had worked against him or offended him would all be killed. I want strength. I want limitless strength. Strength to kill Lin Ming, strength to kill Yang Zhen. To dominate everything and control the life and death of all. Peng, the tenth prince opened the door and left the Zhu family branch complex with his guards. Lan Yunyu sat in the hall and watched as the tenth prince walked away, feeling helpless and lost. Zhu Yan's bedroom door was slightly ajar, leaving a small crack open like the jaws of some wild beast lying sideways. Lan Yunyu could not muster up the courage to step into that room, but she was also unable to leave. She could only stand in that empty and vacant hall, waiting. After a quarter hour passed, Zhu Yan finally emerged from the room. Lan Yunyu reflexively stood up. Zhu Yan turned around and casually flung a light piece of paper towards Lan Yunyu. Lan Yunyu subconsciously glanced at it. She had been expecting this. It was the contract paper they had signed when they had become engaged to each other. Tear it! Zhu Yan exclaimed. What? The? I'm sorry. Lan Yunyu's hands froze. Our engagement is dissolved. From this point on, I am expelled from the Zhu family. X. Expelled. Lan Yunyu was completely shocked. How could this be? Zhu Yan said, when you and I were engaged, the only reason you did so was because of my status, power, influence, and money. Now, I no longer have these things. There is no longer a reason for you to stay with me. This engagement contract is now nothing more than a joke. After Zhu Yan said this, he flicked his finger and the contract in Lan Yunyu's hand was torn into fragments by true essence. At that moment, Lan Yunyu's mind blanked. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, it was a shameful matter for a girl to become divorced after she was engaged. It would be difficult to remarry again. When wealthy people looked for a wife, they would never settle for such women. If they did, it would only be as a concubine. You can go now. Zhu Yan had completely calmed down. He turned and walked away, not giving Lan Yunyu even a last parting look. His heart was only filled with immeasurable hatred. The Zhu Yan of the past had died in that bedroom. How could he possibly have the thought to consider Lan Yunyu's feelings? As Lan Yunyu stepped out of the Zhu family branch complex, she wandered onto the street in a daze. It was over. Zhu Yan and her were completely over. She suddenly discovered that she did not feel the sadness and gloomy misery of a young girl that was left by herself. Instead, she felt a kind of peaceful solace as she let out a sigh. Along with that torn engagement paper, those incomparably depressing and weary days had ended. The late autumn night wind was thick with moisture, and it was chilly as it blew on the body. Sky Fortune City's nightlife was as vivid as ever, as happy and buoyant sounds filled the air. Among the wanton and luxurious brothels, the vivid red lanterns hanging high in the air, 
and the dim lights, Lan Yunyu could hear the sounds of women chatting away. Looking at the noisy world around her, Lan Yunyu suddenly smiled. It was a bittersweet smile, filled with relief. She remembered her childhood, when she and Lin Ming would play with bamboo dragonflies on the moist spring grass. She remembered when they would go out in the rain to pick the small wildflowers together, or step across the slippery stones of a creek and dip their toes into the cool spring. Little fish would come up and nibble on their toes, giving him an itchy feeling. Because Lin Ming grew up in a restaurant, he knew how to prepare a delicious meal in a short time. He would catch a pheasant, pick some wild herbs and wild fruits, and bring his own clay pots to cook a variety of tasty foods. One time when she was sick, he ran several miles in the pouring rain to grab some clear mountain spring water so that he could boil her some nutritious medicinal porridge. However, she could no longer go back to those days. Before she had realized it, tears were already streaming down her face. She regretted. But what she regretted was not that Lin Ming had become Sky Fortune Kingdom's most dazzling superstar, or that she missed her chance to become the wife of the next state marshal or the seven profound envoy. No, what she regretted was that she had discarded that simple, pure happiness for nothing but useless luxury and empty vanity. She walked aimlessly. Her frail and attractive body was wrapped in a simple blue long dress. Under the shining red lights of the lanterns, she was covered by a misty and lonely shadow. She was like a desolate blue butterfly that flew in the cold autumn wind. She did not want to return to the seven profound martial house. With her talent, she had already lost the support of precious herbs and medicines. In her life, she could no longer achieve a high martial arts cultivation. She did not want to return to Green Mulberry City. She did not have the face to go back. She did not know how to face her own parents or how to face her neighbors. Most importantly, she did not want to see Lin Ming again. She did not want to bid him farewell. Lin Ming was sitting in a carriage drawn by snow dragon horses. He was completely ignorant to how Zhu Yan and Lan Yunyu's destinies had changed, and how Zhu Yan was completely filled with hatred towards him. He knew that that Zhu Yan's enmity towards him had not been resolved. He also guessed correctly that Zhu Yan would wait for an opportunity to retaliate against him in the future. However, he could not kill Zhu Yan. For better or for worse, Zhu Yan was also an official disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House. To kill him would be challenging the authority of the Martial House. Mr. Lin, please get off, a servant of the Crown Prince respectfully said as the carriage stopped. Lin Ming drew back the carriage curtains. He thought that he would meet with the crown prince in his palace study. He hadn't thought that they would have left Sky Fortune City and arrived at the base of Joe Mountain. This location actually wasn't too far from the Seven Profound Martial House. As Lin Ming debarked from the carriage, he saw that they had actually stopped in front of a mansion. The mansion was not luxurious, but the inside was very elegant in its construction. There were small bridges that hung over flowing streams and winding rock corridors. It didn't look much like a mansion. It was more reminiscent of a garden. Ha ha, brother Lin, do you like this place? Him, Lin Ming slightly hesitated. He already had a dim guess of what Yang Lin wanted to do, and that was to give this residency to him. If he received this residency, then he would become a person of the crown prince. Chapter 114 Yang Lin's gift. Lin Ming had no interest or reason to be involved with the struggle for the royal throne. However, the crown prince and Mu Yi had shown graciousness towards him. If not for the crown prince sending a sound transmitting talisman to help him on the day of the seven profound martial house's entrance examination, then Lin Ming would not have been able to participate. Not only that, but he would have been miserably put in jail, and even disabled. Lin Ming was a considerate person who returned good deeds and favors that others did for him. Being selfish and ungrateful was not part of his nature. If he ever did such a thing, then that would be a true betrayal of his heart. He frankly asked, Your Highness, how can I help you? Yang Lin did not expect Lin Ming to get straight to the point. It was quite refreshing. He smiled and said, Brother Lin, you are a straightforward person who speaks his mind then I will also be blunt. 
Right now in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, it is time for a new person to inherit the throne. There are two possible candidates that can do so. Me and my tenth younger brother. I was pushed into the position of crown prince. As such, now that I've ridden the tiger, I can no longer back down. Now, my queen mother's life, and my younger sister's life are already linked with mine. I have to fully commit myself to this throne struggle, whether or not I ever wanted to. I know that Brother Lin is a martial artist who detests political intrigue, but Brother Lin need not worry. If Brother Lin is willing to help me, then I will not have Brother Lin do anything. All I need is Brother Lin's support. With Brother Lin's status as a core disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House, it will already be of great benefit to me. If I must step back 10,000 steps and say it, even if I lose the struggle for the throne, my tenth younger brother would still never dare to touch Brother Lin. Lin Ming responded, Crown Prince Your Highness, I am afraid that you've misunderstood. I do not fear the tenth prince's retaliation, nor do I fear any assassination attempts. It is just that I might not stay in the Sky Fortune Kingdom in the future. Oh, I see. Yang Lin sighed in his heart. Lin Ming really did have lofty ambitions. He was similar to Qin Zingxuan. A small country like the Sky Fortune Kingdom could not accommodate him. Lin Ming said, Your Highness, but I can guarantee that unless that I am too far from the Sky Fortune Kingdom, if I hear news of the struggle for the throne, then I will hurry back as soon as possible and lend Your Highness a helping hand. Yang Lin happily said, I'm very grateful towards Brother Lin. Yang Lin brought Lin Ming to take a tour of the residency, which was in fact a manor. The manor also had an attachment of hundreds of acres of farmland. There were droves of livestock, poultry, and massive ponds for fish and shrimp. Inside the manor were male servants, guards, maids. All of the expenses of the manor were self-sufficient, and there was even a surplus. In the bedroom of the manor were some money and valuables. There was a sandalwood box on the table. There were rows of true essence stones neatly lined within. These true essence stones were pure in color, and were obviously of superior quality. There were more than 100 of them. Even if Lin Ming were to cultivate daily with these, this number of these true essence stones would be sufficient to last him half a year. The pure color of the true essence stones implied that the amount of true essence within was many times more than an ordinary one. This gift, it was quite generous. In the box that held so many true essence stones, Lin Ming also discovered a plain ring. The ring looked like it was made of aged bronze, but it exuded a faint hint of true essence fluctuations. Hmm, this is. Lin Ming's eyes locked onto the ring. He sent his soul force out to see what was so unusual about it. Yang Lin smiled and said, Brother Lin has good eyes. This is a low-grade human step spatial ring. It is a gift from my teacher, Mr. Muyi, to his little brother Lin. Spatial ring. Lin Ming's mind blanked. He had heard of this kind of ring before. There was a small pocket dimension inside, and it could be used to store many things. It was also said to be unstable. The truth was that after several hundred years, the space inside would collapse upon itself, and the items inside would also be destroyed. A spatial ring, according to its size and the degree of its stability, could be divided into many different grades. Although this spatial ring was only a low-grade human step treasure, its true value was as good as a medium-grade human step treasure. This was because it was far too difficult to create a spatial ring. It was easier said than done for a martial artist to crack open a fissure in space. Even if it was only a small, unstable space that lasted a few hundred years, it would not be easy. Those spatial rings that had vast inner spaces and were very stable were inestimable in value. Mr. Muyi gave this to me. Him. Teacher said that the reason he obtained this spatial ring was because of Brother Lin. When Brother Lin had just entered the Seven Profound Martial House, you may not have known, but the Seven Profound Martial House's Elder Zhu and Wang Yanfeng's father were old friends, and thus Elder Zhu was unsatisfied with you being named the first place new disciple. Therefore, Mr. Muyi made a bet with him. He bet that Brother Lin would enter the heavenly abode before Wang Yanfeng did. Finally, Brother Lin entered the heavenly abode, and Elder Zhu lost. 
This spatial ring was the gambling stake of that bet. So that's what happened. I remember Elder Zhu. After I defeated Wang Yanfeng, this Elder Zhu came on stage to look for trouble. Yes, that's him. So Brother Lin, please accept this spatial ring. Consider it an apology from Elder Zhu. Well, then I will ask your highness to thank Mr. Muyi for me. Lin Ming hesitated, then received the gift. Since he had already decided to lend the crown prince a helping hand, he would no longer be hypocritical in his actions. Not to mention, this spatial ring really was quite handy. Later he could use it to deposit all those piles of inscription technique materials that he had stocked up. Ha ha, Brother Lin, do not worry. There is also something in the spatial ring. Brother Lin can take it out. As long as you send your soul force through the spatial ring, you will be able to. Oh, Lin Ming did as the crown prince had said, and penetrated the spatial ring with his soul force. He could feel something like a piece of clothing inside. As soon as he took it out, he saw that it was a purple gold colored flexible armor. The flexible armor appeared to be woven from thin metal wires. It was soft to the touch, and above the flexible armor was a scarlet blood symbol. These blood symbols were complicated and mysterious. They shined with a dazzlingly bright light. Lin Ming peered closer and found that the blood symbol had actually seeped into the texture of the metal wires, and had become a part of the flexible armor. These blood characters were obviously written on after the flexible armor was created. To have the strength to force these characters through the metal weave, this bold handwriting style definitely belonged to the master of a master. Yang Lin said, this flexible armor is named the purple gold flexible armor. By itself it is a medium grade human step treasure. These blood symbols were drawn by a peak Hushan master who specialized in charms. He had to consume his own blood essence in order to draw this. It is able to weaken true essence attacks. Him, weaken true essence attacks. Ling Ming was surprised. True essence was a type of energy that naturally circulated inside the body. It could easily penetrate through flexible armor. This flexible armor was unexpectedly capable of weakening true essence attacks and was also a medium grade human step treasure. Its value could be imagined. Yang Lin said, Brother Lin is in a very sensitive position now. I fear that you may suffer assassination attempts so I gift this armor to Brother Lin. Even a normal Hushan master would find it difficult to break through this armor. Well, although I say it's so great, at most this flexible armor can fend off a sneak attack and delay for some time. If facing off against a true Hushan master, I'm afraid that there would be no meaning for Brother Lin to put on this flexible armor. Although a Hushan master could not break through the flexible armor, that didn't mean that Lin Ming could just wear it and challenge anyone he saw. As soon as a Hushan master hit the body with all of their strength, that attack strength would be transmitted through the flexible armor and would be enough to burst all of a person's organs, much less, this flexible armor only weakened true essence attacks and was unable to completely negate them. This flexible armor was priceless. For Yang Lin to give this to him, he must have paid an enormous price. Lin Ming hesitated slightly, and then decided to take it. He really was in a very sensitive position at the moment. This flexible armor could also be considered a lucky talisman. Thank you, your highness. Ha ha, brother Lin is far too polite. In fact, I want to thank brother Lin. Whatever I can give, to be honest, my tenth brother can give more all of which is superior to what I can offer. Yang Lin candidly said. Lin Ming and the crown prince walked further inside until they reached another room. This was the master bedroom of the manor. The master bedroom was very luxurious, and exquisitely decorated. In the middle of the room was a large mahogany bed more than 10 feet wide. It was enough for four to five people to comfortably sleep in. At this time, four maids had already prepared the bed for Lin Ming. They respectfully stood at the four corners of the bed. Of these four maids, their ages were around 16 years old, and it was hard to tell which was more beautiful. They had obviously gone through a careful selection process. The maids were usually the daughters of poor people who were sold as children. The most beautiful among them would be selected, and sent off to train in how to serve. They were even taught the fine arts. 
In the future they would be sent to the palaces of the nobility to work. Once a maid was purchased, their body belonged to their master, and their master could use them as they pleased. This was especially true for those personal maids that lived in connection rooms and served the daily tasks of their master. This was equal to being a concubine. This kind of maid was usually responsible for the governance of the house. Besides waiting in their master's bedroom and doing some cleaning, they did not need to do anything else. Their monthly expenses and status were very high, and was a position that the outer maids much admired and envied. Many maids wanted to join in on this. After all, for them, becoming a concubine or even an aunt was the best result. Otherwise when they were sold out to be married, it would be difficult for them to find anyone decent. That was why most of the time, when a maid heard they would be sold, they would often cry in extreme distress. The four maids saw Lin Ming arrive, and their hearts were filled with trepidation. Some of them even had trouble breathing. The butler had already told them who this young man was. He was the most dazzling star of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, who was called the genius of the seven profound martial house that only came by once every century, and even had the possibility of becoming a core disciple. The butler had already given him strict instructions to serve him tonight in any way possible, and that they had to perform everything perfectly and splendidly. If they could give this Sir Lin a good impression, then in this life they might have a chance of transforming from a sparrow to a phoenix. Therefore this evening was very important to them. As a maid, to be able to serve this legendary and handsome young man as a personal maid was the good fortune of their life. The bedding had been neatly spread, and there was not even the slightest crease in the sheets. The furniture and curtains had all been spotlessly cleaned, the incense burner was new and the floor was sparkling bright. Lin Ming saw these four fresh and juicy maids. He looked around and saw the fine mahogany furniture, the expensive spice purple gold incense burner, the woven silk sheets, and was unable to restrain a sigh. These were all the comforts and enjoyments of life that riches and fame could bring. Yang Lin said, Brother Lin, if you are tired, then let's rest here tonight. I will also accompany Brother Lin and stay in the guest room. Lin Ming knew that Yang Lin offered this so that he would feel relieved and rest without fear of assassination. As the current dynasty's crown prince, Yang Ling surely had martial arts masters who served as his royal guard, otherwise the tenth prince would not need to assassinate Lin Ming. He would simply kill the crown prince and be done with it. Lin Ming looked at the four maids that were like little timid white rabbits, and saw the hope and fear that intermingled in their eyes. He shook his head slightly and said to Yang Lin, No, I will return to the seven profound martial house. Him, this manner is not to brother Lin's liking. Not really, Lin Ming said with a faint smile. He continued, Here, life is too comfortable and luxurious. The quiet and simple days of the seven profound martial house are much more suitable for cultivation. Chapter 115 Zhang Guanyu. Not really, Lin Ming said with a faint smile. He continued, Here, life is too comfortable and luxurious. The quiet and simple days of the seven profound martial house are much more suitable for cultivation. This, brother Lin is too assiduous. Sometimes proper rest is needed. A bowstring stretched too taut isn't necessary a good thing. Some degree of relaxation is also good. Since brother Lin has decided to go, then I will call the guards to protect Brother Lin on his way back. The crown prince quickly called his royal guard to keep Lin Ming safe as he returned to the martial house. When Lin Ming left, the four young maidservants were relieved, but they also felt a faint disappointment. Their entire manner of several hundred people had been busy at work for the past few days meticulously cleaning the entire manor, but Lin Ming had only taken a look, and hadn't even sat down. However, this manor now belonged to Lin Ming. Regardless of whether he slept here or stayed here, they had to keep everything clean and spotless every day. What? Challenge me in fourth months. In a sumptuously decorated hall, on top of a soft silk mattress, an exceedingly handsome young man lazily reclined against a headrest. This young man's hands were greedily hugging an enchanting beauty of great assets. At the foot of the mattress, a young, Beautiful maid was slowly massaging his legs, and on the other end, 
A charmingly pretty woman was plucking crystal grapes with her slender fingers, and gently placing them into the young man's mouth. This man was the third place master of the seven profound martial houses ranking stone, Zhang Guanyu. Besides the core disciples of the seven profound martial house, he was the only gifted genius with a fifth grade martial talent. Not only that, but Zhang Guanyu was an outstanding talent who was raised by the Allied Trade Association. In the future, he had the possibility of becoming the president of the Allied Trade Association. The Allied Trade Association was a large organization that was heavily invested in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, and even in several nearby countries. It had existed for a long time. It was even older than the Sky Fortune Dynasty. With such a great organization, its history and strength were profound and unthinkable. Zhang Guanyu's martial talent was only inferior to Qin Zingxuan within the entirety of all the young martial artists of the Sky Fortune Kingdom. With the important position that he occupied, it could be said that he was a favored son of heaven. Beautiful women, wealth, power. All of these were easily within his reach. However, even with the vast resources of the Allied Trade Association and with his own gifted talent, he still hadn't produced any amazing results. On the seven profound martial house ranking stone, he was only third, below Ling Sen and Taku. Ling Sen had his Ashura martial intent. His strength was formidable and disgustingly abnormal. Being below him was understandable. But Taku was only a superior fourth grade talent. Although he did have inborn divine strength, his talent was inferior to Zhang Guanyu, and the resources at his disposal were far inferior. It was unjustifiable for Zhang Guanyu to be suppressed by Taku. Ultimately, it was decided that Zhang Guanyu's heart of martial arts was too weak, and he excessively wallowed in debauchery. When he had passed the dream trial, Zhang Guanyu's results had been horrible. But even knowing this problem, the Allied Trade Association had no way to force Zhang Guanyu into abstinence. This was because a martial artist had to follow their heart and soul. If they were forced to go against their nature, their heart would be suppressed, and their cultivation would be hindered. Facing this situation, the Allied Trade Association did have a backup plan. That was simply to let Zhang Guanyu practice the seven profound martial houses Acacia Faction's cultivation methods. However, the Acacia Faction's high-level cultivation method manuals were only passed down to core disciples. If Zhang Guanyu wanted to study them, he could study the branch methods. At this point, his family's deep history demonstrated just how far their hands could reach. The Allied Trade Association relied on its wide-reaching network and nefarious methods to forcibly create an opportunity and persuade the Seven Profound Valleys Acacia Faction to pass on a part of its core cultivation method manual so that Zhang Guanyu could practice it. Zhang Guanyu had already been practicing this cultivation method for half a year now, and his cultivation had already been greatly increased. The new and improved Zhang Guanyu was like a fish in water. He had sex every day, and his cultivation steadily grew. He led a dreamy life of revelry and carnal pleasures with unsurpassed comfort. Tonight, just as Zhang Guanyu had been planning to enjoy the company of two pretty concubines, he received news from the Seven Profound Martial House that Lin Ming would challenge him within four months. This caused his libido to be reduced, and the flames of anger in his heart to rise. This Seven Profound Martial House, it was as if they were taking him as some sort of sharpening stone. Ha ha, yes, Elder Wang visited the Crown Prince's palace to directly pass on the Seven Profound Decree to Lin Ming, and inform him of the Seven Profound Martial Test. The requirements of the test are that he achieve the peak altering muscle stage when 16 years old, or to reach the bone forging stage when he is 18 years old. In addition, if he can enter the top 10 rankings of the 10,000 killing array within 3 months, defeat you in 4 months, defeat Taku within 5 months, or defeat Ling Sen within 6 months, then he will have an extra reward. And these are truly rich rewards. The one who spoke was a man over 20 years old. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, he was one of the seven core disciples of the seven profound marital house. His name was Zhou Yu. Zhou Yu came from a martial arts cultivation family, and he also practiced the cultivation methods of the Acacia faction. 
he and Zhou Yu had a good relationship with each other due to this. Humph, since they want to use me as a sharpening tool, fine, I will break this sword. This Lin Ming has become too arrogant these days. A mere piddling third grade talent little boy dares to claim without any justifications that he is the genius of a century in the seven profound martial house. These years, although Zhang Guanyu's strength was inferior to Ling Sen and Ta Ku's, he still had the esteemed reputation of being the second most talented individual in the younger generation of the Sky Fortune Kingdom. And that first place spot belonged to Qin Xingxuan. However, Qin Xingxuan was just a woman, and because of that, he did not envy her at all. Zhang Guanyu never envied women, because as long as he conquered a woman, then their own talent became his. And if he could not conquer them, then that was unimportant as long as that woman was not conquered by other men. If it was so, then Zhang Guanyu could bear it. But this Lin Ming was different. In these past days Lin Ming had stolen the spotlight from him. All the attention of the major powers of Sky Fortune City and the common martial artists was on him. Who would remember someone like Zhang Guanyu? What did Zhang Guanyu count for? Although he was third on the ranking stone, and had a talent above almost everyone else, what the people cared about most were not talents, but results. In the streets and alleys of Sky Fortune City, as long as a person mentioned the younger generation of the seven profound martial house, it would all be about the name Lin Ming. Just hearing this name made Zhang Guanyu feel unhappy. And now, even more directly for Lin Ming's test, the seven profound martial house had listed out such ridiculous conditions. They had actually planned on using him as a stepping stone for Lin Ming to rise up further as a mythic genius. This aroused Zhang Guanyu's wrath. It was always him that stepped on others. When was it others' turn to step on him? Well done. What a seven profound martial house master. Since you dare to use me as a human stepping stone, then I will step on that person you have so kindly chosen and trample him underneath my feet mercilessly. This is just right. I have already cultivated the divine acacia power to large success of the first layer. I'll have you look at the disparity between a third grade talent and a fifth grade talent. Zhang Guanyu's face flashed with a hideous look. He gripped the breasts of the charming woman in one hand, and pulled the woman who was feeding grapes towards him. The women gave a surprised shout and the three of them tumbled together onto the bed. The curtains closed, and Zhang Guanyu smiled evilly as he started to rip off the clothes of the two concubines. Since his heart was burning with anger, he naturally had to vent it somewhere. Zhang Guanyu's method of venting was very direct, and that was to vent it on a woman's body. Listening to the tender and lewd sounds of the women in bed, Zhou Yu only shook his head, turned around, and left. He had known Zhang Guanyu for a long time, and had some understanding of Zhang Guanyu's level of maturity. Zhang Guanyu would never resign himself to willingly be some other man's stepping stone. But now, since the Seven Profound Martial House has pushed Zhang Guanyu into opposition with Lin Ming, then Zhang Guanyu would naturally take some measures to deal with Lin Ming. Zhang Guanyu was a person with a very arrogant heart and an even stronger possessive nature. He was the kind that wished to possess all the beauty and fine things of the world. He would not admit defeat just because of the unlimited potential of Lin Ming's future achievements. Although Zhang Guanyu was a lustful playboy, lascivious, and extremely arrogant, he still grew up around an abundance of gifted individuals. He was raised up in the sophisticated and complex environment of the Allied Trade Association, and was still able to rise to the top. The main reason for this was Zhang Guanyu's top-tier talent, but regarding intelligence, he had never been a fool. Zhou Yu knew better than anyone that if Zhang Guanyu despised anyone, then that person would surely die a miserable death. Zhang Guanyu was scary. In this world, there were two types of martial artists that were dangerous to provoke, the crazy, and the mad. The first was a martial crazy, like Ling Sen, whose individual strength was terrifying. But the latter was a mad lunatic like Zhang Guanyu, whose natural disposition was an insane paranoia, and would easily take one's life. The strong fear the unreasonable, the unreasonable fear the suicidal, and the suicidal fear the crazy ones. Zhang Guanyu was a crazy one. If someone stabbed him with a knife, 
He would not dodge or evade, but take the pain from the blade and then rip out the throat. Dealing with such a psycho, the average man simply wouldn't dare to fight with him. Zhang Guanyu might confront Lin Ming before four months pass, but I don't know what means he'll use to do so. Zhou Yu's face showed a trace of an interested smile as he pondered this. Lin Ming wanted to be a core disciple, but it wasn't so easy. First, he had to overcome the hurdle known as Zhang Guanyu. By the time Lin Ming returned to his room at the Seven Profound Martial House, it was already late at night. He took out the spatial ring and carefully looked at it. He had already deposited some gold and true essence stones inside. Although the inner space of the spatial ring was unstable, as long as the ring was not destroyed, it wouldn't suddenly collapse. A martial artist would be able to sense when the lifespan of a spatial ring was coming to end, so there would never be sudden situations where everything in the ring would disappear. Lin Ming had already accrued more than 200 true essence stones. He had true essence stones gifted from the crown prince, true essence stones gifted from Wang Gan, and also true essence stones that he received as a reward for entering the heavenly abode. There were also nobles who also wanted to gift true essence stones to Lin Ming, but he had rejected them. If Lin Ming received their gifts, then he would owe them a favor, and he didn't want to tangle with any of this in the future. The true essence stones he had now were already more than enough to use. He also had an abundant amount of time at the seven major killing arrays. However, if Lin Ming wanted to surpass Zhang Guanyu in four months, that would be very difficult. He had thought of a new way, and what Lin Ming had thought of was, the body inscription symbol. Of the inscription symbols from the realm of the gods, there were four kinds. These were object inscriptions, medicinal inscriptions, body inscriptions, and soul inscriptions. Of these four, each was more difficult to get started on than the last. As for the soul inscription symbols, Lin Ming was not clear on them. By now Lin Ming had learned the preliminary inscription symbols of object inscription and medicinal inscription. The plan for body inscription symbols needed a higher reserve of true essence. In the past, Lin Ming's true essence was insufficient. But now that he had reached the second level of the true primal chaos formula, and his cultivation was at the large success of viscera training, he finally had some confidence to be able to draw up this kind of body inscription symbol. Chapter 116, Maddening Materials. Body inscription was a type of inscription drawn onto the body. It was able to increase a martial artist's cultivation speed or enhance their battle prowess. As with objection inscription symbols, there was a limit to how many could be placed. The amount differed depending on the grade of the body inscription symbol as well as the physical condition of the martial artist. For body inscription symbols, the most one could draw were about four or five. With his match against Zhang Guanyu approaching in four months, he had to draw up a body inscription symbol within a month in order to display its greatest effects, otherwise the quality of the effect would be lessened, or it might even be a complete waste of time. However, to draw up a body inscription symbol in a month was as difficult as ascending to heaven. Although Lin Ming had the memories of the soul fragment, in order to successfully create one, it would still take a long time and also use up a massive amount of rare and precious materials in order to practice. Practicing it was simple. What was difficult was finding a way to collect all of the incomparably rare and precious materials that were needed for the body inscription symbol. The degree to which these materials were rare and precious caused Lin Ming to shudder in fear. In the elder's memory, of the simplest body inscriptions, there were two. One was the essence gathering symbol which could increase the speed of cultivation, and the other was the strife seal which could increase a martial artist's combat prowess. However, even if it were these two simplest body inscription symbols, the list of materials that needed to be used would make anyone go nuts. Just the fifth level vicious beast blood, a single tail of this precious fluid would cost 30,000 gold tails. Lin Ming needed to buy two tails, which would mean 60,000 gold tails. And not only that, but it simply wasn't something that could be bought by just anyone. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, there was no one who was able to match up against a fifth level vicious beast. For a fifth level vicious beast, 
perhaps only a peak Hushan master would be barely able to deal with it. These kinds of martial artists usually came from a large sect, or an aristocratic martial cultivation family. The blood of a fifth-level vicious beast would only flow out from a large sect and then into the smaller countries. To these small countries, its price would be frighteningly astronomical. Then there was star obsidian. This material came from a meteorite that fell from the sky. The high temperature in the atmosphere would condense. This iron essence could only be naturally formed by the power of the heavens and earth, and beyond that, not every meteorite would have star obsidian. Only those meteorites that were above several thousand jinns would possibly be able to produce one or two jinns of star obsidian. The lowest market price of a single jinn of obsidian was 150,000 gold tails. And it was extremely difficult to find. Fortunately, Lin Ming only needed two tails. Lin Ming estimated that if everything was bought at the lowest market price, and he bought these materials whenever he could find them, then the total of these materials would need at least 300,000 tails. This was simply a dream within a dream. Of the materials he needed, many were like the fifth-level vicious beast blood and star obsidian. They just didn't have a market price. So that meant that more gold would have to be spent. The amount he would need might even go up to 500,000, or even 700,000 wouldn't be strange. And even if he managed to somehow obtain six or 700,000 tails of gold, he would be incredibly lucky to obtain these materials in a couple of years. If his luck was garbage, then he might not be able to find these materials even if he looked for 10 years. On the list of materials, the most basic ones would be considered precious valuables within Sky Fortune City's Inscription Association. And one also needed points from the Inscription Association in order to buy anything. The last time Lin Ming went there, he had already used up most of his points, and didn't have many left. Without points, these so-called, basic, materials would not be sold at any price. These would be the treasures of the Inscription Association. Looking at the list gave Lin Ming a throbbing headache. It was simply impossible for him to find all of these. He could only rely on the Crown Prince. This was one of the benefits of joining a major power. The Crown Prince's subordinates were numerous, and they had wide channels and networks they could work through. They could do him a great favor in helping him. Yet even if the Crown Prince made every effort, he would be limited in obtaining the materials. Thinking of this, Lin Ming shook his head and ruefully smiled. I joined the Crown Prince as one of his subordinates, and still haven't done a single thing, yet I actually want to make a sudden demand to find such a large amount of materials. And these precious and rare materials can't even be found in the city. Even if they were the relatively basic materials that I need, the Crown Prince would not be able to purchase them easily. Lin Ming knew that the Crown Prince was not wealthy. Even though the Crown Prince's palace looked opulent and grand, the palace had to hire several hundred people and pay them for their work. There were also several other expenses. In addition to the banquet, the Crown Prince gave gifts, rewards, and other such expenditures in order to win over others and raise his own influence. The annual amount of money that he spent was probably around two to three hundred thousand gold tails. For instance, when the Crown Prince had given Lin Ming a gift of more than one hundred pure true essence stones, the cost of that had been several tens of thousands of gold tails. The manor that was situated near Sky Fortune City along with one hundred acres of fertile farmland, servants, maids, and so forth would cost at least 100,000 gold tails. In addition, there was also the purple gold flexible armor. Added up altogether, it must have been more than 300,000 gold tails. Because the large expenditures, the economic situation of the crown prince might even be inferior to those famous inscription masters that had been working a long time. For example, Mu Yi, Wang Xuanji, and those kinds of people. They had a high income, and their spending was low. After amassing money for many years, they were overflowing with riches. The crown prince used a very large amount of money. Depending on just his salary from the government, this would be utterly inadequate. The crown prince's income mostly came from his estate, farms, and also stores. The estate and paddies were things like the manor that had been bestowed upon Lin Ming. But as for shops, Lin Ming actually knew that the crown prince didn't have many. 
This was because the biggest and busiest shops of Sky Fortune City were firmly grasped in the hands of the Allied Trade Association. Compared to the Tenth Prince who constantly campaigned in all directions and plundered countless lands, the Crown Prince was very poor. Because he was poor, he could not win over others, and thus the Crown Prince's influence was suppressed by the Tenth Prince. The cost of the all the gifts that the Crown Prince gifted me should total to around 300,000 gold tails. For the Crown Prince to suddenly hand so much over to me, he probably doesn't have much money on hand at the moment. I just received so many gifts, yet now I also want materials, it just isn't too appropriate. However, I have to ask for these materials, otherwise I will never be able to collect them on my own. Originally, Finding the materials for the medicinal inscription symbol already took a very big effort on my part, and this body inscription symbol's materials are much more precious. I just don't have any way left, but to ask the crown prince to help me find them. As for the money, I will find a solution. But first I should return the manor to the crown prince. With the two body inscription symbols, the essence gathering symbol and the strife seal, in addition to my ethereal martial intent, flow like silk, ability, and the chaotic virtues combat meridians, I will have the confidence to face Zhang Guanyu four months from now. But I'm not sure if I can reach Ling Sen in six months. This Ling Sen, the stronger I am, the more I can sense just how terrifying he actually is. But provided that the crown prince can help me find the materials I need for the inscription symbol, there are certain materials I listed that might only be found in a sect. With just the Crown Prince's connections, how many would I be able to find? Inscription Association. Inscription Hall. Lin Ming had just stepped into the Inscription Association and was immediately discovered by the young reception lady who had received him last time. The young lady's eyes lit up, and she immediately put down the task she had been working on. She quickly walked over to Lin Ming, her breath somewhat rapid. These days, there were many people in Sky Fortune City that knew the name Lin Ming. But although they were able to recognize Lin Ming's name, and they didn't know what he looked like. However, this young reception lady had once been responsible for Lin Ming's inscription master examination and had his information. The inscription association of course knew that the dazzlingly bright star of Sky Fortune City and the number one genius of the Seven Profound Martial House was exactly the young man who had participated in the inscription master examination. This was an amazing character. Mr. Lin, the young receptionist lady greeted with a sweet smile. She bent her small waist in a courtesy bow towards Lin Ming. Her beautiful figure combined with the secretary clothing had a flavorful appeal. Oh, it's you. I'd like to speak to the association president. Lin Ming said. He recognized this young reception lady. Very well. Please follow me. The receptionist lady felt her palpitating heartbeat began to race. She was incomparably excited that Lin Ming had remembered her. Sorry for troubling you. It is my honor to serve Mr. Lin. The young receptionist lady went straight to the inscription room. At this time every day, the association president would be at the inscription room. This was the time that he would teach his granddaughter. For Wang Xuanji, no matter how much time he spent on his martial arts cultivation or inscription technique, it would be difficult for him to have a breakthrough. Because of this, he had invested the majority of his efforts into his granddaughter. The young receptionist lady opened the door to the inscription hall. This was the second time Lin Ming had been here. The first time was when he had taken his examination here. At this moment, Wang Xuanji was sitting on a green jade platform. He was directing the fingers of a young girl at his side. This young girl was wearing the white robes of an inscription master. Her appearance was delicate, like fine, white dust. She was Wang Xuanji's granddaughter, Wang Yuhan. After Wang Xuanji noticed some people had arrived, he turned his head to look and was shocked. Mr. Lin, President Wang. Lin Ming smiled and bowed in deference. Oh, Mr. Lin is an infrequent visitor. It's been a long time since you last came. I did not think that Mr. Lin would not only be talented in inscription techniques, but also talented in martial arts. To be only 15 years old and be able to defeat the 32nd ranked disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House, your future is truly limitless. 
President Wang praises me too much. Lin Ming was not surprised that the Inscription Association was already aware of his situation. Wang Yuhan also stopped her inscription technique that she was working on. She had a complicated look as she stared at Lin Ming. She was already extremely talented, with a fourth grade martial talent and a fifth grade soul talent. With this talent, her qualifications already surpassed that of Bai Jingyun and Mu Rongzi. In the aristocratic circles, those young juniors that wanted to marry Wang Yuhan were no less than those ardent fans of Bai Jingyun and Mu Rongzi. But compared with this young man in her eyes, she simply felt too ashamed to even step out in public. The difference between her and Lin Ming's inscription technique was already miles apart. It was simply comparing the heavens to the earth. She didn't even want to think about the difference in their battle prowess. Wang Yuhan had devoted most of her energy into practicing inscription techniques, but in the martial arts aspect, she also only paid attention to cultivating. This was because inscription techniques required a deep amount of true essence, and therefore one had to have a high enough cultivation. As for fighting skills, Wang Yuhan knew nothing of those from the start, let alone those monstrous geniuses of the seven profound martial house, she would even lose to someone at the same cultivation level as her. How the hell did this fellow practice? She had been practicing inscription techniques since she was eight years old, and in her life she had always prioritized her cultivation and specialized in inscription techniques. Even if it was the monstrous talent Qin Xingxuan, she could compare with her in terms of inscription techniques. And recently she had progressed very fast. Perhaps she might have even surpassed Qin Xingxuan. But in contrast to this Lin Ming, Wang Yuhan was completely at a loss for words. Even if he started practicing inscription techniques from his mother's womb, why would his level of skill be so bizarrely abnormal? She was still working hard at training the basics of finger movements, but he had already been able to use the right Buddha plucks the lotus. Mr. Lin comes today, is there matter you need to discuss? As Wang Xuanji asked this, Lin Ming did feel somewhat embarrassed. For better or worse he was a registered inscription master of the Inscription Association. However, after registering and obtaining some materials, he hadn't returned. And now that he finally came back, it was also for materials to use for inscription symbols. Chapter 117, Guest Inscription Master. Lin Ming said, President Wang, I came this time because there are two matters that I wanted to inquire about. The first is that I would like to purchase some materials, and the second is that I would like to register as a guest inscription master and provide services to customers while gaining points. There were three types of inscription masters that could work at the Inscription Association. They were subordinate inscription masters, registered inscription masters, and guest inscription masters. A guest inscription master only had to hang his name up on a public board. However, the first two had to complete some tasks for the inscription association, such as solving some difficult problems for their colleagues, or creating some sort of special inscription symbol for their customers, and other such tasks before they could obtain points. Now that Lin Ming needed to draw up a body inscription symbol, he was pushing the envelope in terms of his cultivation and skill in the aspects of inscription techniques. He needed to set aside a certain amount of special time in order to practice and improve his inscription technique. However, if he wanted to practice this sort of high-quality inscription technique, it required a substantial amount of money. Especially since he needed to do so with many precious materials, and even if he was able to buy these materials, he wouldn't be able to find them in such a short amount of time. In order to save money in the past, Lin Ming hadn't used materials to practice, and had instead only stimulated his true essence to visualize the drawing process. But such a method had a very low efficiency, and Lin Ming wasn't able to afford the time that he needed in order to do so. Then he had remembered that he could come to the Inscription Association as a visiting inscription master, and be able to solve many different inscription-related problems. This was the best method of cultivating his inscription technique, and the best part was that the precious materials would be provided by the customer. Doing this, Lin Ming no longer had to worry about economizing or saving his time. Every day he would be able to encounter different precious materials and different problems. 
The materials needed would also be provided for free. After successfully drawing up or fixing whatever problem was at hand, he would also be awarded points. What way could possibly be more suitable for practice? However, not everyone would dare to practice in such a manner, because there had to be at least a 90% guaranteed success rate. Lin Ming decided on this method of practice, and also had a general idea of how to acquire the materials he needed. He also didn't plan on concealing his status as an inscription master any longer. At first, Lin Ming did not have strength or status, but yet he was still able to draw up rare and powerful inscription symbols that were worth two or three thousand gold tails. To someone with power, meeting such a weak person was like seeing a chicken that was able to lay golden eggs. Some people might have tried to capture him for their own benefit, and lock him in a dungeon where he would be forced to create inscription symbols all day. That was why Lin Ming had hidden his status as an inscription master at first. But now, Lin Min was a famous character in Sky Fortune City, who had a great deal of influence. With the dual protection of the Seven Profound Martial House and the Crown Prince, not even the Tenth Prince dared to publicly move against him. Since Lin Ming now had such a preeminent status, he no longer worried about needing to conceal his identity as an inscription master. Guest inscription master, Wang Xuanji asked, slightly stunned. Normally only a great inscription master would ask to occupy such a lofty post. This was because if there was a problem, such as if they failed to draw up the inscription symbol, the inscription association had to compensate the customer for their precious materials or treasure. Without a deep background, no one would dare to do this job. To become a guest inscription master, they had to undergo the strict inspection of the inscription association. Those who could pass the inspection were only top-class characters among inscriptionists. Lin Ming did have exceptional talent and strength in inscription techniques, but that was only in comparison to his contemporaries. Last time, he had drawn up an inscription symbol with a true essence amplification rate of 32%. Among his peers, this result was truly monstrous, but to become a guest inscription master, it was still lacking. The crux of the issue was that Lin Ming was simply too young. A guest inscription master had to face many different kinds of problems and questions, some of which were quite difficult. It was a job that required a great depth of experience. However, experience was something that was accumulated over the years. If Lin Ming repeatedly failed, not only would that damage the reputation of the inscription association, but the amount of materials and treasure that the inscription association would have to compensate would be enough to give them a headache. Mr. Lin, the problems that the inscription association generally needs to solve are not so simple. Because the materials are often very rare and difficult to obtain, the guest inscription master must be able to guarantee at least an 80% success rate. They must be assured that they can solve these complex problems with a high success rate. Even in the entire inscription association, there are very few individuals who are competent enough for this position. Wang Xuanji tactfully reminded Lin Ming. He wanted to persuade him without any difficulties. With Lin Ming's present reputation, the inscription association had to flatter him as much as they could. Lin Ming smiled and said, President Wang doesn't need to worry. I suppose, if I fail three times in a row, then I will offer to quit myself. As for the loss of materials and treasure, I will also take responsibility for compensating them. This. Wang Xuanji frowned. He would be able to stand the loss of reputation from failing three times, but the point was, Lin Ming was still a child. If they let a young boy draw up an inscription symbol and it failed, how would they explain this to the customer? But considering Lin Ming's present status, Wang Xuanji didn't directly decline him. He thought about it for a moment, and then nodded his head in agreement. Three times. By now, Wang Yu Han opened her mouth and suddenly said, Mr. Lin, may I ask if you have found the right assistant? Him, assistant. An inscription master would normally have one or two assistants. This was because there were many materials that could not be immediately used after they were purchased. They needed to be processed in certain ways. For instance, for some rare and precious plants, the juice had to be extracted, or some ores had to be grinded into fine powder, 
or the active ingredient had to be extracted from certain solvents. All of this would normally be done by an assistant. In the past, Lin Ming had done all of these things by himself. The position of an assistant was not a simple or easy job. There were many precious and expensive materials, the slightest mistake meant that they would have to be discarded. This was why only inscription apprentices would usually take up this task. Lin Ming truthfully said, I have no assistant. Wang Yuhan looked to her grandfather, bit her lips, and asked, Do you mind if I be your assistant? The young women of the Sky Fortune Kingdom were traditionally reserved and polite. If a girl offered herself up as a volunteer to a young boy as an assistant, there might be some suspicions and it could be easily misunderstood. Lin Ming's current status was especially sensitive these days. No one knew how many young girls of Sky Fortune City wanted to marry him. The number could only be called countless. As such, Wang Yuhan had to muster up a lot of courage in order to ask this question. However, she remembered that Lin Ming's drawing techniques when he drew up the symbols and lines were clearly different than those of Sky Fortune Kingdom. Wang Yuhan also dropped her girl's modesty. She wanted to experience the schools of inscription techniques outside of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, and this was the best opportunity. Lin Ming hesitated. With an assistant he would be able to save a lot of time. With Wang Yuan's ability, she would do perfectly well in handling materials. Thinking this, Lin Ming nodded and said, Then I will be relying on Miss Wang. I don't know if Miss Wang has had lunch yet. If Miss Wang had already eaten, then we may begin as soon as possible. Wang Yuan's eye twitched. This Lin Ming was quite resolute and vigorous. He actually wanted to begin immediately. Him. I've already eaten. Good. Lin Ming, Wang Yuhan, Wang Xuanji, and the young reception lady all went to the inscription hall. It was lunch break for the guest inscription masters, and not many people were in the hall. But, there were still several customers waiting, so that when the lunch break ended, they might be the first one to have their problems solved. According to the rules of the inscription association, a customer only had to provide their own materials and treasure, clearly state their problem, and then they could return at a later time. But most customers would rather wait here and personally watch as the guest inscription master solved their problem. This was because whether it was a precious materials or a treasure, they were often very valuable, so they worried over the outcome. Many people here had already waited a long time. As they saw the inscription association's president, Wang Xuanji enter the hall, their spirits immediately lifted. Was President Wang planning on personally taking action today? It had to be known that Wang Xuanji rarely personally stepped out these days. If someone could force him to take action, this character's had to be at least a duke, or a prince, or a cultivator at the peak Hushan stage. When he utilized his inscription technique, with the end product being made by Wang Xuanji's own hands, the effect would usually be far better than a normal inscription master. If Wang Xuanji was willing to personally take up the task, this would be their great fortune. Several people looked at Wang Xuanji with shining eyes, their faces filled with a fervent eagerness. Seeing Wang Xuanji walking towards them, they hurried to welcome him. A martial artist in his forties had already stepped up, and asked, President Wang, I didn't expect to be able to meet you. Would you be able to take a look at this armor? The martial artist said as he held up an ancient-looking, plain black war armor. This war armor looked to be made from the highest quality steel. After many years, there were only minor scratches on the surface of the armor, in particular the chest area. There was a half-meter line that ran up the edge of a diamond-shaped pattern. Because of this scratch, the diamond pattern was damaged. This diamond pattern was the signifying mark left behind after placing on an inscription symbol. Because this war armor was damaged, that inscription symbol mark was ruined. If the inscription symbol mark was ruined, then the effects of the original inscription symbol would deteriorate, or even become completely invalid. It was possible to damage treasures, especially those treasures that were in the armor class. Because they accumulated damage over time, in addition to the attacks from a top-level master, then it might even break. This martial artist hoped that the inscription association was able to repair this inscription symbol. 
but, to repair an inscription symbol that was already placed on a treasure was a very difficult task. This diamond rune was an inscription symbol named the superhuman strength symbol. It was a very complex inscription symbol. To repair it would not be easy. Even Wang Xuanji felt that this job was very problematic. However, this kind of work was very appropriate for Lin Ming. Because the original inscription symbol had already shattered, even if Lin Ming failed, it couldn't get any worse than it already was. And the armor would not be broken. At most, it would be a loss of materials. If the materials were lost, then the inscription association would be able to compensate the exact same materials. But if the treasure was broken, then there was no means to refund the customer with the same armor. Wang Xuanji glanced at Lin Ming with a faint smile. He was sure that Lin Ming would not be able to repair the superhuman strength symbol. This was because Lin Ming's school of inscription technique did not belong that of the Sky Fortune Kingdoms. This superhuman strength symbol was one of the numerous and complex symbols that were produced from Sky Fortune Kingdom's school of inscription techniques. If one did not understand its composition or drawing plan, then it would be impossible to know where to begin. If Lin Ming was a guest inscription master, he would also encounter similar issues down the line. If he couldn't solve something like this, it was better if he quit early. Therefore, even though Wang Xuanji knew the answer, he still sent a true essence sound transmission and asked, How about it? Does Mr. Lin have a plan? At this point, Lin Ming had sent his soul force into the suit of war armor and was feeling the internal structure of the inscription symbol. It was very difficult to detect the structure of an inscription symbol with soul force. If one didn't understand the structure of an inscription symbol, it was impossible to know where to begin. Lin Ming slight frowned and eventually came to a conclusion. This diamond-shaped inscription symbol should be some kind of inscription symbol with an effect of increasing the rate at which true essence was gathered. As for its internal structure, Lin Ming didn't know anything about it. After all, there were many differences in the inscription technique system between the Sky Fortune Kingdom and the Realm of the Gods. Chapter 118. Repairing the Superhuman Strength Symbol. Lin Ming's level of inscription technique was fierce, but he was not omnipotent. Since he had never seen this inscription symbol before, it was impossible for him to fix this. However, after pondering it for a moment, he sent a true essence sound transmission to Wang Xuanji, President, I'll give it a try. Since he had achieved the third stage of body transformation and his control of true essence had become stronger, Lin Ming taught himself how to use true essence to send a sound transmission. Hmm? Wang Xuanji was surprised. Had Lin Ming seen the superhuman strength symbol before? Even if he had, this superhuman strength symbol was an unusually complex one that was developed through Sky Fortune Kingdom's school of inscription techniques. Even a great inscription master might not be able to draw it. Lin Ming was only 15 years old. How could he be familiar with its method of creation? Lin Ming was indeed excessively talented, but Wang Xuanji still believed that there was no way that Lin Ming would be able to fix this superhuman strength symbol. This is quite interesting. I'd like to see if Lin Ming is capable of repairing this superhuman strength symbol. Wang Xuanji revealed a smile as he thought this, and then said, Good, then give it a try. Lin Ming nodded, and that in the inscription platform. As the middle-aged man saw Lin Ming sit down, he was dumbfounded. Scared, he quickly said, President Wang, this is. The man couldn't understand, and he didn't know Li Ming. He only thought of him as an apprentice of the Inscription Association. Did Wang Xuanji really intend on letting such a young apprentice repair his armor? Was this not a joke? Wang Xuanji said, It's all right, it's only letting him try. If it doesn't work then I will personally help you with your problem. But, the middle-aged man painfully looked at those materials that he had carefully prepared. It really wrenched his heart. In accordance to the rules of the Inscription Association, if the customer came to the Inscription Association requesting a service, they had to supply materials as a reward, and they also had to supply the materials required for the request. If they didn't have the materials ready, 
then they could be provided by the inscription association as long as the customer had other materials that were similar in value. Although he was a martial artist at the peak pulse condensation period, to put out so many precious and rare materials so suddenly really caused his heart to feel like it was being torn in half. These materials cost seven to eight thousand tails of gold. The middle-aged martial artist had used more than a year of time before he was able to collect all of the materials he needed. This armor was a medium-grade human step treasure that was his family heirloom. It was far too precious for him. Otherwise he would not have put up so much gold and so many materials. Wang Xuanji laughed and said, It doesn't matter. These materials that you brought, if he fails, then I assure you your armor will still be repaired. That, all right. With Wang Xuanji's guarantee, the middle-aged man decided to let that little kid Lin Ming do as he wanted. He only hoped that what he did wasn't so bad that not even Wang Xuanji could fix it. But just where the hell had this little kid come from, that Wang Xuanji would let him fool around like this? Of Sky Fortune City's inscription apprentices, besides Wang Yuhan and Qin Xingxuan, he hadn't heard of anyone else. With such a complex, superhuman strength symbol, what results could he have from just fiddling around with it? The middle-aged martial artist's heart was full of puzzlement. Lin Ming took the armor in his hand, and immersed his soul force into the superhuman strength symbol. With the unsurpassed, overbearing soul tactic, soul law formula, he was able to condense his soul force into the thinnest string and send it into the inscription symbol, constantly perceiving the structure of the superhuman strength symbol. He carefully wrote down every line and symbol structure that he could sense. At this time, because of the high degree of soul force that he was condensing, Lin Ming's face was filled with unprecedented focus. When he had been in the kitchen of the Great Clarity Pavilion, he also had this expression. Regardless of whether it was the vulgar and barbaric strength that he needed for deboning, or the delicate soul force control he needed to create the countless fine and complex lines and runes of inscription symbols, their essence was all the same in Lin Ming's hands. One kind was used to ascertain the skeletal structure and tendons of a beast, and the other was used to draw the foundation symbols and foundation lines of inscription symbols. What he was doing was using these principles he had learned to crack open the complex nature of symbol structure. Wang Yuhan stood behind Lin Ming, quietly gazing at his profile. She could clearly feel Lin Ming's focused and sharp eyes. This look, whether intentional or not, revealed his intense spirit and dedication. It caused this youth to have an imposing aura that didn't seem to match his young age. Wang Yuhan couldn't help but acknowledge that this sort of aura was very fascinating and swoonsome. Some puppy love girls would be easily attracted to this aura and they would sink into it. Could he really repair this, superhuman strength symbol? Wang Yuhan couldn't believe that. Even though Lin Ming had created a number of miracles over and over again, this one was just far too difficult, and bordered on the impossible. Lin Ming was not from the school of Sky Fortune Kingdom's inscription techniques, and he was only 15 years old. At such a young age, it was just unthinkable that he could have achieved the pinnacle of two different schools of inscription techniques. Lin Ming kept studying the inscription symbol for a quarter of an hour of time. During this quarter hour he had not budged a single inch. The middle-aged man seemed to become increasingly impatient. At this moment, Lin Ming opened his mouth and suddenly said, President Wang, I want to ask you, if you were to repair this inscription symbol, how much of its effect C could you restore? Wang Xuanji hesitated, then smiled and stroked his beard. This kid, did he want to compare with him? Wang Xuanji said, if this old man repairs the superhuman strength symbol, I can probably restore at least 80% of its original effects. The superhuman strength symbol is a kind of supplementary inscription symbol. Once it is engraved on the armor, although it cannot directly increase the defensive power, it can increase the user's true essence gathering speed. The effect of this, superhuman strength symbol, was probably originally around 36 to 37 percent. If I repair it, the final effect should probably be around 30 to 31 percent. The effectiveness of a repaired inscription symbol could not match its effect when it had first been drawn. 
Even if it was Wang Xuanji who personally repaired it, the truth of this would not chance. Oh, I understand. Then no matter what means I use, as long as the final rate of the armor's true essence gathering speed increases by at least 30%, then I have succeeded. Ho, oh, this kid sure had enough self-confidence. Wang Xuanji watched Lin Ming with great interest. He dared say that to have the final effect be at least 30%, there weren't many who could accomplish this in the entirety of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, or even several of the surrounding countries. What did was this kid planning on doing? He laughed and said, if the guest inscription master could restore 28% then that would be good. If you can restore the effect to at least 28%, then you would be considered qualified. Lin Ming nodded. He touched a ring on his ring finger, and the following scene left everyone shocked and dumbfounded. They saw Lin Ming leisurely pull out a long spear from the spatial ring. The spear shaft was 8 feet, the spearhead 8 inches, and the body of the spear shaft was a dark purple color, while the edge of the spear tip was dark red like blood. This spear was the penetrating rainbow. By now, even Wang Xuanji and Wang Yuhan were confused. He was repairing an inscription symbol. Just what would a spear do? Young man, you... What are you doing? The middle-aged martial artist looked on with fear and apprehension. Heavens! Drawing out such a long spear, and it looked like this spear was forged from dark purple elastic iron. Although it wasn't a treasure, it was certainly very sharp. He could only hope that this young fellow wasn't planning on using that sharp spear to poke his armor. Lin Ming looked at the middle-aged martial artist and said, I will destroy the superhuman strength symbol and draw a new one. Duh. Destroy. The middle-aged martial artist could hardly believe his ears. If it wasn't for the presence of Wang Xuanji, he would have beaten the little shit until his mom didn't recognize him. You're insane. Once an inscription symbol was placed on a treasure, it was very difficult to destroy. This was because the inscription symbol's structure was imprinted deep within the treasure. As for the symbol mark, this was only manifested on the surface. For instance, for this, superhuman strength symbols, diamond mark design, it was only a brand that symbolized who the inscription master was, and was merely a decorative effect. Lin Ming's flame design was the same. It was only an image that was drawn depending on the personality of the inscription master. If this decorative brand was ruined, it still would not destroy the complex internal structure of the inscription symbol deeply buried in the treasure. If someone really wanted to destroy this inscription symbol, they would normally need to have an alchemist or refiner who was familiar with controlling flames to burn it away. This had a high cost and it also took a long time, because the fire had to burn through the cobweb-like structure of the inscription symbol. To do this would not only destroy the inscription symbol, but would also lightly damage the treasure. But the most critical point was that it would affect future effects of inscription symbols that were placed on it. That was why in most situations, if the inscription symbol brand was damaged, one could only repair it. In truth, repairing was much more difficult than starting anew, but it was far better than destroying the inscription symbol. Lin Ming simply didn't understand the structure of the superhuman strength symbol, or know its plan, so naturally he couldn't repair it. The approach he adopted was to destroy the superhuman strength symbol, and then draw a new one on. Lin Ming didn't know how to control fire. Therefore in order to destroy the inscription symbol, he could only take out the penetrating rainbow spear. Boy, if you keep speaking such nonsense, then don't blame me for being rude. The middle-aged man was ultimately a martial artist at the pulse condensation period, and he was also an aristocrat. He had a certain status within Sky Fortune City. Although he was respectful to Wang Xuanji, to a baby boy of unknown origin like Lin Ming, he certainly could be rude. At this moment, Wang Xuanji let out a light cough. This light cough was like a thunderclap to the middle-aged martial artist's ears. The middle-aged martial artist shook, and then he immediately calmed down. Wang Xuanji said, your treasure is ranked as a medium-grade human step one. Even a pulse condensation period martial artist would take time to destroy it, so why are you so nervous? The middle-aged man said, I'm sorry, it's just that this armor is my family's heirloom, so I am a bit anxious. 
Wang Xuanji was a martial artist whose cultivation was at the early Hushan stage. In terms of achievements in inscription, he was second to none. In front of someone like Wang Xuanji, the middle-aged man did not dare act rashly again. Wang Xuanji looked to Lin Ming as he waited for an explanation. Lin Ming was also an inscription master. How could he now know the taboo of destroying an inscription symbol? Lin Ming said, President Wang, I dare to do so because I have a degree of certainty. Although I cannot guarantee that the treasure will not be damaged, but the damage won't be too great. Also, I have a means to repair it. The damage won't be too great. To use such a heavy long spear and brute force to destroy an inscription symbol that had already merged into one organic whole with the armor, and he could still say, the damage won't be too great. Wang Xuanji frowned, and remained silent. If Lin Ming destroyed the inscription symbol in the armor, then not even he would be able to repair it anymore. Lin Ming said, with my cultivation, to destroy the inscription symbol in the armor won't take a short time. If President Wang feels that something is wrong at any time, then you can feel free to stop me. Wang Xuanji nodded. He could. Even if there was no true essence concentrated in it, this medium-grade human step armor was still incomparably hard. To destroy the inscription symbol would take a period of time. The middle-aged man also resigned himself to his fate. He decided that once he discovered something was amiss, he would immediately take the armor. At worst, the armor would simply not be repaired. Lin Ming placed the armor on the inscription platform, and then stood ten feet back. He gripped the spear in his hand and held it out. Everyone present watched Lin Ming, wanting to see exactly what it was that he would do next. Chapter 119. Flowers in the Storm. Lin Ming placed the armor on the inscription platform, and then stepped ten feet back. He gripped the spear in his hand and held it out. Everyone present watched Lin Ming, wanting to see exactly what it was he would do next. To destroy the inner structure of an inscription symbol by brute force, it was best to use an engraving knife. This was because the structure of the inscription symbol was like a spider web. Lin Ming had taken out such a large spear, how would that possibly be convenient? At that moment, Lin Ming pointed his spear, flicked his wrist, aimed at the inscription symbol and fiercely thrust it out. The piercing, howling sound of the spearhead was heard throughout the room. Not only that, but the spear thrust also contained an indomitable momentum. It continued forth like a galloping horse, followed by a surge of unrelenting, Buddha-murdering rage and a violent killing anger. This spear could easily pierce through a steel plate. The middle-aged man's eyes jumped. He subconsciously wanted to say stop, but at this moment, Lin Ming instantly withdrew the spear. That terrifying momentum was also restrained at that moment. The spear point was just above the armor, but it hadn't actually pierced it. The middle-aged man wanted to stay something but the words caught in his throat. He stared with wide eyes at Lin Ming's spear point, startled. What kind of abnormal control of strength was this? To thrust a spear forward with momentum like a herd of horses, and yet still be able to instantly restrain it so that the momentum did not overflow, yet the spear point still stopped at the exact right location. It had to be said that this was a heavy long spear made from dark purple elastic iron. Its weight should be no less than 800 jinns. Just who was the young boy, with such strength at this age? This definitely wasn't a nobody. But though this youth had astonishing spear skills, just what was he planning on doing? A spear thrust, and the spear point suddenly stopping. But this spear didn't actually damage the inscription symbol in the armor. How was this related to inscription technique? Did this young boy actually just want to show off his impressive spear skills? Let alone the middle-aged man, even Wang Xuanji did not understand the meaning behind Lin Ming's spear. He could only marvel at Lin Ming's spear skills, but because he also knew Lin Ming's identity, he didn't find this too surprising. At this moment, Lin Ming thrust out his spear a second time. It was the exact same as a moment ago. The spear would stab out with nigh unstoppable momentum, and then just as it was about to contact the armor, it would suddenly stop. Next, Lin Ming began to repeatedly and quickly thrust out his spear. 
The spear thrusts were becoming increasingly fast and the momentum grew with each stab. Gradually, this momentum rolled into a strong heavenly wind, but Lin Ming's spear point was still like a delicate falling raindrop. This was another spear skill of the foundation spear technique, flowers in the storm. The middle-aged man was becoming increasingly alarmed with each growing second. This young man only looked to be around 15 or 16 years old, and yet he already had such strength at such a young age. The only one he could think of with such strength, who also used a spear, would be that dazzling youth of the seven profound martial house that had recently become the rising star of Sky Fortune City. It shouldn't be. Lin Ming already had such abnormal, heaven-defying strength. If he also had such insights into inscription technique, then it would be too preposterous. He would simply be the reincarnation of some demon king. What was this young man doing? Lin Ming had already continuously thrust out his spear for several dozen breaths of time. The number of times his spear thrusted out should have been several hundred by now. With such high-speed spear moves, and the over 800 jin penetrating rainbow, it was quite a heavy load on the muscles. If not for his solid foundation and freakish strength, as well as the fact that true essence had already thoroughly tempered his body, then he would have already damaged his muscles. Slowly, Wang Xuanji discovered the profound and mysterious principles that were implicit within Lin Ming's every thrust. He used his soul force to probe the armor, and to his disbelieving amazement, discovered that true essence infiltrated into the armor with each stab. And what made Wang Xuanji most surprised, was that when he had used his soul force to track that infiltrating true essence, he found that the foreign true essence flowed along the structure of the inscription symbol, and with a strange and unfathomable power, began to actually disintegrate these structures. How was he doing this? Wang Xuanji drew a deep breath. He was too shocked to speak a single word. With each attack, the true essence turned into fine silk threads that flowed within the structure. To him, this was already unimaginable, but then those fine silk threads actually disintegrated the inscription symbol structures with an inscrutable and enigmatic power. How could such slender streams of true essence have such a mystifying might? Lin Ming was, of course, using the chaotic virtues combat meridians, flow like silk, technique. Not only did chaotic virtues combat meridians focus on overwhelming strength, but it focused even more on controlling strength. Strength trainings, flow like silk, was a method of controlling strength. The so-called strength referred to the strength of the human body. This also included the force of true essence. After reaching the small success of flow like silk, this silk-like true essence would be at one's command. But this silk-like true essence didn't really have much of an effect. Because the tiny true essence threads didn't have much offensive power, in order to give it striking power, there was only one way. That was, vibration. Wang Xuanji discovered that this strange strength which was disintegrating the inscription symbol structures was exactly this true essence vibration. This vibration was able to ignore defense, and be transmitted internally into any object. The true essence would turn into countless filaments, and each filament would vibrate as it passed through an object. As this vibration acted on every little structure, these tiny threads would create a truly terrifying amount of destruction. This was why when Lin Ming had thrusted out his spear at a stone column on the martial stage, that column had been instantly pulverized into an immeasurable number of small stones. This was because Lin Ming's cultivation of flow like silk, was not thorough. The true essence silk threads were too few, and the frequency at which they vibrated was too low. If he managed to achieve the perfect stage of flow like silk, then the filaments of true essence threads would number in the trillions, and once these countless threads entered into the particles and molecules of an object, the frequency of vibrations would rise to a new, alarming level. In that situation, if the spear thrust touched the stone column, then that stone column would simply turn into fine dust that would scatter into the wind. Of course, Lin Ming was still very far from such a distant realm. If he actually managed to ever reach such a dreamlike boundary, then he would be able to eliminate every trace of the inscription symbol within the treasure without damaging the treasure at all. Rather than as it was now, with so many spear thrusts, 
the treasure must have sustained some damage. Wang Yuhan also realized that Wang Xuanji's face was colored in shock. She could not help but use a true essence sound transmission to ask, Grandfather, what is Lin Ming doing? Wang Xuanji sighed a lonely breath, and said, Use your soul force to feel the inscription symbol structure of that armor, and then you'll know what he is doing. Wang Yuhan wondered what sort of discovery she would make by probing the armor with her soul force. She sent out her soul force and penetrated into the armor. Although Wang Yuan's soul force was relatively weak, she had a vague feeling of what was occurring inside the armor. Surprised, she covered her mouth. Grandfather, this is. How is this possible? Wang Xuanji shook his head and could only said with a rueful smile, This is also the first time that I am seeing this technique. I could only guess that this effect is from a special kind of true essence manipulation method. This manipulation method is able to turn true essence into countless tiny threads, and each thread in turns is controlled to vibrate against the inscription symbol structure and disintegrate it. This is extremely demanding of one's control of true essence. I cannot begin to imagine how this is done. Wang Yuhan no longer inquired further. She only diligently closed her eyes and felt the energy changes within that treasure. This time when she looked, those filaments of true essence were like the intelligent gossamer threads of spider silk that broke apart the inscription symbol structures. She could only feel a convoluted, esoteric feeling. It was like a large door had been placed in front of her that contained all the myriad of infinite mysteries of the world. However, no matter how hard she tried to look, she could not see clearly. To have the feeling of all the mysteries between heaven and earth at her fingertips, but still be unable to touch them, this caused Wang Yuhan to be excited, but also unbearably anxious. After a little less than half an incense stick of time had passed, Lin Ming had already let out six or seven hundred spear thrusts in a single breath. Although he had amazing physical strength, and he also had the true primal chaos formula supplementing his true essence, there was still a light sheen of perspiration on his forehead. At this time, Lin Ming finally stopped. His withdrew his spear, turned his right hand, and the penetrating rainbow disappeared back into the spatial ring. As for the treasure armor, besides some superficial white marks on the surface, there weren't any other damages. He had finally finished. Although, flow like silk, was incomparably exquisite, the structure of the inscription symbol and the armor had already blended together as one. Lin Ming had inevitably damaged part of the internal structure of the armor. This part was the true essence array that the refining master had placed within the treasure at its creation. This kind of damage would not lessen the defensive capabilities of the armor, however, in the future, if a martial artist concentrated the true essence in the armor, there would be some hindrance. But even so, it was enough for Wang Xuanji to be surprised. If it were an alchemy master who was familiar with controlling fire that had done this, it would still be impossible for them to achieve such an effect. After eliminating the old inscription symbol, Lin Ming didn't immediately start on drawing a new one. Instead, he sat in meditation and revolved the true primal chaos formula, restoring his true essence to its optimum condition. The true primal chaos formula had a very formidable effect in supplementing true essence. As soon as an incense stick of time had burned, Lin Ming had already made a complete recovery. He took out a piece of paper and began to write a list of materials that were readily available. Recently, Lin Ming had been in constant contact with Sky Fortune Kingdom's inscription technique network, and as such, was already very familiar with the names of various materials. It was a different situation from when he had confused the materials from the Sky Spill continent and those from the realm of the gods. After he was done writing up the list, he handed it to the young reception lady of the Inscription Association and said, If I could trouble you to prepare the materials from this list. Oh, of course. The young reception lady responded as she received the list. At this moment, Wang Yuhan hurriedly said, I'll go together with you. She was now Lin Ming's assistant. Getting materials ready was one of an assistant's key jobs. The Inscription Association was home to the largest and richest reserve of materials in the entire Sky Fortune Kingdom. Even if Lin Ming had listed a few difficult-to-find materials, 
they would still be very easy to prepare. The inscription symbol that Lin Ming planned to create today was a simplified version of the Ice Frost Guard. This type of inscription symbol was used specifically for armor. Not only could it increase the true essence gathering speed of martial artists, but it could also provide a slight boost in strengthening the defense. If this was the original version of the Ice Frost Guard, then one could also use the inscription technique, Ring of Frozen Ice. This technique would activate during an attack, and would send out a freezing circular wave of true essence, which would affect an opponent's movement speed by drastically reducing it. However, the original, Ice Frost Guard, required a number of materials that were very rare and precious. There were several materials that not even the Inscription Association would necessarily be able to find. Not only that, but today was Lin Ming's first attempt at drawing the Ice Frost Guard. If he tried to draw up the far more complex original version, then he would have a greater risk of failure. Hence, he decided to draw up a simplified version. With Lin Ming's current cultivation and level of technique, the simplified version of the Ice Frost Guard was relatively easy. 15 grams of star rock ground into powder, and mix that into half a cup of third level vicious beast blood. Mix well. Take juice extract from crushed black bone grass and add that into three times the amount of cold spring water. Lin Ming sent Wang Yuhan a true essence sound transmission and rapidly listed out the materials he needed and how he needed them processed. Many of these material preparation instructions were exceedingly complex and detailed. Chapter 120. Ice Frost Guard. Lin Ming sent Wang Yuhan a true essence sound transmission and rapidly listed the materials he required and how he needed them processed. Many of these material preparation instructions were exceedingly complex and detailed. However, Wang Yuhan had a deep history of inscription technique learnings, and her memory was quite keen. Lin Ming spoke what would seem like an endless string of unintelligible garble, but Wang Yuhan only nodded and said, understood, before proceeding to prepare the complex materials. Wang Yuhan was very skillful at processing the various materials. Each time a material passed through her hands, it was like a magician that was working his magic with smoke and fire. The materials changed to a glossy color, and this tedious procedure, under Wang Yuan's dexterous and pale fingers, was filled with a beautiful aesthetic sense like passing clouds and flowing water. In terms of processing materials, Lin Ming felt that Wang Yuan's skill at this task was above his. The majority of inscription apprentices' first contact with inscription techniques was with handling and processing materials, but Lin Ming had actually skipped this step and gone straight to the top. Assisted by Wang Yuhan, Lin Ming's inscription symbol plan proceeded much more smoothly. Lin Ming began to revolve the overbearing soul tactic, and with a turn of his hand, a drop of chilly deep blue liquid rose into the air. Lin Ming began to wave his fingers, and the drop turned into a series of strikingly brilliant rainbow lights. As the first foundation line was drawn, Lin Ming waved his hand again, and a second drop of liquid floated up. The stunning rainbow light shined once more, but this time, a faint afterglow from the first foundation line was left behind in the eyes of those watching. Wonderfully stunning runes appeared in the air one after another, as they constantly superimposed on each other. In the times that the runes flowed into the air and mixed, Lin Ming rarely failed. Wang Yuhan had already finished processing all the materials, so she was standing on the sidelines at staring with her large and beautiful eyes, unblinking as she stared at Lin Ming's every move, lest she miss even a single detail. But to Wang Yuhan, it was impossible to learn a foreign inscription creation method by only watching. Inscription techniques involved a very fine and complex control of soul force, and not only that, but if there was even a single slight error in the foundation symbols or lines, then it would cause a massive change in its effects. These details were things that could not be seen with one's own eyes. Wang Yuhan naturally understood these things, but she still hoped that through watching, she would be able to obtain some inspirations. Of her grandfather Wang Xuanji's skills, she had already learned everything that there was to learn. The only things that he couldn't teach her were due to her low martial arts cultivation. However, Lin Ming's inscription technique was different, 
it was from a completely different school of thought from the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Beyond that, it was a much more mysterious and profound technique. While she did not dare to dream that Lin Ming would teach her these mystical inscription technique methods, it was still a rare opportunity to look in from the sidelines. As time passed bit by bit, Wang Yuhan became increasingly startled. Lin Ming did not even pause for a second in his drawing process. It was as if each movement was born out of his most basic instincts, and each movement was fluid at his fingertips and without any hint of hesitation. These actions may have seemed simple, but Wang Yuhan was an expert who had been exposed to inscription techniques since birth, and she could tell that in these random drawings of Lin Ming, there were seven or eight changes in the intensity of soul force. These rapid changes were so fast that unless one went through a long and grueling period of practice, it was simply not possible for them to be imprinted in the body's reflexive memory like this. As a quarter hour passed, there were already several dozen runes that were floating in midair, and became an increasingly complex inscription symbol as they layered upon each other. Generally, only a senior inscription master or even a truly accomplished elder of inscription technique would be able to draw this. A beginning inscription master simply didn't have the true essence reserves to support such a demanding process. But Wang Yuhan wasn't too surprised about this. Lin Ming's strength had already touched upon the realm of a martial artist at the large success of bone forging stage. In consideration of that, to have such a thick and pure true essence was nothing unusual. After another quarter hour passed, there were more than 70 symbols that had accumulated in front of Lin Ming. At this time, Lin Ming finally withdrew his hands, and all the glittering airborne symbols began to coalesce and converge upon each other like rays of shining light that were drawing together. For a brief moment, the inscription hall seemed as if it was filled with a number of wondrous stars, and eventually, they all blended together into a single symbol. Lin Ming added a single stroke, and the inscription symbol turned into a flame-shaped pattern, and gently fell like a feather onto the armor. With a chi chi sound as the symbol touched down, a flame mark appeared on the armor. At this moment, something amazing occurred. There was a slight jitter as if the armor was shivering, and then with the flame mark as the center, blue-colored waves began to proliferate and ripple outwards. The plain black war armor gradually began to change to an ice blue color. Hmm? Wang Xuanji's eyes widened. Could an inscription symbol actually change the color of a treasure? In his lifetime, Wang Xuanji had read an immense number of ancient texts. He knew that in these texts, there were certain inscription symbols that because they had a rich, strong power and affinity towards one of the five elements, once that inscription symbol was placed on a treasure it could change its color. For instance, a fire attribute inscription could cause a treasure to be burning red, an ice attribute inscription could cause a treasure to be icy blue and a metal affinity inscription could cause a treasure to glitter. However, this was only records that were in the ancient texts. Because Sky Fortune Kingdom's inscription technique was limited, although there were some inscription symbols that contained a hint of elemental power, such as the water parting symbol, or the gold bell symbol, Wang Xuanji had never heard of an inscription symbol that could change the color of a treasure. Today would be his first time witnessing such a miracle. The middle-aged martial artist only saw that his armor had turned a frosty blue. He didn't know the reason why or what it meant. At this time, Wang Xuanji excitedly stepped forward and took the armor in his hands. He let his true essence flow into the armor to feel the effect of the instruction symbol. With this test, Wang Xuanji took a deep, disbelieving breath. The true essence gathering effect was increased by 30%. On a normal treasure, a 30% increase wasn't too impressive. However, this treasure had been slightly damaged. If the treasure was wholly complete, then the increased effect range would have been at least 36%. Even if Wang Xuanji had personally drawn up an inscription symbol himself and placed it on an untarnished treasure, the best he could manage would be 42%. 36% to 42% was only missing 6%. This Lin Ming was only 15 years old. But in terms of inscription accomplishments, in comparison to himself who had been steeped within the art of inscription for nearly a hundred years, 
was there only such a small disparity between them. This caused Wang Xuanji to feel a deep sense of frustration. And not only that, but this inscription symbol that Lin Ming had drawn had also spontaneously created an icy layer of cold, protective film around the armor that was able to increase its defensive capabilities. Although the increase was not too high, it was still extremely rare for an inscription symbol to produce two different results together. In Sky Fortune Kingdom's School of Inscription Techniques, there were no more than 30 different kinds of inscription symbols that could accomplish this, and the value of each was more than 3,000 gold tails. He was a monstrous genius of inscription, while simultaneously having been able to comprehend a martial intent. His perception of the Tao of martial arts could only be called heaven-defying. There were simply too many dazzling halos that were concentrated on his single body, that even the gods would be jealous. Wang Xuanji tossed the armor to the middle-aged martial artist and said, Give it a look. The middle-aged martial artist poured his true essence into the armor, and a moment later, a pleasantly surprised expression crossed his face. As the owner of the armor, he was naturally familiar with the condition of his armor. Satisfied, Wang Xuanji casually asked. Satisfied, satisfied. The middle-aged martial artist quickly nodded. He looked at Lin Ming, and this time there was a touch of respect in his gaze. The middle-aged martial artist was not an inscription master, and didn't have much of an understanding about inscription techniques, so he only knew that this young boy was amazing. But amazing to what extent, he didn't have a clear idea. This is President Wang's apprentice. A famous teacher has a truly outstanding disciple. Terrific. Extraordinary. My apprentice, Wang Xuanji said with a self-deprecating smile, I'm not able to teach such a fierce apprentice. President Wang is too modest. However, this little friend is truly the most talented young inscription master that I've ever seen. The middle-aged man said a few words of flattery. After all, he could tell that Lin Ming was an inscription master with an overabundance of talent. Flattering him would only benefit him in the future. However, at this point, Wang Xuanji said in a tepid tone, If you have nothing else, then you may go. The incoming words of flattery that the middle-aged man was about to say caught in his throat. He embarrassingly smiled and said, Then I will not disturb you. I will come back another day to give thanks. The middle-aged man apologetically smiled and then left. At this moment, Wang Xuanji was not in a very good mood. He had painstakingly invested all of his efforts and care into Wang Yuhan, in the hopes that he could raise Wang Yuhan into the most preeminent inscription master that the Sky Fortune Kingdom had ever seen. However, he did not know where the hell this little boy Lin Ming had come from. Seeing him in action simply caused Wang Xuanji to feel a great sense of defeat. Let alone Wang Yuhan, in a couple of years, even he might be surpassed by this abnormally devilish boy. He had spent the greater part of his life studying inscription techniques, but was he really so inferior in talent? Wang Xuanji's heart inevitably produced such a thought. Lin Ming did not know what sort of thoughts Wang Xuanji was contemplating. He took a short rest, and then prepared to solve the second problem. The second client was an aristocratic family's young son, around 20 or 30 years old. He already bore witness to Lin Ming weave his wonderful inscription technique. So after seeing Lin Ming call him, he hurried over and talked about his problem as he laid out a pile of materials. Seeing this pile of materials, Lin Ming was quite happy. These were all rare and precious materials. His choice of becoming a guest inscription master was right. With so many rare and precious materials at his disposal to practice, his inscription technique would be able to progress by leaps and bounds. Before long, he would be able to draw up the body inscription symbol. For the entire afternoon, Lin Ming solved a number of different problems. In order to avoid interfering factors, Lin Ming was given a separate room at the Inscription Association. After he obtained the materials, the door would shut, and only Lin Ming and Wang Yuhan would be inside. Wang Yuhan was responsible for preparing and processing the materials, and Lin Ming would then begin to draw up the inscription symbol. Drawing inscription symbols was very consuming of one's soul force and true essence. 
A low-level or intermediate inscription master would usually be completely exhausted after drawing just one inscription symbol. A high-level inscription master or an elder inscription master would usually be able to draw up two to three, or sometimes even three to four. But Lin Ming, in this one afternoon of time, had continuously drawn up five different inscription symbols. And now, he was even planning on creating his sixth. This gave the already apprehensive Wang Yuhan even more worries. She was only responsible for handling materials, and that was taxing enough on her true essence reserves. It left her feeling weak. But this Lin Ming fellow was just a tireless machine. In fact, after each inscription symbol drawing was completed, Lin Ming did have a very high rate of consumption. After every one he would begin to revolve the overbearing soul tactic to nourish his lost soul force and he would also revolve the true primal chaos formula to supplement his true essence. Chapter 121. The Vanished Blood Symbol. Relying on his pure soul force and deep reserves of true essence, Lin Ming was able to continuously persist throughout the entire afternoon. During this time period, he reached the limit of his ability several times. But, this was also a method of practice. Without being pushed to the limit, it would be difficult to progress. When his true essence neared complete consumption, Lin Ming never begrudged himself to pull out a true essence stone and then enter into the ethereal martial intent state. Under the state of ethereal martial intent, the true essence throughout Lin Ming's body would spontaneously move at a pace several times faster than normal, with a near-perfect path of circulation. Under this cultivation state, his advancement was very fast. Gradually, the sun began to fall down below the western horizon. The light that once peeked into the room began to dim down. Wang Yuhan lit a lamp. Seeing that Lin Ming was still sitting in meditation and regulating his breathing, she hesitated several times as she debated whether or not to disturb him. After a while, Wang Yuhan could not bear it anymore, and she finally said, Mr. Lin, this. We should eat a meal. Oh, yes, of course you eat first. Just bring me back something nice. I'm almost done adjusting my condition, and then I will finish this inscription symbol drawing first. Drawing another one. Wang Yuhan was at a loss for words. This would be the seventh one. To draw up seven inscription symbols in the afternoon, and not only that, but each one being very complex, with dozens of symbols and lines that needed to fuse together. Not even a top-level inscription master would be able to persist through such a task. Wang Yuhan no longer compared herself to Lin Ming, but placed Lin Ming as a level of character similar to her own grandfather. Shaking her head, Wang Yuhan headed down to have dinner. After eating dinner, she came back, and sure enough, Lin Ming had begun already drawing the seventh inscription symbol, and was almost halfway done. Wang Yuhan moved to the side and set down the plate of food that she had brought up. She quietly watched every movement of Lin Ming, earnestly committing them to memory, and occasionally she would even subconsciously reach out her hand, and follow Lin Ming's movements. Although she knew that even if she copied these movements, it was to no avail of discerning the deep mysteries within them. As time slowly passed, Wang Yuhan looked at those gorgeous and brilliant inscription lines, and then turned to Lin Ming. She watched as his fingertips danced in the air, and shimmering lights followed his incomparably smooth control of true essence. She also saw the fine beads of sweat that covered his face, and his incomparably focused expression. Gradually, Wang Yuhan entered a state like she was lost in a trance. Her vision unconsciously moved from Lin Ming's face to his fingers and back again. At that moment, she felt like she had been infected by the young boy's dedicated focus. Wang Yuhan finally snapped out of her daze as Lin Ming let out a light fu sound. The several dozens of inscription symbols and lines began to condense into one, and with that sparkle of light, Wang Yuhan managed to regain her composure. She was somewhat flustered, and her pretty face blushed. Seventh, Lin Ming let loose a long breath and completely collapsed back into his chair. Now, he didn't even have the strength to move a finger. The, Mr. Lin, the food is getting cold. Oh, Lin Ming propped himself up and received the plate of food. He took big gulping bites as he ate, 
Wang Yuhan was sitting somewhat cramped at the side, quietly gazing at the hourglass in the room, watching the sand fall, grain by grain. In the foundation lines, when drawing up the rock pattern, it is better to add a fold-shaped structure, Lin Ming mindlessly remarked after finishing half of his meal. Wang Yuhan was slightly stunned, and then felt a great happiness followed by an overwhelming exultation. Lin Ming was teaching her inscription techniques. This kind of inscription technique was from beyond the borders of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, and moreover its degree of exquisiteness and subtlety far surpassed anything that the Sky Fortune Kingdom school of inscription could ever hope to achieve. By now Lin Ming had recovered some of his true essence. He readily drew out a rock line pattern in the air, slowing his tempo as much as he could so that Wang Yuhan had time to clearly see the changes in soul force. In particular, when drawing that folded pattern, he lowered the speed to a bare minimum. Lin Ming knew what the driving reason was behind Wang Yuan's request to serve as his assistant. She had accompanied him for an entire afternoon, helped a great deal, and also expended much of her own true essence and soul force. Yet, the things she could learn were extremely limited. She was a girl who was also the beloved granddaughter of the Inscription Association's president. Such a proud girl had actually dropped her reservedness to act as his assistant for this afternoon. If Lin Ming didn't return the favor, then he would have felt bad about himself. Therefore in the free time that he had while eating his meal, Lin Ming continuously taught Wang Yuhan several foundation lines. Although just learning these basic foundation lines was far from being able to use them in any sort of practical application, Lin Ming believed that with Wang Yuan's aptitude towards inscription, along with her unceasing efforts to strive towards greater heights of inscription technique, that she would inevitably be able to derive a great deal of inspiration from this in the future. Thank you, Mr. Lin. Wang Yuhan said with a heartfelt expression of gratitude. I want to thank you instead. Is. Will Mr. Lin be coming back tomorrow? Tomorrow? Him. I should come back sometime in the afternoon. In the morning I have to practice at the Seven Profound Martial House. Because of the core disciple test, the Seven Profound Martial House had promised that Lin Ming would be able to use the Seven Major Killing Arrays for ten full days. Time at the Seven Major Killing Arrays was extremely valuable. It would be a waste if he didn't use it because he was practicing inscription techniques instead. Can I also be your assistant for tomorrow? Wang Yuhan asked with anticipation. Lin Ming brightly smiled and said, Of course you can. That evening, Lin Ming returned to the Seven Profound Martial House and began to digest what he had learned by practicing today. In the afternoon, Lin Ming had spent three and a half hours to draw up a total of seven inscription symbols. The materials for these inscriptions were all precious. Lin Ming had many faults in drawing up the inscription symbols, which caused some of the materials to be wasted. However, he hadn't yet encountered a situation in which the inscription symbol would go out of control and then collapse with an explosion. As long as the whole thing didn't come tumbling down in a fiery explosion, some errors could be tolerated. According to the regulations of the Inscription Association, customers had to pay the reward with materials. The total price of the service was twice that of the materials used. Sometimes they also needed to pay certain fees for services rendered. Of the materials that were left over, 60% went to the guest inscription master, and 40% went to the inscription association. Lin Ming took a few materials that he could use for himself and exchanged the rest with the inscription association for points. At the rate I'm earning points, I'll probably have enough points after 10 more days to buy some of the materials I need from the inscription association. As for the rarer materials, I'll need to wait until my inscription technique improves further, and only then will I have a chance of getting them. The materials for those two body inscription symbols are just too difficult to collect. Through the process of earning points, I can also cultivate. I've been creating inscription symbols continuously and using many different types of materials. Not only is my inscription technique progressing quickly, but even my soul force is slowly growing. True primal chaos formula, is also improving. I can feel that I'm faintly approaching the small success stage of the second layer. I hadn't actually thought that I could practice so many things in a single manner. 
My consumption of true essence stones is really fast. In just one day I've already used three. This is simply burning money away. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, true essence stones, according to their degree of purity, ranged between 500 gold tails to 1000 gold tails. The true essence stones that the seven profound martial house handed down to its disciples were the probably the most inferior ones, at 500 gold tails. But the more than 100 true essence stones that the crown prince had gifted to Lin Ming actually belonged to the lustrous top grade pure essence stones, which had a value of 1000 gold tails each. True essence stones were very scarce in the Sky Fortune Kingdom. It was extremely difficult to find a massive amount of them. In turn, it was difficult to trade true essence stones for gold. Even the wealthy aristocratic families would find it difficult to afford such an expensive price. Four or five true essence stones together was equal to a treasure. Lin Ming had over 200 true essence stones on hand and he used them every day like he was eating candy. There weren't many people in the entire Sky Fortune City that were able to do as he did. I'll probably use up the true essence stones I have in two months. I'll have to have the crown prince help me buy them, at worst I'll just reimburse the money. After becoming a guest inscription master, Lin Ming found a way to cultivate that was also able to make money. He estimated that in a single month he would be able to make more than 200,000 gold tails without a problem. Of course, this was on the premise that there were enough rich martial artists that were seeking his services. A normal guest inscription master would be able to perform one or two tasks every day. This was because even if they could continue to do more, they would not be in an optimal condition to do so, and it would be difficult to draw a perfect inscription symbol and thus harm their reputation. These inscription masters usually worked 20 days every month. It was a good result to make 20 or 30,000 gold tails at the end, assuming that they did not fail. But Lin Ming, was able to draw up inscription symbols seven or eight times a day. In one month he could work the entire thirty days. He was simply a freak of nature. After he bathed himself, Lin Ming stayed in the bathtub and entered into the ethereal martial intent state. He let the true essence in his body revolve on its own as it followed its perfect path of circulation. Like this, Lin Ming sat for two hours. Because the true essence circulation continued at high speed, the water in the tub began to heat up and give off a white fog. Soon, the entire bathroom was filled with a dense cloud of water vapor. Every time Lin Ming let loose a breath, his breath stirred a whirlpool in the air. At midnight, Lin Ming awoke from his ethereal martial intent state, the countless tiny units in his body began to stir and the vibrating true essence overflowed from his body like a gushing tide. The mist in the room suddenly disappeared. However, because the mist had been in the room for a long time, the entire room was dripping wet, and even Lin Ming's clothes were soaked. As he stood up from the bath, Lin Ming inadvertently glanced at the purple-gold flexible armor that the crown prince had gifted to him. With a glance, Lin Ming suddenly froze. This is... Lin Ming grabbed the purple gold flexible armor. He looked at it, startled, and felt a great shock in his heart. How did that peak Hushan master's blood symbol that he had drawn with his own blood essence disappear? Today, he had been to the inscription association. For safety concerns, Lin Ming had worn the purple gold flexible armor. It was fine then, but after taking a bath, he discovered that the blood symbol had disappeared. It was more accurate to say that most of the blood symbol had disappeared. There was still a tiny corner of the blood symbol that remained, but even that was already completely blurred. This vague feeling, it was similar to ink being soaked by water. Could it be that the mist from the bath had infiltrated into the blood symbol and ruined it? If so, then that peak Hushan master was simply too horrible and unbelievable. Or, had the crown prince been cheated? Was this flexible armor itself a fake? No, that couldn't be right. When the crown prince had given him this armor, he had personally proved it with his own soul force, and had truly found that it contained the vital blood essence of a formidable master. Moreover, it was written with a supremely exquisite technique in the flexible armor, penetrating it, and had already become part of the treasure. 
That blood symbol was just like an inscription symbol that was placed on a treasure. Only by using some sort of special method, for instance having an alchemist use fire to burn it away, or using the flow like silk technique like Lin Ming did, could one remove it. Otherwise, it was basically impossible to separate it without completely destroying the treasure. So what the hell had just happened? Chapter 122, The Magic Cube Reappears. Lin Ming could not understand. Was it possible that sometime today, someone had tried to ambush him with some secret, arcane ability that was blocked by the blood symbol, and thus the blood symbol disappeared? That should be impossible. If someone really did have such profound abilities, and they could cause the blood symbol to disappear in a situation without him knowing, then it would have to be someone that was at least of the Xianxian stage. But that kind of person could simply kill him with a flick of their finger, and those major characters weren't people that Zhu Yan or the Tenth Prince could possibly hope to request. Lin Ming really couldn't understand what was going on. Instead, he decided to put away the flexible armor, and then go to bed. That night, Perhaps because of the overconsumption of his soul force and true essence, Lin Ming slept very soundly. He blurrily stumbled in an endless realm of jet black space that was incomparably vast. It was as if he was floating in the dark, starry night within the infinite cosmos. Countless fluttering transparent ghosts floated around him, and in these transparent ghosts were countless points of light, as if they were mirrors shining back on him. The points of light varied in size, from smaller than a grain of sand to spheres the size of his palm. They followed a strangely mysterious pattern of movement. At the center of all these bright lights was an orb of luminescent light, a foot in diameter. This orb of light emitted a dim, creamy white halo, which gave off a very warm and soft feeling. This was the space within the magic cube. Lin Ming was surprised beyond measure. How did he arrive back at the magic cube? After the first time that he had entered the magic cube, the magic cube had entered into his body and hidden there. He had been unable to summon it or even touch it again, so why was he suddenly able to enter into it today? Although this was a dream, after realizing that this was the space within the magic cube, Lin Ming's consciousness instantly sobered, but he was still unable to retreat from the space of the magic cube. Of course, Lin Ming was not prepared to leave now. His gaze fell on the soul fragments that shined like liquid stars. He looked at them with some excitement, and even more solemnity. At first, it was a soul fragment that had brought him so many opportunities. Had it not been for that soul fragment, then even if he had comprehended an ethereal martial intent, then he would have at most stopped at the Hushan stage, and would have been unable to progress to the Xianxian stage. Without a doubt, these soul fragments contained an inexhaustible supply of buried legendary treasures. But, they also contained a hidden murderous intent. If he was not careful, then Lin Ming's consciousness would be swallowed by the soul fragment, and he would forever be beyond redemption. Was every soul fragment an ownerless soul? Could there be certain fragments that still contained a spirit mark that hadn't been erased yet? A human soul was composed of two parts. One was its memory, and the other was a spirit mark. If the spirit mark was erased, then only the memory would be left over and it would be an ownerless soul. An ownerless soul only had instinct, and didn't have intelligence. If the spirit mark was not erased, then the soul fragment would have its own independent consciousness. If he swallowed this kind of soul fragment, then Lin Ming simply had no way to deal with a soul fragment that had a spiritual mark. Even if he managed to suppress it, it might even cause him to have a split personality and be constantly disoriented. Lin Ming stood among the vast, starry black space for a long time. He was not in a hurry to do anything. He skeptically stared at the palm-sized, shining light fragments, not daring to go near them. As for that large ball of light that was dead center in the middle of all the other light fragments, Lin Ming definitely avoided it. He very much suspected that the large orb of light he saw was formed from that mysterious woman that he saw in the dreamland. Him, this is. As Lin Ming gazed at that large ball of light, he suddenly discovered that there was something unusual about it. On the ball of light suddenly appeared a faint blush, as if it was colored with blood. Blood. This sudden idea turned Lin Ming's mind cold. 
The blood symbol on the purple gold flexible armor was also formed by blood. He remembered that when he had worn the flexible armor, the location of where the magic cube was sleeping, hidden within him, was over his heart, which was probably the same position as that blood symbol had been. Was it possible that, was the flexible armor's blood symbol absorbed by the magic cube? The magic cube had absorbed the blood essence of a peak Hushin master that had been in the flexible armor. This sudden dawning caused Lin Ming to feel incredulity. Perhaps it was precisely because of this absorption of blood that he was able to enter into the space of the magic cube once again. The magic cube was able to absorb blood essence. The discovery made Lin Ming happy and worried at the same time. He was happy because he had discovered some secrets of the magic cube. What he worried about was, this secret gave him an ominous and evil feeling. This magic cube was obviously not some friendly object. But anyway, now that he was back in the magic cube again, this was a prime opportunity. Of course, this also meant danger. Lin Ming stood in the magic cube's ocean of star space for a long time. Which one these soul fragments should he choose? With so many soul fragments, casually selecting one would just be testing exactly how much luck he had. If he obtained one that was useless, then it would have all been in vain. Lin Ming watched one soul fragment after another, but he was unable to see what was inside. These countless soul shards were like tens of thousands of jade stones. Some of these jade stones might have the purest quality white jade, and some might have nothing at all. And in some, there might even be a devil lurking inside. This soul fragment is too bright. It's too similar to the stars. I shouldn't touch it. This one is too small. It's even tinier than a grain of rice. The first time I was here I chose a soul fragment around this size, but now that my strength has improved, I should be able to choose a larger one. But just how much larger? Why is this red? This gives off a very demonic and evil feeling, as it was stained with blood. It seems full of evil spirits and dark influences. Perhaps this soul fragment's master. I'm afraid that before his death he was most likely a murderous devil that slaughtered countless people. This type of person has too deep an obsession. I shouldn't touch this one. Um, there's also a golden red color. What sort of principles would make a soul fragment a golden red color? Facing such an important choice, even the normally resolute Lin Ming became indecisive. If I had to choose one then, Lin Ming finally locked his eyes on a mung bean-sized soul fragment. This soul fragment wasn't too bright, and it also wasn't too large or small. He cautiously approached this soul fragment, and carefully made sure to avoid contact with any other soul fragments. As he approached, Lin Ming suddenly wondered what would happen if he probed the soul fragment with his soul force. With that in mind, Lin Ming attempted to revolve the overbearing soul tactic, and use his soul force to sense the soul fragment. A martial artist's soul force and spirit mark were connected. If misused, it would be vulnerable to attack. If a soul was damaged, then it was very difficult to cure. At least, in the entirety of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, Lin Ming hadn't seen anything that could help repair a soul. Lin Ming's idea was to investigate the soul fragment with his soul force, and see if he could obtain some valuable information. It even might be possible to attempt to read some memories, and to take a look at these memories to see if they would be useful before deciding to swallow that soul fragment. However, as Lin Ming's soul force came into contact with that soul fragment, that soul fragment suddenly turned into a stream of lightning that flew into Lin Ming's soul. Lin Ming simply didn't have any time to react. With a wish sound, the ownerless soul fragment had already submerged into Lin Ming's sea of consciousness, aimed at Lin Ming's spirit mark, and launched a violent attack on his psyche. Damn, Lin Ming hadn't expected this result. He just felt as if the tip of a knife was repeatedly and maliciously stabbing into his brain without hesitation. This kind of severe, body-gripping pain made his vision go dark, and he almost fainted on the spot. My cultivation is already so much stronger than before, but this pain is still so irresistibly overwhelming. It is such a small piece of soul consciousness and yet it's actually so strong. The power of a soul had no relations with true essence. It only depended on the soul itself.
Lin Ming had used the overbearing soul tactic during the long period in which he had used inscription techniques, and his soul force had naturally grown. But the ownerless soul fragment that he had chosen now was larger and brighter than the first soul fragment he had absorbed. So to swallow this soul fragment up was ten times as hard. Lin Ming's sea of consciousness once again became a battlefield. The deep pain within his brain was just like countless insects that were chewing through his mind. A multitude of complex and confusing scenes emerged in his mind. Lin Ming grasped his head, bore the soul-wrenching pain and revolved the overbearing soul tactic, holding fast to his quickly ebbing consciousness. With his previous experience, Lin Ming was much calmer this time. The head-splitting pain also caused him to fall into a dazed stupor, but Lin Ming knew that once he fainted and lost his self-awareness, then he would without a doubt die. As long as he was able to force his way through this period and exhaust that ownerless soul, that he would win. However, this soul fragment's inherent soul force was far superior to the last ones. Lin Ming clenched his teeth, defending the last pure and bright bastion of his mind. The first time I did not know the overbearing soul tactic, and only depended on my heart of martial arts to endure. But this second time, my soul force is much stronger and my heart of martial arts is more complete. How can I lose here? Ha! In Lin Ming's sea of consciousness, there was a giant storm that was raging as the ownerless soul fragment constantly consumed itself in its battle with Lin Ming's spirit mark. Gradually, the shining rays began to dim down. The aching pain came flooding in like a limitless tsunami. Lin Ming gritted his teeth and could only hang on as this agony coursed through his mind. After an unknown amount of time, this aching feeling finally weakened as it began to slowly die down. By now, Lin Ming's whole body was soaked in sweat and cold to the touch. After a long time, that ownerless soul fragment had gradually lost its instinct and turned into complete pure soul energy, and then slowly integrated into Lin Ming's sea of consciousness. Opening his eyes, Lin Ming was surprised to find that he had already left the vast, starry space within the magic cube. He was back in his simple log cabin, staring at the wooden ceiling. Seeing such a familiar scene let him feel at ease. Reviewing the memories in his mind, Lin Ming felt another headache creeping up. This kind of feeling was as if he had gone through several days of sleepless nights, and thus his mind hurt. Array formations, array patterns, array diagrams, charms. This was probably an array master. After clearly examining these, Lin Ming didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. His luck was just bad. He had actually taken in the memories of an array master. An array master was truly strong, that was without question. One only needed to look at the 10,000 killing array, the seven major killing arrays of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning, the exquisite pagoda, and the sea jade platform to see just how inconceivably strong an array master was. One of the seven founders of the seven profound valleys was one who especially studied array methods. If he was able to create a massive array like the exquisite pagoda and sell it to the Sky Fortune Kingdom, its cost would be at least 10 million gold tails. However, it was impossible for Lin Ming to arrange this array. The major arrays of the seven profound martial house were created through a collaboration of several Xianxian masters working together. The total quantity of true essence needed was truly terrifying, but without using such a large array, a normal array only had a very limited benefit. Although he was slightly frustrated, Lin Ming did not lose heart. This soul fragment had a very rich memory. It was not solely array methods. Moreover, about arrays, it may be temporarily useless to Lin Ming now, but that did not mean that it would be useless in the future. Chapter 123 three kinds of martial skills. In fact, in a sense, an inscription master was also one kind of array master. An inscription symbol could be called an array formation, except that the inscription symbol was on a much smaller scale and the total amount of true essence needed was also correspondingly low. However, for a large-scale array formation, one needed to be at least a Hushan stage master in order to begin studying it. Lin Ming took a cursory glance at these array formations in his mind. 
it seemed that not even a Xianxian master would have any hope in arranging these. If I want to learn array formations, I don't know in what year or what month I'll be able to do so. Lin Ming shook his head and completely sealed up all the memories. In the space of the magic cube, there were tens of thousands of souls. It was simply impossible to always choose one that was useful. It all came down to his own luck. After he placed away the array-related memories for the time being, Lin Ming endured further headaches and continued to read the memories of the soul fragment. True solar fire law. It requires godly strength to practice, and it is also incomplete, useless. Collapsing moon sinking star. This is a top-tier martial skill, but my cultivation is far from being able to use it, useless. Valiant dragon's roar. This is also a top-tier martial skill, but I still can't learn it. Lin Ming kept searching. The soul fragments memories were very rich. However, there were very few things that were useful. The majority of cultivation methods and martial skills required a very high level of cultivation or power in order to begin practicing them. These are him, woman, feelings, sects, conspiracies. These are the life memories of a great person within the realm of the gods. But these things are also useless. Lin Ming had sealed away the memories of the array formations. As for these life memories of the realm of the gods, Lin Ming simply discarded them all. Well, this is. Lin Ming's heart jumped, and his spirit immediately rose and the headache he was feeling calmed down a little. Heretical God Force. Is this a martial skill? Cultivation method. Lin Ming sunk his mind into this memory, and to his surprise, the heretical God Force memory was fairly complete. Most importantly, if he wanted to cultivate the heretical God Force, it did not have any mandatory requirement for cultivation. Even someone at the body transformation stage would be able to practice it. The secret legacy manuals of the Sky Spill continent were divided into three different kinds. The first kind was a cultivation method manual. This was used for martial artists to accumulate true essence and enhance their cultivation. The cultivation method manual was the foundation of all, and was also the rarest of all the secret manuals. A sect didn't need to have good martial skills, but they must have a good cultivation method manual. The second kind were martial skills. Different martial skills would utilize the true essence and strength of human body in various ways in order to attack an enemy. The third kind were movement skills. These movement skills were similarly a utilization method to coordinate true essence with the strength of the human body, and thus enhance one's speed. But Lin Ming saw that this, heretical god force, actually didn't fit any of those three categories. Using, heretical god forces, mystical ability, it was possible to greatly enhance one's strength for a short time, and true essence would also increase. Heretical god force, was not a cultivation method, but it also wasn't a martial skill or movement ability. It was actually able to make a martial artist's martial skills stronger, and their movement abilities quicker. In that elder's memories of the realm of the gods, this, heretical god force, was one of the rare auxiliary secret techniques. In all of those secret techniques, this, heretical god force, is one of the most precious. Lin Ming was pleasantly surprised. Although most of the memories weren't useful, but if there was actually one that was incomparably precious, then it was worth it. Lin Ming continued to examine the, heretical god force. This secret technique was divided into six different stages. The first stage was able to enhance a human's strength and true essence by 50%, and the second stage could enhance one's abilities by 100%, the third 150%, and so on, until the final sixth stage, which could enhance one's original strength and true essence force by three times. Of course, three times the strength and true essence force also corresponded to three times the consumption rate of strength and true essence. But to Lin Ming, this wasn't an overly major problem. With the true primal chaos formula and a solid foundation of basic skills, his endurance had always been extraordinary. Although this heretical god force is not a martial skill, in terms of its actual combat efficiency, it is much stronger than any martial skill. Even if I can only cultivate it to the first stage, I can increase my strength and true essence force by 50%. If I used my 
foundation spear technique. With this, and also coordinated my momentum, then if I met Zhu Yan again I would easily be able to defeat him. And what is most abnormal is that this, heretical god force, does not conflict with martial skills. If I opened this, heretical god force, state, then I would still be able to use a martial skill, and the martial skill's power would be increased. Solely with this, heretical god force, there was value in me choosing this soul fragment. Excited, Lin Ming began to sift through the rest of the memories, even though there weren't many left. Although there were still many cultivation methods and martial skills left, there weren't any that were complete or that were suitable for a martial artist at the body transformation stage. Lin Ming didn't keep his hopes up that he would find something. But just as he was about to finish skimming through all the memories, Lin Ming's eyes brightened. Top movement ability, golden rock shattering the void. This movement skill originated from ancient times, when a mighty and powerful being of the realm of the gods happened upon a cataclysmic battle between a golden-winged rock and a true dragon. That golden-winged rock had a height of several tens of thousands of miles, and its wings were like endless hanging clouds that hid the sun, moon, and stars. That mighty and powerful being had bore witness to the entire battle between the golden-winged rock and the true dragon. Afterwards, the golden-winged rock had shattered the void, and disappeared out of sight. According to these images, that mighty one had retreated into meditation for sixty years, and finally created the movement ability known as, Golden Rock Shattering the Void. To cultivate this set of movements, one had to start from the most basic stage of body transformation, and go step by step until they reached the highest level. After one reached the perfect stage of this ability, they could travel a thousand miles in the blink of an eye, and roam through the endless void as if they were taking a leisurely stroll in the yard. To start practicing from the most basic body transformation stage was Lin Ming's good tidings. At his current stage, this was exactly the right time to start practicing, Golden Rock Shattering the Void. However, it was a pity. The, Golden Rock Shattering the Void, movement ability was ultimately incomplete. The, Golden Rock Shattering the Void, consisted of twelve stages, but in the memories of the Elder's Soul Fragment, there were only eight remaining. Losing four sections of the stages was by no means soul-crushing, as that mighty one originally didn't have the complete manual of the, Golden Rock Shattering the Void, movement ability. Otherwise, Lin Ming knew that the most precious secret skill would not be the, heretical God Force, but the, Golden Rock Shattering the Void. But still, Lin Ming did not feel any regret. Although it was incomplete, that wouldn't affect Lin Ming at the moment. Because his cultivation was too far off to even think about practicing those later stages, he would only need to wait until he reached that realm before looking again. After he obtained the, golden rock shattering the void, Lin Ming kept looking through the few remaining memories. Lin Ming didn't think that he would find anything of value, but to his surprise there was actually a minor martial skill that he was able to practice. This martial skill was called the, Pulse Cutting Palm. It did not require an extremely high cultivation, and it was also quite simple and easy to learn, but the corresponding power was not that high. Pulse Cutting Palm, would only be used when an opponent had consumed most of their true essence, and their strength was severely weakened. This was because in order to display the function of the, Pulse Cutting Palm, one had to use a certain concealed energy to infiltrate true essence into an opponent's body using a special method. If the opponent's total remaining amount of true essence in their body was more than what was sent into their body, then the true essence would be consumed by the opponent. Just on this attribute alone, the pulse cutting palm was far too tasteless. It could only be used to deal with a far weaker opponent or someone that had already consumed too much of their strength and had lost the power to resist their enemy. But, it stood to reason that in order for that mighty elder to retain such a weak and cowardly martial skill, the, pulse-cutting palm, had to have a certain special function. This function was that the infiltrating true essence could cut off an enemy's meridians and dry up their acupuncture points. This kind of destructive damage was virtually irreparable. The only possible method was using certain special and exceedingly rare materials that were in the memories of the mighty elder. But these valuable materials were only found within the realm of the gods. 
After a martial artist reached the bone forging stage, they would begin to open up the meridians. Once all of the meridians were opened, they would be connected to the pores of their body, and true essence would be able to access the meridians and flow through them unimpeded. This was the pulse condensation period. However, if one's meridians were severed, then it was impossible to step into the pulse condensation period for one's entire life. Not only that, but their cultivation would gradually reverse, becoming worse with each day, until it was completely lost. Even a man's virility was closely related to their meridians and acupuncture points. For instance, conditions such as impotency were closely related to the meridians that passed near the kidney. If these meridians and body points were ruined, then it would greatly affect a man's virility, and they might even become sterile as a result. Even martial artists above the pulse condensation period, whose body's meridians had been completely connected, would not be spared from the power of the pulse-cutting palm. Their cultivation would fall below the pulse condensation period, and suffer the same fate as anyone else. This pulse-cutting palm could only be described as extremely insidious and ruthless. Without a doubt, the special aim of this martial skill was to maliciously harm others, because when dealing with an enemy that had already lost all their strength to resist, killing them would be simple. But in using this pulse-cutting palm, it would utterly destroy their martial arts. And what was even more ruthless was that it would cause a man to lose all of their functions as a man. It was simply better to die than live in this pathetic state. This pulse-cutting palm is damaging enough. Although it cannot increase strength, it is an incomparably ruthless and sinister move to deal with others. Not only will it sever a person's meridians, it will also sever all their future descendants. To cause a martial artist to lose all their cultivation and their manhood, it is worse than killing them. If I have the time then I'll study this. It will be useful for dealing with some enemies that I can't publicly go against. It will be much safer in the future if I ruin their martial arts. But for now, I don't have much time, so I'll put this on hold. Lin Ming completely sealed all the memories that he didn't need, and discarded all of the unnecessary life memories. After filtering everything, there was only the heretical god force, golden rock shattering the void, and the pulse cutting palm. The special technique and movement ability were incomparably precious. As for the pulse cutting palm, although it couldn't be considered so amazingly precious, it did have its own special role. Now there are only four months before Zhang Guanyu and I will fight each other. I was originally only going to draw the body inscription symbol and place it on my body, and continue perceiving the flow like silk state through meditation. With the enhanced true essence gathering of the body inscription symbol and the help of my ethereal martial intent for cultivating, I should be able to break through to the altering muscle stage before the battle. But now I also have to practice the golden rock shattering the void and the heretical god force. Although this secret technique and movement ability are formidable, if I do not adequately practice them, then they will not enhance my cultivation and only be a waste of time. Only four months left. My time is too tight. Break into the 10,000 killing arrays top 10 in three months, defeat Zhang Guanyu in four months, defeat Taku in five months, and defeat Ling Sen in six months. Of these four tasks, Entering into the top 10 ranks of the 10,000 killing array is the simplest. As long as I can rush through to the top 10 of the 10,000 killing array, the 7 profound martial house will award me a medium grade human step long spear treasure, the heavy profound soft spear. This is a medium grade human step treasure, and it is also the rarely seen elastic spear. If I have it, then my combat prowess will rise much higher and my chances of defeating Zhang Guanyu will be that much better. Although Lin Ming currently had the penetrating rainbow spear on hand, it was still a half treasure after all. When concentrating his true essence into it, there was no smooth feeling. Chapter 124, Violent Wind Tunnel. In the northwest reaches of Zhou Mountain, there was a natural mountain valley. The entrance of the mountain valley faced the north, and spanned a thousand feet. As it extended inwards, it became increasingly narrow. The entire mountain valley was in the shape of a funnel, and it continued into the hillside until the width was only about 10 feet or so. 
When gale winds blew from the north of Joe Mountain, they were blocked by Joe Mountain and formed a tremendous wind pressure and air current that flowed down the funnel-shaped valley. As it went inwards, and the mountain valley became narrower, the speed and pressure of the wind increased with each step. Before the Seven Profound Marshall House was established, this mountain valley had been named Gale Valley. Inside the valley were large rolling stones that blew everywhere, and humans and livestock found it hard to stand firm. After the Seven Profound Marshall House was established, the Sientian masters, who had decided to use the local environments, set up a large array in this crazy wind valley. Not only did this raise the speed of the wind, but the wind current and direction became unpredictable. Undercurrents were everywhere, and there were even strong heavenly winds that could harm the body. This was one of the seven major killing arrays of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. This was the Violent Wind Tunnel. The Violent Wind Tunnel was primarily used by martial artists to practice their stability and footwork. To a martial artist, solid footwork was the most basic, entry-level martial arts. To begin on the path of martial arts, one had to first practice their balance. Even Lin Ming, who had not received a formal martial arts education, had to begin by practicing the basic horse stance. However, Lin Ming came to the violent wind tunnel today not to practice his stability, but to practice his movement abilities. To practice one's movement in the violent wind tunnel was something that a common disciple would be unable to imagine. This was because no matter how fast one was, it was impossible to hide from the wind. No matter how astonishing one's speed, in the violent wind tunnel, the person would always be pinned down and hindered by the fast wind. To practice one's movement, a disciple would usually choose the boulder slope array of the seven major killing arrays. The boulder slope had innumerable rocks flying around. A martial artist would use these to practice their dodging skills and movement speed. Before, Lin Ming had gone to the boulder slope to take a look, and saw that the boulder slope truly was a good place to practice one's movement. However, it was not suited to the golden rock shattering the void. When one practiced movement in the boulder slope, the truth was that the main aspect a martial artist trained was their reaction speed, strength, and true essence body coordination. If these points were practiced well, a martial artist would simultaneously have extremely quick speed and nimble movements. However, it was hard to find a movement ability that could achieve both extreme speed and flexibility. For instance, swan feather fall, heaven passing ladder, cloud hanging rope, and other such movement abilities stressed speed and light work above all. These skills were fastidious about keeping the body as light as a swallow. Once true essence was revolved, they could leap several dozens of feet high and easily catch a flying bird. This speed was very fast. But then there were movement abilities like, seven star drifting cloud, lost steps, six foot step, and, seven despairing steps. These movement abilities stressed flexibility and dodging. For instance, in, seven star drifting cloud, one's feet traced the pattern of the Big Dipper, like treading on clouds, and their footwork was light like treading on clouds. After the large success stage was reached, one could take seven steps at once, and it would be impossible to tell which step was first or last. Within these seven steps one's speed would be able to reach the extreme. These movements focused on dodging. They were very effective in close-range fights. If a movement ability had a superiority in one movement aspect, then it could be considered a top-grade manual. If a movement ability could be superior in both aspects, then that would be a best-grade manual. However, that kind of movement ability would only be passed down to the core disciples of the Seven Profound Valleys. But after Lin Ming read the general outline of golden rock shattering the void, he realized that even achieving the pinnacle in both of these aspects of movement was still quite ordinary. The truth zenith of movement abilities not only needed to achieve the summit of both of these aspects, but most importantly, they had to integrate the concept and law into its movements. To be able to integrate one kind of concept perfectly into one's movement was already considered extremely precious and rare, even in the realm of the gods. But that mighty elders, golden rock shattering the void, actually managed to integrate two concepts, the concept of wind and the concept of void. 
The golden-winged rock was also known as the nine-day Leviathan rock. It was a wind attribute god beast that was the ancestor of 10,000 winds. The legends said that the golden-winged rock ate flood dragons as food, and its degree of formidability was similar to the true dragon and true phoenix. This wind attribute god beast's concept of wind was undoubtedly the best. As for the concept of void, that was instantly comprehended by the mighty elder that had created the golden rock shattering the void when he had seen the golden-winged rock pierce through space and enter the limitless void. The concept of void was an extremely illusory ideal. At the moment, it was a too far away from the current Lin Ming. He could only touch upon the concept of wind. And the best place to practice the concept of wind was of course the violent wind tunnel. What? Junior apprentice brother Lin would like to enter the seventh level of difficulty. The deacon's senior apprentice brother who guarded the violent wind tunnel stared at Lin Ming with wide eyes. He thought that he had misheard for a moment. The violent wind tunnel was divided into twelve different sections, and the individual difficulties of each section could be adjusted. The seventh level was a difficulty that the earth hall disciples that were around rank 100 on the ranking stone would use. Now that Lin Ming had entered into the upper echelons of the heavenly abode, he should have started at the tenth level of difficulty. It had to be known that Zhu Yan had used the tenth level of difficulty to practice. The top ten disciples of the heavenly abode often used the eleventh level to practice. As for the highest twelfth level, no one was actually able to withstand the raging winds inside. Even Ling Sen could only persist for an incense stick of time. If today Lin Ming had decided to enter into the tenth level of difficulty, or even the eleventh, then the deacon would not have been so surprised. But what kind of existence was Lin Ming? He was a potential future core disciple who would challenge Ling Sen, Ta Ku, and Zhang Guanyu, and yet he had chosen the seventh level of difficulty. This really puzzled the deacon, so he asked, junior apprentice brother Lin, the seventh level of difficulty is usually used by the lower order disciples. Is junior apprentice brother Lin cracking a joke with me? Lin Ming smiled and said, I'm positive I want to open the seventh level. Not a joke. All right, the deacon's senior apprentice brother shrugged and opened the difficulty to the seventh level. After all, the time was his. It was his choice what difficulty he wanted to set. At lower difficulties he could also save true essence stones. After the path to the violent wind tunnel opened, Lin Ming instantly entered. As soon as he entered the violent wind tunnel, Lin Ming immediately heard the sound of roaring, rumbling winds as if there was thunder inside. Especially in nearby regions, there were some people who had opened the tenth level of difficulty and above. The fierce roar of that wind was like an army of a thousand soldiers roaring as they charged forwards. Just by listening to that sound, one could imagine the horror inside. But Lin Ming was only at the seventh level of difficulty in the violent wind tunnel, and it was a relatively calmer environment. With his cultivation, he could easily walk in the violent wind tunnel. Lin Ming arrived at the middle area of the violent wind tunnel. This far in, the wind speed was modest. He stopped, closed his eyes, and began to fully feel the bone-chilling cold mountain wind as it blew upon him. The word, concept, sounded vague and intangible. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, if a martial artist wanted to comprehend the concept of wind, he would not know where to start. What was the concept? It wasn't something that was one could easily grasp. But after Lin Ming swallowed that soul fragment, he had attained a clear understanding of what a concept was. Of course, to comprehend it, one had to rely on oneself. The concept was in truth a law. It was a force of nature. Once it was comprehended, one could control a core of power. In the wide world, everything had its own inherent laws. For instance, water would flow to the lowest valley. Fire would rise to the highest peak. Yin and Yang supported and restrained each other, and life and death and so forth. These were the most basic of laws. Extend the law deep into the soul and control the origin of all things. This was what a concept meant. For Lin Ming to comprehend the concept of wind, he did not need to resist the wind, but to harmonize and conform to the wind, and feel the power of the it. If Lin Ming utilized his true essence, 
Coupled with his formidable physical strength, and the support of penetrating rainbow, he would easily be able to resist the 10th level of difficulty, and even challenge the 11th level of difficulty. However, these things held no significance for him. He had chosen the 7th level of difficulty. After coming to a complete stop, Lin Ming stopped resisting the force of the wind, and allowed his body to completely relax. Then, without any anxiety, he was sent flying by the fierce winds. Lin Ming continuously adjusted his body in the air, adapting to the wind and borrowing its strength. However, from the very beginning, he no way of crossing the threshold. Peng! Lin Ming heavily collided against the rocks. Even though his body was physically strong and he was protected by true essence, he still felt his dizzy as his blood surged inside him. Lin Ming stood up, integrated with the wind once more, and was once again thrown up by the wind, hitting the wall. He continued this experiment again and again, and hit the rocky wall again and again. Lin Ming had already lost count of how many times he had hit the wall. He suffered multiple bruises, and was covered with cuts and wounds. His face had multiple abrasions and his clothes were ripped to shreds. He was almost naked. It looked quite awful. Lin Ming had already informed Wang Yuhan that he would not be going to the Inscription Association today. In one breath he had made an appointment at the violent wind tunnel for eight hours. He would use the entire time to feel the power and majesty of the wind. This was a completely masochistic method of cultivation. Even though Lin Ming had stocked up fully on medicines, he still ended up with such an embarrassing appearance. I really was negligent. I didn't think that my clothes would be ruined like this, and I didn't bring any spare clothes with me. Lin Ming forced a smile and shook his head. He prepared to ask the deacon's senior apprentice brother to fetch some clothes for him. At this point, it was approaching the afternoon. The deacon's senior apprentice brother was bored and in a very blasé mood as he sat in meditation. From time to time again he would pay attention to Lin Ming. Lin Ming had made an appointment for eight hours, from morning until dusk. With such a long time, he had only opened the seventh level of difficulty. What was junior apprentice brother Lin thinking? Could he not handle a higher level? Or was he going inside to play? Playing around? No, that's impossible. Junior apprentice brother Lin simply doesn't have the personality of a 15-year-old boy. What is he doing in the violent wind tunnel? The deacon's senior apprentice brother thought about this for a long time and still did not understand, so he decided to forget about it. Those high-status people really give me a headache. Time in these seven major killing arrays is just so precious. Many martial artists are reluctant to come even once every several days. Occasionally when they do come, they might even bring several companions with them, and each person would use half an hour. But then this junior apprentice brother Lin has ten full days he can use every month, so he doesn't treasure such valuable time and made an appointment for eight whole hours in one ago. I can't believe he only opened the seventh level of difficulty. Even though we are both people it still irritates me. Ah, so exasperating. The deacon's senior apprentice brother was sighing with emotion, when at this time, Lin Ming emerged from the violent wind tunnel and asked, I'm sorry senior apprentice brother, but could you help prepare me a spare set of clothes? At the moment, Lin Ming was in less than rags. He was almost naked. If he practiced any more, there would just be no way for him to go back to his cabin. As the deacon looked at Lin Ming who had suddenly appeared in rags and his dirty body covered with countless wounds, the deacon's senior apprentice brother could only stare dumbfounded his jaw dropping low enough that an egg could be stuffed inside. He didn't respond for a long time, until he finally recognized that this young dirty man with a beggar's appearance was Lin Ming. This. This. Chapter 125. Masochistic Cultivation. The deacon's senior apprentice brother was totally confused. Were there monsters inside of the violent wind tunnel? No, that was impossible. The violent wind tunnel was used daily. How would there be monsters inside? Or had he made a mistake with the difficulty level? He turned around and looked at the array formations panel board. It was indeed the seventh level of difficulty. But, why would junior apprentice brother Lin's appearance be so shabby? What happened inside? Could it be that junior apprentice brother Lin's footwork technique was not steady? 
That was also impossible. He remembered on the martial stage that junior apprentice brother Lin had been steady like a towering mountain. It was impossible for there to be anything wrong with his footwork technique. In this case, Lin Ming simply couldn't explain. He said, senior apprentice brother, could I trouble you to reduce the difficulty by a level, and open up the sixth level of difficulty. At the seventh level of difficulty, the wind velocity was just too fast. The time Lin Ming was airborne for was too short. Just as he was about to feel the origin of the wind, he would immediately smash into the wall. So he hoped to reduce the difficulty by a bit. To comprehend the concept of wind, he did not need to resist the strength of the wind. The force of the wind also did not matter. You want to reduce the difficulty. The deacon's senior apprentice brother was becoming a bit paranoid, but he hadn't figured out how to open his mouth and ask Lin Ming. Lin Ming once again entered the wind tunnel, and through numerous trials, he began to feel like he was starting to be able to sense the concept of wind. He wanted to use this opportunity to step into the threshold of the wind concept in one fell swoop. After his eight hours of practice time had ended, Lin Ming had already hit the wall at least 10,000 times. If it wasn't for the top quality injury medicine he had brought, the impact of so many hits would have already left him with several internal injuries. At this point, there wasn't a single spot on Lin Ming's body that wasn't bruised. When he swapped clothes and stepped out of the tunnel, the deacon's senior apprentice brother was completely confused. Standing by the deacon was a disciple of the heavenly abode. He didn't recognize Lin Ming in his current ragged condition. He only thought, which wonderful low-order disciple is this? You couldn't even think to open up a low level of difficulty. Was there a need to be so masochistic in your practice? Junior apprentice brother Lin, what in the world were you doing in there? The deacon's senior apprentice brother asked. Practicing, Lin Ming faintly smiled. Having given a perfunctory answer, he didn't wait for the deacon to ask him another question, and left. The disciple that was still waiting there asked, junior apprentice brother Lin. Which Lin? Lin Wu. That's not right. Although Lin Wu is a little weak, he's not that bad. The deacon sent an ill-humored look at the disciple and snappily said, junior apprentice brother Lin Ming. Lin Ming. Ha ha. Senior apprentice brother, your joke is too funny. If that Lin Ming can actually end up like that in that level of difficulty in the violent wind tunnel, then I'll walk in reverse from now on. You can walk however you want to. Next time if you don't believe then look yourself. The deacon's senior apprentice brother was disinclined to bother with the disciple. He began to close the formation array. It was about time for him to get off work. After Lin Ming returned to his cabin that night, he prepared a boiled bathtub full of medicinal herbs. As soon as he stripped his clothes, he jumped in and soaked inside the bathtub for two hours. The wounds on his body began to slowly mend themselves. As he sat in the tub and mediated for the night, by the next day his flesh had absorbed the potency of the medicinal herbs and his bruises had disappeared. The cost of that bathtub full of medicinal herbs was around 7,000 tails of gold. Before, the amount of gold that he had spent on raw materials would have been enough for him to practice for seven or eight years. But presently, that bathtub of medicine had already been completely used up. This caused Lin Ming to sigh with emotion. If one wanted to cultivate martial arts, but didn't have money, then no matter what talent they had it would be useless. Yesterday, he had gone through eight hours of masochistic practice. Lin Ming had finally touched upon the concept of wind, but still hadn't managed to cross the threshold. He was still far from being able to grasp that wind concept. With such an esoteric and profound, golden rock shattering the void, Lin Ming hadn't expected to be able to cultivate it within a short time. Still, just practicing it a little was infinitely enjoyable. Today, Lin Ming did not go to the violent wind tunnel. He needed a period of time to let his body fully assimilate the experiences he had obtained yesterday. Therefore he lit a sound transmitting talisman and passed a message to Wang Yuhan. Today, he would be going to the Inscription Association. In the past few days, a modest affair had happened in Sky Fortune City. The Zhu family had announced that because Zhu Yan had violated the family rules, his punishment was that he had been expelled from the family. 
Not only that, but the Tenth Prince, the Cloud Prince, had drawn a distinct line between him and Zhu Yan. This matter had been dealt with in a very low-profile manner. However, all the major powers had taken note of this event. Everyone knew that Zhu Yan and Lin Ming had a grudge between them, and some of the even more informed ones knew that this was related to Lan Yunyu. According to some reliable sources, Zhu Yan and Lin Ming were deep love rivals involved in a messy love triangle. They had many small battles, and their conflict became increasingly intense. At this point, the Zhu family had expelled Zhu Yan from their ranks, and the Tenth Prince had drawn a line with Zhu Yan. Just what was the meaning of this? Many people thought that the Zhu family and the Tenth Prince had done this in order to show a measure of good will towards Lin Ming. In order to woo Lin Ming to their side, they had directly expelled a talented person from their main family. But wasn't this just too crude and reckless? Although Lin Ming was amazingly strong, he was obviously close to the crown prince and on his side. If the tenth prince was unable to win over Lin Ming and had still expelled Zhu Yan, then wasn't this double penalty simply giving an enemy one's own wife as well as losing one's own soldiers? What was the reason behind the Tenth Prince's actions? After Lin Ming heard this news, he also felt it somewhat incomprehensible. Did the Tenth Prince make this decision in order to show goodwill? Was it necessary? Zhu Yan was expelled from the family and he also left the Seven Profound Martial House. I must be careful of him. He is living a gloomy life, but he knows how to bear the suffering. This would greatly strengthen his toughness. Later, he will certainly try go against me somehow. My strength is growing, and I am not afraid, but my parents are in Green Mulberry City. I must inform the Lin family about this and have my parents protected. Unfortunately, I did not kill him when I could on that stage, and now I've left a future trouble. A cold chill crept into Lin Ming's eyes. Although he had not bothered pursuing when Wang Yigao and Wang Yanfeng had tried dealing with him using cruel methods, but that did not mean he was a soft-hearted person, especially when faced with the possibility that something could endanger the safety of his loved ones. Thinking this, Lin Ming sent out a sound-transmitting talisman to Sky Fortune City's Lin family branch, exhorting him about his parents' situation. That afternoon, Lin Ming had decided to go to the Inscription Association, which was why he had made an appointment with Wang Yuhan. As he was walking down the road, Lin Ming suddenly stopped. He had run into a person. Lin Ming already had an impression of this person. He was a pulse condensation period martial artist who worked under the crown prince, Liao Wenyuan. The crown prince had helped Liao Wenyuan in his career and had shown him kindness. Before Liao Wenyuan had gained fame and fortune, the young crown prince had helped him. That stroke of graciousness had been unforgettably valuable. That was why even though Liao Wenyuan now had a title and a rapidly advancing career, he had still decided to enter into the turbid waters of the struggle over the throne, and was willing to assist the crown prince in ascending the throne. Mr. Lin. Liao Wenyuan cupped his fist in a polite greeting towards Lin Ming. Senior Liao is too polite. This junior should be the one bowing to Mr. Liao. Lin Ming cupped his fist and returned a courtesy bow towards Liao Wenyuan. Lin Ming didn't find it surprising that he met Liao Wenyuan here. These days, he had felt eyes on him as he walked down the streets, as if people were intentionally or unintentionally following him. But, these people did not have any murderous or dangerous intent. They were obviously sent by the crown prince. Lin Ming's status was not extremely sensitive. As soon as he took even one step out of the Seven Profound Martial House, there would be people immediately following him and protecting him in the shadows. It could be said that if the Tenth Prince wanted to kill him in Sky Fortune City, it wouldn't be much easier than killing the Crown Prince himself. The Crown Prince was apparently aware that he was often visiting the Inscription Association these days. Ha ha, I didn't think that Mr. Lin would know my name. To be truthful, I am a rather crude person and I am not too comfortable with these courtesies. If you don't mind, I will be rude and call Mr. Lin, Brother Lin instead. Lin Ming smiled, Brother Liao's words are frank and straightforward. Truth be told, I also do not like etiquette and honorifics. Ha ha, that's great. 
Brother Lin, today I came to especially look for you. You may or may not know, but Zhu Yan has been expelled from the Zhu family. Liao Wenyuan had sent these words via True Essence sound transmission. Him, Lin Ming nodded, and also changed to speaking with True Essence sound transmission. You must be careful of Zhu Yan. I know, but I also find something strange. Why was the Zhu family so ruthless? This ruthlessness is because of Brother Lin. You have a possibility of becoming a seven profound envoy or the martial house master. With that status, whether it is the Zhu family or the tenth prince, they do not dare to annoy you. But to them, Zhu Yan will at most be a pulse condensation martial artist in the future. A pulse condensation period martial artist is an acceptable loss, so they drove him out. Later, Zhu Yan will hate you and try to assassinate you. If this happens, then Zhu Yan will take the blame and the Zhu family and the tenth prince will not be implicated. So it's like that. Well, when it comes to the internal struggles of the large families and royal powers, not even family will be spared. Lin Ming had no interest in things like the royal power struggle and large family interests. Yes, that's why since ancient times a ruler must be crafty, otherwise it would be impossible for them to accomplish anything. Liao Wenyuan paused and sighed. He was thinking of the humanity and righteousness of the crown prince, who unfortunately had insufficient determination. Ah, that's right, Brother Lin, you had previously asked His Highness the Crown Prince to look for some materials, we have already begun to search for them. However, there are some things that the Sky Fortune Kingdom does not have. The Crown Prince has already sent people to the neighboring countries to look. The Huluo Nation's trade fair has things from all around, it should be possible to find some materials there. But to collect all the materials, it will take a long time. As for the matter of the manner that Brother Lin wishes to return, His Highness the Crown Prince has said that he has already gifted the land to Brother Lin, how could he take it back? Brother Lin, please feel relieved about that matter. Huluo Nation was one of the larger countries under the governance of the Seven Profound Valleys. Regardless of military forces, or the number of masters they had, all of it surpassed the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Huluo Nation's trade fair was famous and very well known within the surrounding area of 100,000 miles. It was only that it was too far from the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Even if one rode a snow dragon horse that could cross 2,000 miles in one day, it would still take a dozen or so days to arrive there. With the time it took to get to Huluo Nation, coupled with the time it took to find the materials, and the fact that some materials couldn't necessarily be bought, it was wrong to depend solely on the crown prince to obtain the complete list of materials for the body inscription symbol. Lin Ming said with heartfelt appreciation, please thank the crown prince for me. I, Lin Ming, will always remember this favor. Ha ha, brother Lin is far too polite. As soon as I ran into brother Lin, I knew that brother Lin was a man worth knowing. Rest assured, the crown prince has some savings that he's accrued over the years. He can easily bear the burden of buying some materials. But the one who has a burden is really Brother Lin. Brother Lin not only has amazing martial arts skills, but also has a thorough understanding of inscription technique. This really makes anyone feel disbelief. Brother Lin, you really make me want to throw away what I thought the word genius meant.